Oakheart, how dare you hunt in our territory? The Sunning Rocks belong to Thunder Clan. After tonight, Tiger Claw, this will be just another River Clan hunting ground. You may swim like otters, but you and your warriors do not belong in this forest. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Claw! This is useless! There are too many River Clan warriors! No, Red Tail. Thunder Clan will never be beaten. This is our territory. Thunder Clan will honor your courage, Tiger Claw. We will have another chance to avenge this defeat. Retreat, Thunder Clan! Retreat! Deeply worried by tonight's defeat. Thunder Clan has not been beaten in its own territory since I became leader. These are difficult times for our clan. The season of New Leaf is late and there have been fewer kits. Thunder Clan needs more warriors if it is to survive. But the year is only just beginning. There will be more kits when Green Leaf comes. Perhaps. But training our young to become warriors takes time. If Thunder Clan is to defend its territory, then we must have new warriors as soon as possible. <gasps> It was a message from Star Clan. Fire alone can save our clan. Fire? But fire is feared by all the clans. You've never been wrong before, Spotted Leaf. If Star Clan has spoken, then it must be so. Fire will save our clan. Eat up. Oh. Ugh. Where are you off to, Rusty? Hello, Smudge. You're not going into the woods, are you? Just for a look. You wouldn't get me out there. It's dangerous. There are huge wildcats who eat live rabbits for breakfast and and sharpen their claws on old bones. I doubt it. I'm only going to look around. I won't stay long. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Hi there, kitty pet. You put up quite a fight for a tame kitty. I'll fight you again if I have to. I'm Graypole, by the way. I'm trained to be a Thunder Clan warrior. What's a kitty pet like you doing out in the woods? Don't you know it's dangerous? If you're the most dangerous thing the woods have to offer, then I think I can handle it. Oh, I'm far from the most dangerous. If I were even half a warrior, I'd have given an intruder like you some real wounds to think about. Anyway, I didn't think it was worth hurting you, since you're obviously not from one of the other clans. Other clans? You must have heard of the four warrior clans that hunt around here. I belong to Thunder Clan. The other clans always trying to steal prey from our territory. Especially Shadow Clan. They're so fierce they would have ripped you to shreds, no questions asked. They come to take prey that's rightfully ours. It's the job of Thunder Clan warriors to keep them off of our territory. When I finish my training, I'll be so dangerous, I'll have the other clan shaking in their flea-bitten skins. They won't dare come near us then. So, you're not a warrior yet. Why? Did you think I was? I won't be a real warrior for ages. I have to go through training first. Kids have to be six moons old before they can even begin training. Tonight is my first night out as an apprentice. Why don't you find yourself with an owner with a nice cozy house instead? Your life would be so much easier. There are plenty of housefolk who would take in a kitten like you. All you have to do is sit where they can see you and look hunger for a couple of days. If they'd feed me pellets that look like rabbit droppings and soft slop. No way. I can't think of anything worse than being a kitty pet. They're nothing but two like toys. Eating stuff that doesn't look like food, making dirt in a box of gravel, sticking their noses outside only when their two legs allow them. That's no life. Out here, we're wild and free. We come and go as we please. Until you've tasted a fresh-killed mouse, you haven't lived. Have you ever tasted mouse? No, not yet. I guess you'll never understand. You weren't born wild. It makes a big difference. 
You need to be born with warrior blood in your veins, or feel the wind in your whiskers. Kitties born in a two-legged nest could never feel the same way. That's not true! I smell cats from my clan. You should go. They won't be pleased to find you hunting in our territory. Huh? I don't see anyone. Quick, run! What's going on here? Blue Star! You shouldn't be so near the two-legged place, Graypaw. I know, Lionheart. I'm sorry. Who is this? He's no threat. He's not another clan warrior. Just a two-legged pet from over the fence. This is Blue Star. She's the leader of my clan. And Lionheart, he's my mentor. Which means he's training me to be a warrior. Thank you for the introduction, Graypaw. You fight well for a two-legged pet. Graypaw is strong than you, but you used your wits to defend yourself. And you turned to face him when he chased you. I've not seen a kitty pet do that before. And you do seem to have a natural hunting ability. You would have caught that mouse if you hadn't hesitated for so long. R really? Blue Star, this is a kitty pet. He should not be hunting in ThunderClan territory. Send him home to his two legs. Send me home? But I've only come here to hunt for a mouse or two. I'm sure there's enough to go around. There's never enough to go around. If you didn't live such a soft, overfed life, you would know that. You have plenty of food in your two-leg nest already. You come here only to hunt for sport, but we hunt to survive. I have not thought of it that way before. I'm sorry. I will not hunt here again. But is survival here really so hard? Our territory covers only part of the forest. We compete with other clans for what we have. And this year, a late new leaf means prey is scarce. Is your clan very big? Big enough. Our territory can support us, but there is no prey left over. Are you all warriors then? Some are warriors. Others are too young or too old, or too busy caring for kids to hunt. And you all live and share prey together? Perhaps you should find these things out for yourself. Would you like to join ThunderClan? If you did, you would train a Graypool to become a warrior. But he wasn't born as a clan cat. He can't join our clan. He doesn't have warrior blood running in his veins. Warrior blood. Too much of that has been spilled lately. Understand that Blue Star does not make this offer lightly. If you wish to train with us, we will have to take you into our clan. You must either live with us and respect our ways, or return to your two-leg place and never come back. You cannot live with a paw in each world. Can I think about your offer? Yes. Lionheart will be here tomorrow at Sun High. Give me your answer then. Hey, Rusty! How was it last night? Did you catch anything, or did anything catch you? I met some wild cats. What? Did you get into a fight? Sort of. Were you hurt? What happened? There's three of them, and... You fought all three? N no just one. The other two came later, just to talk. How come they didn't shred you to pieces? They just warned me to leave their territory, but then they asked me to join their clan. Why would they do that? I don't know. I think they need more paws in their clan. I wouldn't trust them if I were you. Smudge, I heard them out and I've made up my mind. I'm going to join them. That's a horrible idea. I may never see you again. Don't worry. My house folk will get another cat. You'll get along with them just fine. You get along with everyone. But, Rusty, I'm going to miss you. It won't be the same. I'm sorry, Smudge. But this is something I have to do. I'll miss you too. I guess I can't persuade you otherwise. Let's at least spend one last morning together. You startled me! You have a lot to learn. Even the tiniest clan kit knows when another cat is nearby. Can you tell if I'm alone? Blue Star and Greypaw aren't with you this time? That's right. But someone else is. This is Whitestorm, one of ThunderClan's senior warriors. Hello, young one. I've heard a lot about you. Come, we can speak more once we are in camp.
very close to our camp now. Use your nose, Rusty. You must be able to scent it. I smell cats. There will come a time, if you were accepted into the clan, when you will know each cat scent by name. Follow me. Lionheart was convinced he would not. Well, what do you think of him? He kept up well on the return journey, despite his puny size. He certainly seems strong for a kitty pet. Then I shall announce his arrival to the clan. Let all cats old enough to catch their own prey gather together here beneath the high rock for a clan meeting. Oh, what's oh going on? I wonder what Thunder clan wants. needs more warriors. Never before have we had so few apprentices in training. It has been decided like that ThunderClan will take in an outsider to train as a warrior. I have found a cat who is willing to become an apprentice of ThunderClan. Lionheart and Whitestone have met this young cat, and they agree with me that we should train him with the other apprentices. Look at his collar! He's a kitty pet! Once a kitty pet, always a kitty pet! This clan needs wild-born yeah, warriors to defend it, not another soft it. mouth to feed. That tab is long tail. He smells your fear, Rusty. You must prove to him and the other cats that your fear will not hold you back. Uh, okay. Your collar is a mark of the two legs. That noisy jiggling will make you a poor hunter at best. At worst, it will bring the two legs into our territory, looking for the poor lost kitty pet who fills the woods with his pitiful tinkling. Stop it! Make me kitty pet. Teach that kitty pet a lot. I'm sorry. Get along to me. Get along to me. He's got moves like a warrior. Get along to me. He's got moves like a warrior. Get along to me. The newcomer has lost his two leg collar in a battle for his honor. StarClan has spoken its approval. This young cat has been released from the hold of his two-leg owners and is free to join ThunderClan as an apprentice. From this day forward, until he has earned his warrior name, this apprentice will be called Firepaw in honor of his flame-colored coat. Firepaw! 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 He's lucky that broke what it did. He's proclaimed that kitty pet's all right. Hey, great fight, Firepaw. Longtail's a warrior, although he only finished his training two moons ago. That scar you left on his ear won't let him forget. You spoiled his good looks, that's for sure. Thanks, Greypaw. He put up quite a fight. <laughs> that's Ravenpaw. But why is he alone? Where's Tigerclaw? Uh, who are they? Ravenpaw is an apprentice, and Tigerclaw is his mentor. He went out with Tigerclaw and Redtail at sunrise on a mission against RiverClan. Redtail? Blue Star's deputy. But why did Ravenpaw come back alone? Oh, dear. Ravenpaw? What happened? Is he okay? It's Redtail. He. he's dead. Oh, oh, we met five RiverClan warriors beside the stream, not far from the Sunning Rocks. Uh, Oakheart oh, was among them. Oh, Redtail warned Oakheart to take his hunting parties out of ThunderClan territory. He, he said the next Ripperclaim warrior to be caught on our, our, our territory would be k k killed, but Oakheart wouldn't back down. He said his clan had to be fed, no matter what we threatened. That's when the Riverclan cats attacked. Everything was a blur. The, the fighting was vicious. I saw Oakheart had red tail pinned to the ground, but then... Oh, Star Clan. Red tail. How did this happen, Tigerclaw? He died with honor, struck down by Oakheart. I couldn't save him, but I managed to take Oakheart's life while he was still gloating over his victory. Redtail's death was not in vain, for I doubt we'll see River Clan hunters in our territory again. Redtail was a brave warrior. His loyalty to ThunderClan could never be doubted. He would have made a fine leader. Dustpaw and Sandpaw will be upset. Who is Dustpaw and Sandpaw? They're two apprentices like us. 
Dustpaw was Redtail's apprentice, so I wonder who his next mentor will be. Redtail was also Sandpaw's father. Redtail will be remembered with honor. Even if he wasn't the strongest warrior, he was quick and clever. Who's this? He's the new apprentice, Firepaw. Uh, he smells like kitty pet. I was a house cat, but I'm going to train to be a warrior. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Blue Star mentioned that she stumbled across some stray kitty pet, so she's actually going to try you out, is she? That's right. Then I shall watch your progress with interest. Come on, Firepaw. Let's grab something to eat. Okay. This is the fresh kill pile. Here, Firepaw, you can have the first bite. What do you think? It's fantastic. It's oh, enemy Paul, tiger tiger will be the next death the, the, the time has come to now name Thunderclan's new deputy. I say these words before the body of Redtail, so that his spirit may hear and approve my choice. Lionheart will be the new deputy of Thunderclan. <gasps> Lionheart! 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 Why didn't she make Tigerclaw deputy? Probably because Lionheart has been a warrior longer. Redtail was also a mentor to young Dustpaw. Since there must be no delay in the training of our apprentices, I shall appoint Dustpaw's new mentor immediately. Darkstripe, you are ready for your first apprentice, so you will continue Dustpaw's training. You are a fine mentor in Tigerclaw, and I expect you to pass on your fine skills to Dustpaw. I shall keep a vigil with Redtail's body tonight, before we bury him at sunrise. Meeting dismissed. Come on, Firepaw, I'll show you where we sleep. The apprentice's den is over here. How many apprentices are there? Not as many as usual. Uh, just me, you, Ravenpaw, Dustpaw, and Sandpaw. So, here comes a new apprentice. Hello. He smells like a kitty pet. Don't tell me I'm going to have to share a den with that revolting stench. You will have to excuse Sandpaw. She's not usually this bad-tempered. I'm sorry about your father, Sandpaw. I wouldn't expect a kitty pet like you to understand. Sandpa, I expected you to be a little more welcoming to this newcomer. I'm sorry, White Storm. I just didn't expect to be training with a kitty pet. That's all. I'm sure you'll get used to it, Sandpa. Now it's getting late and training starts tomorrow. You should get some sleep. Where do I sleep? Anywhere, as long as it's not near me. Don't mind her. You can sleep by me. Thanks, Greypaw. Hmm. This is my home now. I am a member of Thunderclan. Hey, Firepaw, wake up! Training begins at sunrise. I've just spoken to Lionheart. Ravenpaw won't be training with us till his wound gets better. He'll probably stay at Spiderleaf's den for another day or two. Lionheart thought you and I could train with him in Tiger Claw this morning. We'd better hurry, though. They'll be waiting. Oh, okay. Let's go. In the future, I expect you both to be punctual. You have not yet been assigned a mentor, Firepaw. For now, Tiger Claw and I will share your training. Today, we are going to show you the edges of our territory, so that you know where you'll be hunting and what boundaries you need to protect. Greypaw, it wouldn't do you any harm to remind yourself of the clan's outer limits. Yes, Tiger Claw. We're approaching River Clan territory. The Sunning Rocks are over there. This is the boundary between Thunder Clan and River Clan territory. We'll follow the river as it leads straight to Four Trees. What's Four Trees? It's where all the territories of the four clans meet. Cool! As Greypaw told you, this is Four Trees. Wind Clan lives in high ground ahead of us. And Shadow Clan holds power over there. In the darkest part of the forest. Whoa! So many clans! 
Yes, I'm sure you can see now why our prey is so precious. And why we must fight to protect what little we have. Why can't the clans work together and share their hunting grounds and still fighting each other? That is treacherous thinking, kitty pet. Don't be too fierce, Tiger Claw. The ways of the clans are new to this apprentice. You speak from your heart, young Firepaw. This will make you a stronger warrior one day. The four clans do come together peacefully in a gathering each moon. Here is where they meet. The truce lasts for as long as the moon is at its fullest. I see. Come on, let's keep moving. This is the Thunder Path. <laughs> Scared me too first time. But don't worry, the monsters never leave the Thunder Path. You'll be fine as long as you don't go too near. Well, I think it's time we return to camp. You have seen all our boundaries now, and I expect you must be getting tired, Firepaw. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Cheer up, Ravenpaw. I know you don't like training, but you're not usually this miserable. I suppose I'm just worried about getting my shoulder hurt again. Oh, stop whining. Warriors should suffer their pain silently. You'd do best to learn to hold your tongue, Ravenpaw. Today we are going to practice stalking. Can any of you tell me what you must keep in mind when hunting mice? Step lightly? Quite right, Firepaw. All of you show me your best stock. Very nice, Firepaw. Your pace and forward movement will come later, but your crouch is perfectly balanced. It's better than Ravenpaws, I suppose. Even after two moons of training, you're still putting all your weight on your left side. His injury is bothering him, that's all. Injuries are a fact of life. He should be able to adapt. Even you, Firepaw, have learned something this morning. If Ravenpaw picked up things as quickly as you, he'd be a credit to me instead of an embarrassment. Imagine my apprentice being shown up by a kitty pet. Well, I'm more lopsided than a one-legged badger. I think I'll settle for hunting stupid mice. They won't stand a chance. I'll just wander up to them and sit on them until they surrender. Concentrate, young Greypaw. This is no time for your jokes. Perhaps you might focus your mind better if you try out your stalking for real. I want each one of you to try catching real prey. Now go! Great catch, Firepaw. You'll be a fine hunter one day. My first solo mission as an apprentice! I need to catch as much prey as I can! Who, who's there? <laughs> ah, a puny apprentice. Easy prey for Yellow Fang. <laughs> Not such an easy prey, huh? Not bad, young apprentice, but you'll need to do a lot better! You're in Thunder Clan territory. You need to leave! And who's going to make me? I will hunt. Then I will leave, or maybe I'll just stay a while. <coughs> <laughs> Had enough yet? Never! If I weren't so hungry and tired, I'd have shredded you into mouse dust. Finish me off. I won't stop you. Uh... What are you waiting for? You're acting as soft as a kitty pet! I'm an apprentice. Warrior of Thunder Clan. Don't tell me ThunderClan is so desperate that they have to recruit kitty pets now! ThunderClan's not desperate! Prove it then! Act like a warrior and finish me off! You'll be doing me a favor! You seem in an awful hurry to die. Yeah? Well that's my business! What's your problem, kitty? Are you trying to talk me to death? <sighs> Way here. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Kitty? I'm going nowhere! Aha! Uh -huh, a rabbit. Well, hello again, Kitty. I thought you'd gone to fetch some of your little warrior friends. Yeah, well, I might still do that. And don't call me Kitty. 
Look, if you don't want this... Uh, no. I do want it. Oh. This is the first fresh kill I've had in days. Shh. Someone's coming. Firepaw, what have we here? It seems you have captured us a Shadow Clan cat, and one I know well. You're Shadow Clan's medicine cat, aren't you? What are you doing so far into Thunder Clan territory? I was the Shadow Clan medicine cat. Now I choose to travel alone. This old cat is no use to us. Let's kill her now. As for this kitty pet, he should be punished for feeding this flea bag. Keep your claws in, Darkstripe. All the clans speak of Yellowfang's bravery and wisdom. It may help us to hear what she has to say. Come, we'll take her back to camp. Then we'll decide what to do with her and Firepaw. Can you walk, or do you need help? <laughs> I've still got legs! Have you heard of Yellowfang? I've heard some. Apparently, she was a warrior before she became a medicine cat. Which is unusual. I can't imagine her as a loner, though. She's lived her whole life in Shadow Clan. What's a loner? A loner is a cat that isn't part of a clan or cared for by two legs. Tiger Claw says they're untrustworthy and selfish. They often live around two legged dwellings, but belong to no one and catch their own prey. I might end up a loner once Blue Star's finished with me. Blue Star's very fair. She won't throw you out. She certainly seems pleased to have such an important Shadow Clan cat as a prisoner. I'm sure she's not going to make a fuss about you feeding the poor old flea bag. May all cats old enough to catch their own prey join here together for a clan meeting. I'm sure you have all heard about the prisoner we brought back with us today. But there is something else you need to know. I'm afraid I have some very grave news. Today, I traveled with the patrol into Wind Clan territory. The air was filled with the scent of Shadow Clan. Almost every tree had been sprayed by Shadow Clan warriors. Do you mean Shadow Clan has chased them out? We can't be sure. We saw signs of a battle, though we found no bodies from either clan. How can Wind Clan have been driven out? Shadow Clan is fierce, but Wind Clan has many. They have lived in the hills for generations. Why have they been chased out now? We don't know. Shadow Clan's new leader, Brokenstar, gave no hint of any threat towards them when we met at the last gathering. Perhaps Yellow Fang has answers? After all, she is of Shadow Clan. I am no traitor! Nothing would make me share the secrets of Shadow Clan with a brute like you! In any case, Thunder Clan must prepare itself. Our need for warriors is great. We shall get around this by speeding up the training of our apprentices. They need to be ready even sooner to fight for our clan. One young cat has been sharing mentors with Greypaw and Ravenpaw. By teaching him, I'll speed up the training of all three apprentices. I shall take on Firepaw as my own apprentice. So Firepaw is to be rewarded, not punished, for feeding an enemy warrior when he should be feeding his own clan? Firepaw is my apprentice now. I will deal with him. Yellowfang will be allowed to stay here until she has recovered her strength. We are warriors, not savages. She is to be treated with respect and courtesy. But the clan cannot support Yellowfang! We have too many mouths to feed already! I don't need anyone to care for me! And I'll split open anyone who tries! Firepaw, as punishment, it will be your responsibility to care for Yellowfang. Yes, Blue Star. Very well. Meeting dismissed. I would like to speak to my senior warriors alone now. Stop right there, kitty pet! You can call me what you like. I'm just following Blue Star's orders. You are a kitty pet, though, aren't you? I used to live with two legs when I was a kitten. Kitty pet blood is not the same as warrior blood. Why don't you run home to your two legs now instead of looking after me? It's humiliating being fussed over by a kitty pet like you. You're going to have to get used to being cared for until you're well enough to look after yourself, you spitful old bag of bones. Look, I didn't mean- <laughs> You have spirit, kitty pet. Now I'm tired and my leg hurts. I need sleep and something to put on this wound. 
Go and find that pretty little medicine cat of yours and ask her for some herbs. I think Goldenrod would help. And while you're at it, I wouldn't mind a few poppy seeds to chew on. The pain is killing me! Ha hi, Spotted Leaf. Yellow Fane needs some herbs for her wound. Goldenrod and some poppy seeds? I've got most of those in my den. I'll fetch some marigold leaves too. If she dresses her wound with that, it'll keep off infection. Wait here. Thanks. Tell Yellowfang to go easy on the poppy seeds. I don't want her to deaden the pain entirely. A little pain can be useful, as it will help me judge how well she is healing. Thanks, Spotted Leaf. Here you go, Yellow Fane. Good. Now before you leave me in peace, find me something to eat. I'm starving. Another day looking after that mangy old flu bag, eh, Firepaw? I bet you wish you were out training with us. Don't worry, Firepaw. Blue Star will have you back into training before long. What is White Storm teaching you today, Sandpaw? We're doing battle training! He's going to teach me how real warriors fight! How about you, Graypaw? Lionheart's taking me to the Great Skamora to practice my climbing. I'd better go. He'll be waiting. See ya, Graypaw! Here. About time! The base of my tail is just like fury, but I can't reach it! Give it a look, would you? <laughs> Feel my teeth, Broken Star. <sighs> Stay away from me, you scrap of fur! Sorry! I think the kids are finding it hard to be confined to the camp. They're getting restless. I don't care how restless they are! Just keep them away from me! Don't you like kits? Did you never have kits of your own? You know medicine cats don't have kits! But I heard you were a warrior before that. I have no kits! Okay then. There are a couple of ticks, but I can't pull them out. I should hope you didn't even try, you idiot! I don't want any tick heads embedded in my rear, thank you very much. Ask Spotted Leaf for a little mouse boil to rub on them. A splash of that in their breathing holes and they'll soon loosen their grip. I'll get some now! Can I have some mouse bile for Yellow Fane's ticks? In a moment. If you're busy, I can come back later. No, you're fine. What was it you wanted? Mouse bow. Yes, please. The moss is soaked in bile. Don't get any in your mouth or you'll have a foul taste for days. Press it onto the ticks and then wash your paws. In a stream, not with your tongue. Still, yellow thing. There, got him. Thanks, kitty pad. Now, shoo. Firepaw, where are you off to? You ought to be helping with the preparations. I just got back from putting mouse blow on yellow thing's ticks. So now you're off to the nearest stream, hmm? Well, don't come back without fresh kill. We need as much as we can find. Will do. What are you doing up here, Firepaw? Ugh, I have to put mouse ball on yellow things ticks. How about you? Where are Lionheart and Tigerclaw? They've gone to join the next patrol. They said that Ravenpaw and I have to spend the rest of the afternoon hunting. I was just told the same thing. Everyone's busy back at camp. You think we were about to be attacked at any moment? Who says we won't be? Looks like you've done all right today. Yeah, and we still got the rest of the afternoon to hunt. Wanna join us? You bet.
Well done, you three. I hear you've been busy. You might as well add that last lot to the fresh kill pile for tonight, and take some of it back to your den with you. You deserve a feast. I hope you've not been neglecting Yellow Fang with all this hunting fire, Paul. I tended her this morning. Very well. Hey, guess what? Raven Paul managed to squeeze a compliment out of old Tiger Claw this morning. Really? What do you have to do, fly? I got a crow. How do you manage that? It was an old one. But it was huge! Even Tiger Claw couldn't find fault with that. He's been in such a bad mood since Blue Star took you as her apprentice. Well, hang on. Mikdotson's Lionheart was made deputy. He's just worried about Shadow Clan and the extra patrols. You should try not to bother him. Firepaw! Oh no, I forgot to take Yellowfane her share. You wait here, I'll take her something. No, I better go. This is my punishment, not yours. No one will notice! They're all busy eating. You know me. Quiet as a mouse and quick as a fish. Wait here. Great paw, stop right there. Where are you taking those mice? Um... Not helping young Firepaw by feeding that greedy traitor over there, are you? I, er, was feeling hungry. I was going to take them off and eat them by myself. Oh, really? Well, if you're so hungry, you might as well eat them here and now. But- Now! <laughs> Better now? Much. Good. Thanks for trying, Grey Paw. That was quick thinking. Fire Paw! You good for nothing! Where is my dinner? Are you gonna be okay, Grey Paw? Uh, I think I ate too much. Go and see Spotted Leaf. I'm sure she'll find something to help. I hope so. Fire Paw! Where are you? Coming, Yellow Fane! How are you doing, Yellowfang? My bones ache! Has it been raining all night? Since just after noon. Your bedding must be soaking wet. Why don't you move close to the nursery? It's more sheltered there. What? And be kept awake all night by those mewling kits? I'd rather get wet. Then at least let me fetch you some dry bedding. Well, don't just stand there like a startled squirrel. Go and fetch me some moss. How is Yellowfang today? Her bedding is wet, so I was going to fetch her more. I'll ask one of the queens to see to that. Is she fit enough to hunt for herself yet? I don't think so, but she can walk well enough now. It is time for you to return to your training, Firepool. You'll need to work hard to make up for the time you've lost. Finally! Uh, I, I mean, uh, thank you, Blue Star. You can go out with Tiger Claw this morning. I've asked him to assess the warrior skills of all our apprentices. Don't worry about Yellowfang. I'll make sure someone sees to her while you're gone. Now go. I expect they're waiting for you. Thanks, Blue Star. Lionheart and I have spent the last few weeks trying to teach you how to hunt decently. Today you'll have a chance to show me how much you've learned. Each one of you will take a different route and hunt as much prey as possible. And whatever you catch will be added to the fresh kill pile. Ravenpaw, you will follow the trail beyond the Great Sycamore, as far as the Snake Rocks. That should be easy enough for your pitiful skills. Graypaw, you'll take the route along the stream, as far as the Thunder Path. Great. Wet paws for me. And finally you, Firepaw. It's a shame your glorious mentor couldn't be here today to witness your performance for herself. In any case, you shall take the route through the tall pines, past the two-leg place, into the woods beyond. Mm -hmm. And remember, I'll be watching and assessing all of you. Now go. I'll be passing by the two-leg place. I wonder if I'll see... Smudge? Rusty, is that you? Well... I'm called Firepaw now. Well then, Firepaw, 
It looks like your new house folk don't feed you enough. You certainly weren't that scrawny when you left. I don't need two legs to feed me. I've got a whole forest of food to eat. So, you mean you're really living with those wildcats? Yeah, I live in ThunderClan. What's it like living wild? Is it as good as you thought it would be? It is. And I know who I am now. Here, kitty kitty. Smudge, where are you? Mm, I should be getting home. It's almost meal time. Bye, Smudge. It was nice seeing you again. You too. Uh oh. I can't believe you caught an adder, Ravenpaw. Did it bite you? No, I was too quick for it. I wonder who Blue Star will choose to go to the gathering. Tonight's the full moon. I hope we get to go. This gathering will be an important one. It will be the first time the clans have met since Wind Clan disappeared. I wonder what Shadow Clan has to say about it. Sampaw and Dustpaw have been twice already. So maybe Blue Star will choose one of us this time. After all, we've been training for almost three moons now. Firepaw! Blue Star wants to see you. Now! If you can spare the time. Uh, okay. Tiger Claw told me that he saw you talking with the cat from the two leg place today. He was just an old friend. Smudge. We grew up together. When I was a kitty pet. Do you miss your old life, Firepaw? Do you wish to leave the clan? No, of course not. My place is here. This is my home. When I saw Smudge today, I saw what my life would have been if I stayed with the two legs. It made me certain that I had made the right decision. I could have never been satisfied with the soft life of kitty pet. I'm glad to hear that. I spoke to Yellowfang earlier. She's a wise old scat and she thinks a lot of you. But there's something about her that I don't trust. She will stay with ThunderClan for now, but remain as a prisoner. The queens will care for her. You must concentrate on your training. Yes, Blue Star. Although you showed bad judgement today in talking to a house cat, Tiger Claw was impressed by your hunting skills. In fact, he reported that you all did well. I am pleased with your progress. All three of you can come to the gathering tonight. Thank you, Blue Star. But what about Sampaw and Dustpaw? They'll remain behind and guard the camp. You've earned this, Firepaw. Well, what'd she say? Tiger Claw told us you were sharing tongues with a kitty pet this morning. Are you in trouble? No, although... Blue Star wasn't pleased. She thought I might want to leave ThunderClan. You don't, though. Do you? Of course he doesn't. Yeah, of course not. But you'll never guess what she said. We're all going to the gathering! What? Really? Are Sampaw and Dustpaw coming too? Nope. They had to stay behind and guard the camp. Ooh, let me talk to them. I can't wait to see the looks on their faces. I can't believe we're going instead of them. Especially after Tiger Claw saw me with Smudge today. That was just bad luck, but we all caught loads of prey in the assessment. That must be what decided it. I wonder what the gathering will be like. It'll be great! I bet all the best warriors will be there. Clawface, Stonefur... Maybe it was more than bad luck that Tiger Claw was there right as I met up with Smudge. He sent me so close to the Too Late place. Was he trying to test me? Doesn't he trust that I'm loyal to ThunderClan? Look at all those cats down there! Oh, there's Crooked Star, RiverClan's leader. Where? He's that light-colored tabby right beside the Great Rock. Wow, he's huge! His jaw looks like it's broken. Look, there's Broken Star, ShadowClan's leader. He looks pretty nasty. Yeah, he certainly got a reputation among the clans for not suffering fools gladly. And he's not been leader for long, just four moons since his father, Ragged Star, died. What does the leader of Wind Clan look like? Tall Star? I've never seen him, but I know he's black and white with a really long tail. I wonder if he'll show up. Maybe they're just late. When does the meeting begin? Be patient, Ravenpaw. The sky is clear tonight, so we'll have plenty of time.
This is a good opportunity to meet your enemies. Listen to them. Remember what they look like and how they behave. There is a great deal to be learned from these meetings. And say little. Don't give anything away that might be used against us after the night's truce has ended. Don't worry, we won't. Well, I'm gonna go find Lionheart. You coming, Ravenpaw? No thanks, I'm gonna find some other apprentices. I'm going to see where Tired Claw went. I guess we'll meet up later. The battle was vicious. Three warriors tried to hold me, but I threw them off. I fought them off until two were knocked out, and the other one ran off into the forest like a kit crying for its mother. He didn't mention killing Oakheart and Vendish for Redtail's death. Maybe he doesn't want to offend the River Clan warriors. Still no Sin of Wind Clan. The meeting hasn't begun yet. They may still come. Look, there's Running Nose. He's the new Shadow Clan medicine cat, apparently. I can see why they call him Running Nose. Yup. I can't see why they appointed him. He can't even cure his own cold. Since the two legs came and filled the forest with hard earth and strange flowers, the herbs had disappeared, and our kits died needlessly in cold weather! It never would have happened in the time of the Great Clan Cats. The Great Cats would have killed any two legs that dared enter their territory. If Tiger Clan roamed the forest still, the two legs wouldn't have built this far into our land. What's Tiger Clan? Tiger Clan is one of the Great Cat Clans. They used to roam the forest. Tiger Clan are cats of the night, big as horses with jet black stripes. Then there's Lion Clan. Oh, I've heard of them! They had yellow fur and golden manes like rays of the sun. And then there's that other one, Spotty Clan or something like that. I think you're referring to Leopard Clan, young Greyhawk. Don't you youngsters know your ancestor history? They were the swiftest cats, huge and golden, spotted with black spots. You can thank Leopard Clan for the speed and hunting skills you now possess. Thank them? Why? There is a trace of all the great cats in every cat today. You're a Shadow Clan apprentice, aren't you? How old are you? Uh, six moons. Badgerpaw, where are you? I've gotta go. It was nice meeting you. He's pretty small for six moons. He sure is. Anyways, come on, Firepaw. Let's see what Ravenpaw's up to. Fur was flying everywhere. Blood splattered the leaves of the bramble bushes, bright red against green. I just fought of a huge warrior and sent him squealing into the bushes. When the ground shook, I heard a warrior scream. It was Oakheart. Redtail raced past me, smelled green blood in his fur torn. Oakheart's dead, he howled, and he rushed off to help Tiger Claws. He fought another warrior. Who would have thought that Ravenpaw was such a good storyteller? I thought Tiger Claw said that Oakheart killed Redtail, and then Tiger Claw killed Oakheart in vengeance. But if Redtail was the one who killed Oakheart, who killed Redtail? What did what? Finally, Redtail dragged the wailing cat off Tiger Claw by his tail, and with the strength of the whole of Tiger Clan, flung him into the bushes. What were Oakheart's dying words? Is it true that Oakheart had never lost a battle before? Oh no. Surely, they won't start the meeting without Tallstar. I don't know. Haven't you noticed? There isn't a single Wind Clan cat here. We can't start yet. Where is Wind Clan? Cats of all clans, welcome. It's true that Windclan is not present, but Broken Star wishes to speak anyways. Friends, I come to speak to you tonight about the needs of Shadow Clan. Where's Tall Star? Where are the Windclan warriors? As the leader of Shadow Clan, it is my right to address you here. We all know that the hard times of Leaf Bear and Late New Leaf have left us with little prey in our hunting grounds, but we also know that Wind Clan, River Clan, and Thunder Clan lost many kits in the freezing weather that came so late this season. Shadow Clan did not lose kits. We are hardened to the cold north wind. Our kits are stronger than yours from the moment they are born. And so, we find ourselves with many mouths to feed, 
and too little prey to feed them. What are you getting at? Uh, who cares? The needs of Shadow Clan are simple. In order to survive, we must increase our hunting territory. That is why I insist that you allow my Shadow Clan warriors to hunt in your territories. Share our hunting grounds! That's absurd! The clans have never shared hunting rights before. Why should we start now? Should Shadow Clan be punished because our kits thrive? Do you want us to watch our young starve? You must share what you have with us. Must? Why must we do anything? Wind Clan failed to understand this, and we were forced to drive them out of their own territory. And if we have to, we will drive you all from your hunting grounds as well in order to feed our hungry kits. Drive us out? Can he do that? Each year, the two legs spoil more of our territory. At least one clan must remain strong if we are all to survive. I do not ask for your answer now. You must each go away and consider my words, but bear this in mind. Would you prefer to share your prey or be driven out and left homeless and starving? I have already agreed to allow Shadow Clan some hunting rights in the river that runs through our territory. We were not consulted. How could you, Crooked Star? I feel that this is best for our clan. For all the clans. There are plenty of fish in the river. It is better to share a prey than to spill blood fighting over it. And what of Thunder Clan? Star, have you two agreed to this outrageous demand? I have made no agreement with Broken Star except that I shall discuss his proposal with my clan after the gathering. I also bring news that is important to the safety of your kits. A Shadow Clan cat has turned rogue. We chased her out of our camp, but we do not know where she is now. She is a mangy old creature and has a bite like fury. That must be Yellowfang he's talking about. Is he talking about Yellowfang? She's dangerous. I warn you, do not offer shelter to her. And until she's caught and killed, I urge you to keep a close eye on your kids. Well, she did snap our golden flowers kids the other day. And we left her behind with the camp virtually unguarded? I tried to tell you she was a danger to us. Blue Star has to listen to reason now and get rid of her before she harms any of our young. She might be a grub sometimes, but I can't believe that Yellow Fang would be a danger to kids. We must return to camp at once and deal with this rogue. I have to get back to camp and warn Yellow Fang! Yellow Fang! Yellow Fang! Wake up! It's important! I wasn't sleeping. What's wrong with you? Broken Star is trying to get the others to turn against you. So, he has kept his promise. What promise? Shadow Clan's noble leader promised to drive me from every clan territory. He said that our kits were in danger, as long as we sheltered the Shadow Clan rogue. He didn't say your name, but it was pretty clear he was referring to you. You have to leave before the others get back. You mean they actually believed Broken Star? Darkstripe says that you're dangerous. The other cats are scared of the things you could do. Tigerclaw is planning to come back, and I, I don't know, but I think you must go before they get here. What did Broken Star mean? He warned us to keep close eye on our kids. Would you really do something like that? Would I what? Would you harm our kids? Do you think so? No, of course not. I don't think you could ever harm a kid. But why would Broken Star say such a terrible thing. I hope that dirty old rogue hasn't hurt our kids. We should have never sheltered that fugitive. Yellow Fang is going to pay. She can't stay here. Oh, no, they're coming. You have to get out of here, Yellow Fang. Firepaw, wait. You believe I'm innocent. I'm grateful for that. If you believe me, then others could too. I know Blue Star will give me a fair hearing. I can't run forever. I'm much too old. I shall stay here and face whatever your clan decides for me. But what about Tigerclaw? What if he- He's headstrong. He knows the power he has over the other clan cats. They are in awe of him. But even he will obey Blue Star. But Yellowfane! Now go, Firepaw. Don't get yourself into trouble by being seen here with me. There's nothing you can do for me. Have faith in your leader and let her decide what happens to me. 
You went to warn Yellowfang, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did. But she won't leave. She trusts Blue Star to treat her fairly. Then maybe we should trust her too. What happened? Broken Star has demanded hunting rights for Shadow Clan in our territory! He also warned us about a rogue Shadow Clan cat who will harm our kids. It has to be Yellowfang. What's going on? I have given no order to attack our prisoner. Thanks, Star Clan, we got back in time. The kids are safe. Of course they are. But you are going to throw Yellowfang out, aren't you? Throw her out? We should kill her right now! And what has she done to deserve that? You were at the gathering. Broken Star said she... Broken Star only said that there is a rogue somewhere in the woods. He did not mention Yellowfang by name. The kits are safe. And for as long as she is in my clan, Yellowfang will not be harmed in any way. I will leave now if that is what you wish, Blue Star. There is no need. You have done nothing wrong and you will be safe here. It is time we discuss the real threat to our clan, Broken Star. We have already begun to prepare for an attack by Shadow Clan. We must patrol our borders more frequently. Wing Clan is gone. River Clan has given hunting rights to Shadow Clan warriors. Thunder Clan stands alone against Broken Star. Then we're not going to give in to Broken Star's demands. Clans have never shared hunting rights before. They have always managed to support themselves in their own territories, and there is no reason why this should change. But can we defend ourselves against a Shadow Clan attack? Wind Clan couldn't manage it, and River Clan won't even try. But we must try. We will not give up our territory without a fight. I shall travel to the Moonstone tomorrow. The Warriors of Star Clan will give me the strength I need to lead Thunder Clan through this dark time. You must all get some rest. We have a lot to do when daylight comes. I wish to talk alone with Lionheart now. What's the Moonstone? It's a rock deep underground that shines in the dark. All the clan leaders have to spend one night at the Moonstone when they're first chosen. There, the spirits of Star Clan share with them. Share what with them? I don't know. I only know that the new leaders have to sleep near the stone, and as they sleep, they have special dreams. After that, they have the gift of nine lives and take the name Star. Ravenpaw, what were you thinking blabbering to those apprentices? I'm sorry, Tigerclaw. I wasn't thinking. Well, it seems as though you're about to reach another important step in your training. What's that? Blue Star wishes for you, Firepaw, and Ravenpaw to accompany her on the journey to the Moonstone tomorrow. No fair! Dustpaw and I have been apprentices longer. We should go instead! You'll make the journey soon enough. For now, ThunderClan needs your strength and skill at the camp. I will remain here also. When are we leaving? At dawn. You need to rest now. But first go to Spotted Leaf and collect the herbs you'll need on this journey. It's a long way. The herbs will give you the strength to suppress your appetite. There will be little time for catching prey. Well then, you better go see Spotted Leaf. Are you two here for traveling, Herbs? Y yes please. There's enough here for you two and Ravenpaw. These herbs will stop your hunger pangs during the journey and give you strength. Thanks, Spotted Leaf. Good luck, travel safely. It must be a long way to the Moonstone. We have never been given herbs before. Do you know where it is? Beyond clan territory at a place called the High Stones. It lies deep underground in a cave we call Mothermouth. Wow, that's cool. But we better get some sleep. It sounds as if it may be the last comfortable night we'll get for a while. Have a safe journey, my friends. We will. Just as you will keep the camp safe, Deputy. I trust you. I will, Blue Star. And thank you. Remember, you three are almost warriors. Don't forget what I've taught you. And listen to Blue Star and Tigerclaw. They've made this journey before, 
You have not. Yes, Lineheart. See you soon. Isn't this Shadow Clan's land? Yeah, but we have to pass through Shadow Clan's territory to get there. All clans are entitled to safe passage to the Moonstone, but Shadow Clan seems to have no respect for the warrior code anymore, so be alert. I'm starving! I haven't eaten since last night! Didn't Firepaw give you the traveling herbs from Spotted Leaf? They were supposed to suppress your hunger, you know. He did, but they smelled bad, so I didn't eat them. I didn't know that's what they were for. I'm sorry you are hungry, Ravenpool. But we mustn't hunt outside our territory. We'll follow the Warrior Code even if Shadow Clan don't. Hmm. I smell a Shadow Clan patrol. <laughs> but they are upwind. They won't know we are here if we keep moving. But we must hurry. If they move ahead, they'll detect us. It's not far to the edge of Wing Clan territory now. Come on, we'll get there by nightfall as long as we keep up the pace. <gasps> Dogs! You're fine. They're tied up, as they always are when we pass them. They're no threat to us. Is that... Another Thunderbath? Yep, it runs from Shadow Clan territory. Can you see the high stones behind it? Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have to cross the Thunderbath then? We sure do. We'll go one at a time. Ravenpaw, you first. But, but Tiger Claw. No Tiger Claw. I'll go first. Don't forget, this will be the first time crossing for these apprentices. Let them see how it is done. Off you go, Ravenpaw. Now you've seen how it's done. Uh... Go! Ah! Go on then, you two. Here goes nothing. It was nice knowing you, Firepaw. Uh... Uh, move, you idiot! Uh... I thought you were gonna be fresh kill. Me too. Two legs can be so reckless. Do you want to rest before we go on? No, I'm okay. This is Mother Mouth. We'll wait here until the moon is higher. You should hunt if you're hungry and then get some rest. Come on, Ravenpaw. You said you were hungry. Um, coming. Come on, it's time. How will we find our way in such darkness? I've been here before. I know the way. Just follow my scent. Ravenpaw and Greypaw, you will remain on guard outside. Yes, Blue Star. Firepaw, you will accompany me and Tigerclaw into the Moonstone. Alright. It's too small in here. The air tastes stale. Are you sure you know the way, Blue Star? Yes, Tiger Claw. Have faith in your leader. I don't like the feeling of this place. I'm getting out of here. Uh, uh, Tiger Claw? Firepaw. I I I'm still here. It is all right, young warrior. Don't be afraid. Tiger Claw is just surprised by the power of the Moonstone. In the world above, Tiger Claw is a fearless and mighty warrior. But down here, where the spirits of Star Clan speak, a cat needs a different kind of strength. What do you feel, young Firepaw? Um, only my own curiosity. 
Good. I must speak with StarClan now. Wait here. I can't be woken prematurely. Wow, it's so beautiful. How the moon lights up the stone. I hope everything is okay with Blue Star. She looks like she's having a bad dream. No, no. This can't happen. No, not now. <gasps> ah! Firepaw? Yes, Blue Star. Hurry. We must return to the others. What did you learn? We must return to camp immediately. I just pray we aren't too late. Keep up, Ravenpaw. You're holding us back. Sorry, Tiger Claw. I'm coming. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit tired. What did Tiger Claw say when he came out of the cave? He wanted to make sure we were still guarding the entrance. Why? Did you sense anything strange about him? The only thing that was strange was that damp old cave. He seemed a little edgy. He wasn't the only one! What do you mean? The fur on your neck stands up whenever you see Tiger Claw these days. You nearly jumped out of your skin when he came out of the cave. He just surprised me, that's all. You have to admit, it was a bit creepy by Mother Mouth. I suppose so. So, what's it like inside, Firepaw? Did you see the Moonstone? Yeah, I, I did. It was amazing. It was better than I imagined it would be. Look, it's a loner! This is Bali. He lives near this two-leg nest. I haven't seen any of your clan for some moons. How are you, Blue Star? I'm well. And you, Bali? How's the prey been running since we last passed this way? Not too bad. One good thing about living by two legs is that you'll always find plenty of rats nearby. You seem to be more of a hurry than usual. Is everything alright? What? Um, yes. It's just that I don't like to be away from my clan for too long. As always, Blue Star, you are tied to your clan like a queen to her kids. I just wanted to warn you that there are two dogs that live near here now. They roam free at this time of night. You'd be safer cutting through the cornfield instead of going past the yard. We know about the dogs. We saw them earlier. Thank you for the warning, Bali. Until next time our paths cross. Goodbye. Have a safe journey. Come. We must continue home. You trust the word of that loner? Tiger Claw. Bali is a friend. I would trust him with my life. You can cut through the yard if you would rather face the dogs, but I am taking Bali's advice and going this way. Fine. Tiger Claw sure is in a mood. It smells like prey. What was that? Oh no. Rats! Ow! Bur bite burns like fury! Firepaw! Raven paw! Help! Yeah, take that, you crow food eater! Ooh, oh, oh. There's no use in fighting. The rats will just keep coming. We have to get out of here. Arg! Get off! Ah, Fireball! Help! Oh no! Ravenpaw! Oh. Come on! We've gotta go! You two keep running. I'll hold them back. But... B Blue Star! Just go. Get to safety and I'll catch up. Don't worry about me. Tiger Claw! Help! Oh 
Blue Star, don't worry, I've got you. They're still coming. You three hold them off. Ooh. Uh, stupid rats! They're retreating. Oh no. B Blue Star, are you okay? <clears throat> Barley, you've sent us into a trap. I, I, I didn't know the rats were here. I'm, I'm sorry. Why did you send us this way? The dogs. I, I didn't want them to. The dogs were tied up when we passed them earlier. The two leg unties them at night. They guard his nest, honest. It's Tiger Claw. Blue Star's injured. <sighs> Is there anything we can do? She's in the paws of Star Clan now. Is she dead? I don't know. We must wait and see. Star Clan, please send her back to us. <coughs> Blue Star. It's all right. I'm still here. I have lost a life, but it wasn't my last. Thanks, Star Clan. Right. Ravenpaw, fetch cobwebs for Blue Star's wounds. Graypaw, you should go find Marigold or Horsetail to keep the infection off. Barley, I think you've done enough damage for one day. I'm so sorry that this happened. I wish you all a quick recovery. Here. Thanks. Uh should I put them on her wounds? You'll often show me how. Very well. If it had not been for Tiger Claw, those rats would have eaten me alive. I must remember to thank him. It wasn't Tiger Claw. It was... <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've seen you lose a life, Blue Star. How many have you lost now? That was my fifth. I have four lives remaining. Hmm. We should rest here while you recover. No. We must get back to camp as soon as possible. Let's keep going. Are you sure you're fit to travel? You just lost a life. I'll manage. Uh, oh no. Blue Star! We shouldn't be crossing here! What if we run into a patrol? Don't worry about Shadow Clan warriors. You won't find any here today. How can she be so sure? Yeah, I can still smell the stench of Shadow Clan. Maybe the breeze carried it down from Wind Clan's territory. Quick, it is a star can't warn me. Our camp is being attacked. Remember your training and try not to die. Oh no! My kids! Don't worry, Frostfur. I'll guard the nursery. Thank you. Frostfur, help! Get off her! Doesn't Thunder Clan have anyone other than she cats and pregnant queens to fight their battles? Oh, you're going to regret saying that! Lion Heart! You're back! Grandpa, do you remember your training? I do! Well done, Grandpa. You'll pay for that. Ow, ow, ow. Get off me. And don't come back. Wow! Even when wounded, Blue Star is a powerful fighter! Uh, is that Blackfoot? The Shadow Clan deputy? What is he doing over there by the nursery? Ah! No, no! Get away from them! I think I'll let you harm these kids! Never! Ah! <laughs> Shut up! 
you old bag of bones. <coughs> no! Not Rosedale! Get away from the nursery! Stop right there. <coughs> Someone! The kids are in danger! Ouch! Let me go! You fox-hearted brute! Leave those kids alone, or you'll have to go through me! <laughs> Don't worry, Blackfoot is gone. I chased him off. The kids will be okay. I'll protect them. Thanks, Yellow Faint. The clan won't forget your bravery. Get out! And don't come back! They're finally gone. That fighting was brutal. The rumors about how Broken Star trains his warriors must be true. Is everyone alright? Are our kids safe? I think I heard Firepie say someone was in the nursery. All of our kids are safe thanks to Yellow Fang. A Shadow Clan warrior killed Brave Rosetail and was trying to steal the kids from their nest. But Yellow Fang fought him off. It was no ordinary Shadow Clan warrior either. I saw him. It was Blackfoot. What? The Shadow Clan deputy? Wow, you're so brave, Yellow Fang. What's wrong, Blue Star? Spotted Leaf is with Lionheart. He was injured in the battle. It looks bad. N no! Not Lionheart! <sighs> there is no help for Lionheart now. I have done all I can. He is on his way to join Starkland. All I can do is ease his pain for the journey there. No! Not Lionheart! <sighs> He is with our ancestors now. No! No! He's gone! There must be some mistake! He can't be! He can't leave me! I'm still in training! He has so much more to teach me before I can be a warrior! Lionheart... Lionheart, you are a wonderful mate. Our kids will be proud to have you as their father. I will never let them forget your name. My son... My little warrior, you would have been a great leader. You've made me so proud, Lionheart. May Star Clan light your path. Thank you for your wisdom. You've taught me so much. I would not be a member of Thunder Clan if it weren't for you and your kindness. You were the best deputy and friend anyone could wish for. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, Lionheart. Blue Star, those rat bites look pretty bad. May I see to them? Later. Please help the clan first. Very well. I'll go and see if anyone else needs treated then. I'm sorry, Great Paul. He was a great mentor. Really? I've seen to everyone. May I treat you now, Blue Star? Yes, you may. Thank you, Spotted Leaf. Hey, are you coming, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Leave him here. I'm sure Blue Star will excuse him. It is nearly moon high, and it is once more my duty. Much, much too soon. To name ThunderClan's new deputy. Is she going to choose Tigerclaw? Do you think? Who else could it be? He's our strongest warrior. If you ask me, Tigerclaw should have been chosen long ago. He's the obvious choice. Hush! Show some respect for Redtail and Lionheart. And keep your jaw shut too. Blue Star's about to speak. I say these words before the body of Lionheart, so that his spirit may hear and approve my choice. I have not forgotten the cat that avenged the death of Redtail and brought his body back to us. ThunderClan needs this fearless loyalty more than ever now. Tigerclaw will be the new deputy of ThunderClan. Tigerclaw! 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 Tiger ThunderClan, I am honored to accept the position of clan deputy. I never expected to gain such a high rank, but by the spirit of Lionheart and Redtail, I vow to serve you as best I can. 
Oh, oh no, she shouldn't have done that. She should have never chosen him. What? Are you talking about Tiger Claw? Why shouldn't she- She's wanted to be deputy ever since he took her red tail. It was Tiger Claw who killed him? Uh-huh. Are you telling Firepaw how I protected Red Tail? <clears throat> he was just saying he wished you had been there to save Lionheart as well. That's all. Hmm. Very well. Uh, Ravenpaw? <clears throat> what are we going to do? At dawn, the elders came and took Lionheart's body to the burial place, and Graypaw helped dig the hole where the great warrior would now rest. Firepaw? Firepaw, come on, wake up! Uh. Blue Stars called another meeting. Huh? Uh, it's freezing! I can't even remember the last time I ate. I wonder if I'll have a chance to hunt today. Just before the battle, our leader lost another life. Now that she only has four of her nine lives left, I'm going to appoint a bodyguard to stay at her side constantly. No cat will be allowed to approach her unless the guards are present. Darkstripe, Longtail, you will act as Blue Star's guards. Yes, Tiger Claw. We can't talk to our own leader unless a bodyguard is present? That's absurd! Figures that Tiger Claw would pick his two closest friends to guard the leader. I don't like this. It doesn't seem right. It's never been like this before. Thank you, Tiger Claw, for your loyalty. But the clan must understand that I am still here for them. No cat should hesitate to approach me. And I am happy to speak to anyone with or without my bodyguards. As the Warrior Code says, the safety of the clan is more important than the security of any single member. And now, I wish to invite Yellowfang to join ThunderClan. Yellowfang's joining ThunderClan? But she was a Shadow Clan cat! She was awfully brave at the battle yesterday. She saved all of those kits. I think Yellowfang would be a lovely addition to our clan. Her actions last night proved that she is brave and loyal. If she wishes it, we would welcome her as a full member of this clan. I am honored, Blue Star, and I accept your offer. Wow, I can't believe Blue Star did that. Last night, we successfully defended ourselves against Shadow Clan, but they are still a great threat. The repair work we began this morning will continue. Our boundaries will be patrolled constantly. We must not assume that the war is over. Shadow Clan attacked while we were away from camp. They chose their moment well. How did they know that the camp was so poorly defended? Do they have eyes inside our camp? Why is he staring at Ravenpaw? Was it someone among us? Was it Ravenpaw? Did Ravenpaw have something to do with this? Why is he staring at you like that, Ravenpaw? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> we still have a while before sunset. We must concentrate on rebuilding our camp. Meanwhile, if you suspect anything, or anyone, tell me. Be assured, anything you say will be kept in confidence. Meeting dismissed. R Ravenpaw? Oh, where'd he go? I think he ran off to help Whitestorm and Halftail collect twigs so they could patch holes in the boundary wall. He clearly doesn't want to talk. That was odd what Tigerclaw said during the meeting. And the way he kept staring at Ravenpaw, it's like he was hinting that his own apprentice had betrayed the clan. We'd better go and help him, don't you think? Uh, you go. I'll be there in a moment. I want to check on Yellowfang and see if she's okay after her fight with Blackfoot. Alright, see you Firepaw. Firepaw, I'm glad you've come. I wanted to check that you were alright. 
Old habits stay longer than old scents, eh? I suppose so. Anyways, how are you feeling, Yellowfang? This old leg injury is playing up again. But I'll be fine. How did you manage to fight Blackfoot off? Oh. Blackfoot's strong, but he's not a clever fighter. Fighting you was more of a challenge. Really? I've known him since he was a kid. He hasn't changed. A bully, but no brains. I'm not surprised Blue Star asked you to join the clan. You certainly showed your loyalty last night. Perhaps a truly loyal cat would have fought at the side of the clan that raised her. <laughs> but then I'd be fighting for my two legs. Well said, youngster. But then, you have always been a thinker. Do you ever miss Shadow Clan? I miss the old Shadow Clan. The way it used to be. Until Broken Star became leader? Yes. He changed the clan. <laughs> he always knew how to give a good speech. He could make you believe a mouse was a rabbit if he set his mind to it. Perhaps that is why I was so blind to his faults. I bet you can't guess who the new Shadow Clan medicine cat is. Not running nose. Yep. <laughs> but he can't even cure his own cold. <laughs> That's what Graypaw said. <laughs> huh. I'll leave you to rest now. Call me if you need anything else today. Wait. Before you go, Firepaw, I heard you were in a rat fight. Did they draw blood? It's okay. Spotted Leaf treated my wounds with Marigold. Sometimes Marigold isn't strong enough for rat bites. Go and find a patch of wild garlic to roll in. I think there's some not far from the camp entrance. That will draw out any poisons that the rats may have left. Although, your denmates might not thank me for my advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. Thanks, Yellowfang. Go carefully, young one. Where do you think you're going? <gasps> uh, Yellowfang told me to go out and... You don't take orders from that rogue. Go and help with the repairs. No cat is to leave the camp tonight. Yes, Darkstripe. More like Dirt Stripe. How's Yellowfang? She's fine. She said wild garlic would be good for my rat bites. I was on my way to find some, but Darkstripe ordered me to stay in camp. Wild garlic? I wouldn't mind trying that. My leg still stings. I could sneak out and go get some. No one would notice if I slipped out of this hole here. It'd only take a couple of rabbit hops. I don't think that's a good idea. We'll cover for you. Thanks. Oh yeah, the garlic patch is definitely that way. What is that scent? Is it Shadow Clan? No, just Tiger Claw and two other cats. Darkstripe and Longtail? I wonder what they're doing out here. Star Clan knows my apprentice has shown little promise from the start, but I never expected him to turn traitor. Ravenpaw's not a traitor. How long did you say Ravenpaw was missing on the journey to Mother Mouth? Long enough to have traveled to Shadow Clan's camp and back. Oh, that's impossible. He was with us the whole time. He must have told them that Thunder Clan's leader and their strongest warrior had left the camp. Why else would they attack when they did? We're the last clan to stand against Shadow Clan. We must remain strong. And the clan would be better off without a traitor like Ravenpaw. I have to say I agree with you, Darkstripe. <laughs> Even though he's my own apprentice. Ugh, can't they see it's all just an act to get Ravenpaw into trouble? No, of course not. If Tigerclaw asked, Darkstripe and Longtail would throw themselves into the river. They'll believe whatever dirt he feeds them. I can't tell Ravenpaw what I've heard. He'd be terrified. What can I do? Tigerclaw is the clan deputy. No one's going to listen to any accusations made by an apprentice, but Ravenpaw's in danger. If this lie spreads, he could be exiled, or worse. There's only one thing I can do. I've got to tell Blue Star what I've heard, 
and somehow convince her I'm telling the truth. <sighs> now look with the garlic. Dark Stripe is prowling out there. Never mind then. We can get some tomorrow. You look pretty stiff. I'll go get you some poppy seeds from Spotted Leaf. No, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. It's really no trouble. I'll be right back. Are you okay, Spotted Leaf? The spirits of StarClan are restless. I think they are trying to tell me something. What can I do for you? I think Greypaw could do with some poppy seeds for his leg. His rat bites are still hurting him. The pain of losing Lionheart will make his injuries feel worse. But he'll mend in time, don't worry. In the meantime, you're right, poppy seeds will help. Just give him one or two. Thanks. Wait. <gasps> Firepaw, Starclan spoke to me moons ago. Before you joined the clan, I sense they want me to tell you this now. They said only fire can save our clan. What? Take care, Firepaw. Uh, see ya. Only fire can save our clan. Fire can save our clan. Save our clan. Fire. 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 Why did she share that with me? Surely fire is an enemy to all who live in the forest. I don't get it. How can fire save the clan? Great Paw! Tiger Claw wants us to begin training at Sun High. Uh... Come on, Graypaw. Ugh. Those poppy seeds must have really knocked him out. Are you awake? Yeah. Are you going to wake him? I've been trying to. Training is about to start. Ah! Graypaw, wake up. Tiger Claw is waiting. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Is Greypaw coming? Yeah, but he's only just woken up. Training will do him good. He's grieved for long enough. Long enough? Lionheart's only been dead for two days. He'll grieve as long as he needs. Hey guys. Blue Star will be ready for you in a moment, Firepaw. Her wounds are healed? Wow. This will be my first training session with Blue Star. That's cool, Firepaw. I wish Lionheart was still here. Graypaw, you can join my apprentice and I. That is, if Ravenpaw is up for it. After all, he got some pretty nasty nettle stings while the rest of us were fighting those rats. I'm fine now. Let's go. Come, Firepaw. She's not traveling with Darkstripe and Longtail. Maybe I'll have a chance to tell her what I heard about Ravenpaw last night. Will your guards be joining us? I've ordered Darkstripe and Longtail to help with the camp repairs. Securing ThunderClan's base is our first priority. I'll tell her about Ravenpaw as soon as we leave camp. What am I gonna tell Blue Star? The Tiger Claw is plotting to get rid of his apprentice? And what will I say when she asks me why Tiger Claw wants Ravenpaw gone? I can't just say that it's because he's the only one who knows that Tiger Claw really killed Redtail. I have no evidence that he did that, other than Ravenpaw's story at the gathering. Bye, Paul. Oh, sorry. Coming, Blue Star. Where are the others? I've ordered Tigerclaw to take the other apprentices to another part of the forest today. I want to concentrate on your fighting skills today, and I want you to concentrate on them too, which means no distractions. I've got to tell her now. She needs to know the danger Ravenpaw's in. I won't have another chance like this. Yeah! 
Do I have your attention now? Yes, Blue Star. Sorry. That's better. Firepool, you've been with us for many moons now. I have watched you fight. With the rats, you were quick. With the Shadow Clan warriors, you were fierce. You outwitted Greypaw on the very first day we met. And you defeated Yellowfang with your cleverness, too. But one day, you will meet an opponent who is all of these things as well. Quick and fierce and clever. It's my duty to prepare you for that day. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to learn. Let's see how you fight. Attack me. She's twice my size. It'd be a waste of time to begin with the usual paw swipes and wrestling. But if I could leap straight onto her back with a powerful enough jump, I might be able to unbalance her. Rah! <laughs> Interesting strategy, but your eyes betrayed where you were aiming. Now, try again. I'll look at her shoulders, but aim for her paws. That way, I'll hit her when she goes to duck. Rah! Rah! Now, try something I don't expect. <sighs> Even Yellowfang wasn't this tricky to fight. <sighs> Firepaw, you're strong and quick, but you must learn to keep control of your speed and body weight so that it's not so easy for me to knock you off balance. Try again. I'll get her this time. I did it! Oh no, her wounds! I hope they didn't reopen. Blue Star? That was much better. Now it's my turn. You did well, Viapool. But that's enough for today. I can't wait to tell Greypaw and Ravenpaw about what I've learned. We'd better get back to camp then. Oh, right. Ravenpaw. I forgot to tell Blue Star about what Tigerclaw said. How did the time slip away so quickly? Where's Ravenpaw? Not back from his task yet. Look at that! Tigerclaw sent me fishing and I stepped on a sharp stone in the stream. Ugh, that looks pretty deep. You should get Spotted Leaf to take a look at it. By the way, where did Tigerclaw send Ravenpaw? I don't know. I was up to my belly in ice cold water. I know Tigerclaw is back already though. Really? Don't worry about it. Ravenpaw will be back soon. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm going to find Spotted Leaf. See you, Firepaw. Surely Ravenpaw would be back by now. I wish I had told Blue Star when I had the chance. I certainly don't want those two overhearing anything I have to say to Blue Star. I'm starving. Maybe I should go and hunt. I might run across Ravenpaw in the forest. Ravenpaw! Hey Firepaw! Look at all this prey I caught! It's enough for all three of us! And it should taste extra good! Since it's from Shadow Clan's territory. You hunted in Shadow Clan territory? Well, yeah. That was my task. Tiger Claw sent you into enemy territory to hunt? We have to tell Blue Star. That was too dangerous. Look, just keep this quiet, okay? I survived, and I even caught some prey. That's all there is to it. You survived this time. Shh! Tiger Claw's looking! Just eat your share and keep your mouth shut. <clears throat> Uh, should we save some for Greypaw? He went to see Spotted Leaf. He cut his paw. I don't know when he'll be back. Well, I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Ravenpaw, there's something you need to know. Something I heard last night when I was out looking for the wild garlic. I heard Tigerclaw telling Darkstripe and Longtail that you betrayed ThunderClan. He told them that you slipped away during the trip to Mothermouth and told ShadowClan that the camp was left unguarded. B but I didn't! Of course you didn't. But Darkstripe and Longtail believe you did. And Tigerclaw persuaded them that they should get rid of you. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Why would Tigerclaw want to get rid of you, Ravenpaw? He is one of the clan's strongest warriors. What threat are you to him? Because the RiverClan deputy didn't kill Redtail. Tigerclaw did. So Tigerclaw didn't kill Oakheart. 
No, he didn't. After Redtail had killed Oakheart, Tigerclaw ordered me back to the camp. I wanted to stay, but he yelled at me to go, so I ran into the trees. I should have kept on running, but I couldn't leave while they were still fighting. I turned and crept back to see if Tigerclaw needed help. By the time I got near, all the RiverClan warriors had fled, just leaving just Redtail and Tigerclaw. Redtail was watching the last warrior running away, and Tigerclaw... <laughs> Tigerclaw just jumped on him. He sank his teeth into the back of his neck and Redtail fell to the ground. Dead. That's when I ran. I don't know if Tigerclaw saw me or not. I just kept running until I got back to the camp. Why didn't you tell Blue Star? Would she have believed me? Do you believe me? Of course I do. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. In the meantime, just make sure you stick close to me or Graypaw. Does he know about them wanting to get rid of me? Not yet, but I'll tell him. <laughs> it's okay, Ravenpaw. I'll help you through this. Hey guys. You sound better. How's your paw? Spidely put some gunk on my cut and made me lie still for hours. I must have fallen asleep. By the way, I hope that bird out there was for me. I was starving. Yeah, it was. Ravenpaw caught it yesterday. Tigerclaw sent him into Shadow Clans. Be quiet, you two. There are some of us who are trying to sleep. Then stuff some moss in your ears. <laughs> Come on, Firepaw. Brindleface had her kids last night. Let's go see him. All right. At last, something for ThunderClan to celebrate. Hi, Spotted Leaf. Good morning, Firepaw. Can we play in your den, Spotted Leaf? Yes, yeah, Spotted Leaf. Can we? Please? You four can help me sort herbs. Thanks, Spotted Leaf. Yay! Have you two come to visit the new kits? Uh-huh. It's one at a time only. You'll have to wait. Blue Star's in with Brindleface now. Alright, well, you can go in first, Graypaw. I'll go and see Yellowfang while I'm waiting. Alright. Hey, Yellowfang, are you going to see Brindleface's new litter? Mm, I don't think I'd be very welcome. What? But the Queen saw how you protected Frost for his kits. Even so, a she-cat is very protective of her newborns, especially when it's her first litter. I think it would be best if I stayed away. Alright, as you wish, but I'm going to see them. It must be a good sign having new kits in the camp. Well, not always. Firepaw, have you come to see ThunderClan's newest members? Yep. Well, when you finished, come and see me in my den. Yes, Blue Star. Another chance to tell Blue Star about Ravenpaw. Thanks, Star Clan. The kits are really cute, but I'm itching to get back to my paws after being cooped up all night. I'm off to find some fresh kill. I'll save some for you if I catch anything. All right, thanks, Graypaw. You can go in now, Firepaw. Aw, oh, they're adorable. How are you feeling, Brindleface? A little tired, but the kids are strong and healthy. ThunderClan is lucky to have them. I was just talking about them with Yellowfang. Ugh! Yellowfang was asking about my kits? Well, I brought them up. I asked her if she'd like to visit them. Ugh, the kits are still so new. I don't think her coming in would be a good idea. Uh, don't worry, she didn't want to see them anyways. I'd better leave you and the kids to rest. See ya! Blue Star may have accepted Yellowfang in the Thunder Clan, but there are still some cats who don't trust her. Firepaw, come inside. We have much to discuss. There's no need, Longtail. I think I'll be safe enough with young Firepaw. Hmm. Very well, Blue Star. Brindleface's kits are lovely. Lovely they may be, but they mean more mouths to feed, and the season of Leaf Bear will be here soon. Oh, don't listen to me. The first cold always worries me. Come, make yourself comfortable. Thanks. I'm still aching from our training session yesterday. You fought well, young one. Thank you, Blue Star, but... 
I could still smell the stench of Shadow Clan in the camp. I had hoped to never see our enemies break into the heart of Thunder Clan, and so many deaths. <sighs> First Red Tail, then Lionheart. About Red Tail, I. At least now, with Tiger Claw as deputy, Thunder Clan may still appear strong. Do you really trust Tiger Claw to protect the clan? There was a time when Tiger Claw was a young warrior that I feared for the strength of his passion. Such energy needs careful channeling. But now I see how much respect the clan has for him. I know he is ambitious, but that's what makes him one of the bravest cats I've ever had the honor to fight alongside. B but <sighs> Oh, sorry. Did did you have something to tell me, Firepaw? I did, but uh never mind. I'll handle it myself. Very well. <sighs> you know, Broken Star will return. He made it quite clear at the gathering that he wants hunting rights in all the clan's territories. We've fought him off once. We can do it again. We can certainly try. Star Clan will honor your courage, young Firepaw. I. I think you ought to know that in the battle with the rats, it was not my fifth life that I lost, but my seventh. What? But you told Tiger Claw. I let the clan believe it was my fifth because I don't want them to fear for my safety. But. Just two more lives, and I will have to leave you to join StarClan. I see. Thank you for sharing this with me, Blue Star. I'm tired now. Off you go, Firepaw. I expect you not to repeat this conversation to anyone. Of course not. I'll see you later. I can't tell Blue Star about Tiger Claw. She trusts him to protect the clan. If she found out about him, it might destroy her last bit of hope that ThunderClan can stand strong against Broken Star. I'll have to figure out how to protect Ravenpaw on my own. Bright Kit? Cinder Kit? Where are you? Bracken Kit, Thorn Kit, this isn't funny! Is everything alright, Frostfur? No, it's not! My kits! I can't find them anywhere! Someone has taken my kits! Are you sure? I don't know what else could have happened! Quick! Search the camp! White Storm, stay where you are. Warriors, patrol the camp boundary. Apprentices, search every den. What's going on? Frostfur's kits are missing. Quick, help me search the warrior's den. Naughty, naughty kits. Where are you? There's no kits in here. Let's check the apprentice den. Ravenpaw! Did you hear about the kits? <laughs> they're missing. Are they in the apprentice den? You haven't seen them, have you? No, they're not. But I'll help you look for them. The kits aren't in the warriors or apprentice den! Sandpaw! Dustpaw! Check the elder's den! Was that Yellowfang? Where is she going in such a hurry? Last I heard, the kids were going to help Spotted Leaf sort her herbs. Maybe they're with her now. She's dead? No! No! Why Spotted Leaf? Of all cats, why her? What happened? Who... who would do such a thing? She wasn't even a warrior, she couldn't defend herself. She was killed by a warrior's blow. Spotted Leaf? <laughs> Yellowfang! Yellowfang is gone! She's not in camp. She must have snuck out. It was her! I knew it! Yellowfang killed Spotted Leaf and took my kits! Do you really think that's true? Star Clan has spoken. Yellowfang. I always knew she was a traitor. Now I know how she managed to fight off the Shadow Clan deputy. It was all a setup to let her trick her way into our clan. We have to find her and make her pay! No, it can't be. Could Yellowfang have really killed Spotted Leaf? How could this have happened? Why would Yellowfang kill a medicine cat? Wasn't she one herself? I bet she did this so that Shadow Clan could invade our territory! That mangy she-cat must have been planning this all along. None of this would have happened if we hadn't allowed her to stay in the first place. I never trusted her. Blue Star, what do you say? 
If Yellowfang has killed Spottedleaf and stolen Frostfur's kids, she'll be hunted down without mercy. Thunderclan will make her pay for what she's done! She won't get away with this. We have to save those kids. Our vengeance must wait. There is a storm coming and I am not prepared to risk more lives. If Shadowclan has our kids, they will come to no immediate harm. I suppose Brokenstar wants them as recruits for his clan, or as hostages to force us to allow him to hunt on our territory. As soon as the storm has passed, a patrol will follow Yellowfang and bring back our kids. But if we wait, her sun trail will be lost in the rain! If we send out a search party now, our efforts will be wasted anyways. In this weather, the scent will already be lost by the time we're ready. If we wait until after the storm, we stand a better chance of success. I suppose you're right. Now, I'd like to discuss the plans with my deputy, please, Tiger Claw. I'll meet you in my den in a moment. <sighs> yes, Blue Star. Bye, Paul. Come. I need to speak with you. Firepaw, where is Yellowfang? Do you know? Firepaw, you must save your grieving for later. Uh, I... I saw Yellowfang go through the camp boundary. Do you really think she killed Spotted Leaf and took those kids? I do not know. I want you to find her and bring her back alive. I need to know the truth. You're not sending Tigerclaw? Tigerclaw is a great warrior, but in this case his loyalty to the clan may cloud his judgement. What do you mean? He wants to give the clan the vengeance it desires. No cat can blame him for that. The clan believes Yellowfang has betrayed us, and if Tigerclaw thinks he can reassure the clan by handing them the dead body of Yellowfang, that's what he'll do. You're right. He would kill Yellowfang without question. If we find that she really is a traitor, then I will kill her myself. But if not, I won't let an innocent cat die. What if Yellowfang won't come back? She'll come, if you ask her to. If you say so, Blue Star. I'll do it. Now leave at once. But be careful. You'll be on your own and there may be enemy patrols about. The storm will keep our warriors in camp for a while, but when it clears, I'll send Whitestorm with the patrol. I can't leave without sharing tongues with Spotted Leaf. Farewell, my sweet Spotted Leaf. She couldn't have done this on her own. Yellowfang must have had help. Someone from ThunderClan? A traitor, perhaps? You've heard what Tiger Claw's been saying about Ravenpaw. Perhaps he had something to do with it. I've never felt comfortable with him myself. Firepaw! I've been looking everywhere for you! Uh... Where are you going? To look for Yellowfang. On your own? Blue Star asked me to bring Yellowfang back to camp. What? Why you? Maybe she thinks I know Yellowfang best, and that I'd be able to find her more easily. But Tigerclaw is the best tracker in the clan. But Tigerclaw might not bring her back. What do you mean? Tigerclaw's out for revenge. He would just kill her. What if she killed Spotted Leaf and took the kits? Isn't that what she deserves? Do you really believe that she did? Do you think she's innocent? I don't know. And neither does Blue Star. She wants to find out the truth. That's why she's sending me instead of Tigerclaw. But if she ordered Tigerclaw to bring her back alive... GET AWAY, TRAITOR! <sighs> what was that all about? Raven Paws in danger. What? I have to get him away from ThunderClan before anything happens. Why? What about finding Yellowfang? There's no time to explain. You'll just have to trust me. There must be a way to get Ravenpaw away from here. Like what? Well, I have to take him somewhere Tigerclaw won't find him. Somewhere he can survive without the clan. Uh, what about Barley? You mean take Ravenpaw to the Two Lake place? Yeah. Yes, that certainly is the best option. I knew I could trust you, Graypaw. Alright, now let's get Ravenpaw. Do you really think that Ravenpaw has something to do with the kids going missing? You heard what Tigerclaw's been saying. Ravenpaw. Come on, we're taking you to Barley. B Barley? Why? Because you'll be safe there. Did you see what Frostfur did? I was only going to check on the kits. It's not safe for you to stay in ThunderClan any longer. Come on, we must hurry. Thanks, Firepaw.
You there! Where are you going? Well done, Firepaw. I see you've persuaded your friends to go with you. ThunderClan has brave apprentices, Tigerclaw, if they're willing to run an errand in weather such as this. Surely this is no time for an errand. One of Brindleface's kids has a cough. Firepaw has offered to fetch some colts food for her. Does he really need his friends to go with him? In this storm, I think he's lucky to have the company. <sighs> Off you go, you three. Thank you. This way, there's a fallen tree up here. We can use it to cross. Be careful, it's slippery. Are you going to tell me exactly why we need to get Ravenpaw away? Because he knows that Tiger Claw killed Redtail. Tiger Claw killed Redtail? During the battle with RiverClan, I. I saw him. But why would Tiger Claw do that? I don't know. Maybe he thought Blue Star would make him deputy. I overheard Tigerclaw talking to Darkstripe and Longtail on the night Lionheart was killed. He wants to get rid of Ravenpaw. Get rid of him? You mean, kill him? You saw the way Frostfur went for Ravenpaw today? Tigerclaw's been hinting to everyone that Ravenpaw is a traitor. But he'll be safe with Barley. We're getting close, come on! We can't take you any farther, Ravenpaw. We have to get back and find Yellowfang before the storm passes. Will you be able to find Barley alone? Yes, I remember the way. Watch out for the dogs. How can you be sure Barley will welcome me? Just tell him you caught an adder once. Now go. And don't worry. I'll make sure everyone knows you didn't betray ThunderClan. What if Tigerclaw comes looking for me? He won't. I shall tell him you're dead. No cat could ask for better friends than you two. Thank you. I'm sure our paths will cross again in the future. I'll see you guys. Good luck with finding Yellowfang. My fur is dripping wet. Can't we stop for just a second? It's only a little further, and if we stop now, we might be too late. Blue Star will be sending out a patrol soon. We have to find Yellowfang before they do. Why don't we just head straight into Shadow Clan? We need to pick up Yellowfang's scent first. I just hope it doesn't lead to Shadow Clan camp. She came through this way. I sent fear. Why would she be afraid? Maybe because she did it. Getting close to Shadow Clan's territory. What if Tiger Claw was right? I always thought I'd have more warriors with me when I finally entered Shadow Clan. We'll be all right. We can do this. Aren't you scared? My mother warned me about the stench of Shadow Clan many times. My mom never taught me such things. Maybe I'm lucky for that. The storm is clearing. I'll look for Shadow Clan patrols. You look for the patrol Blue Star said she was sending. <laughs> I can't scent Yellowfang anymore. There's too much mist. Her scent is there. I can smell that, though. What? Kit scent. I smell the blood of kids here! I smell it too. And something else. Keep quiet. It's coming from up there. Are you sure? Yes. Ah! <laughs> 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 I knew 
Thunder Clan would blame me! Where are the kids? We can smell their blood. Have you harmed them? I don't have them! How dare you think I would do such a thing! I have no idea where the kids are! Why did you run away then? Why did you kill Spotted Leaf? Spotted Leaf is dead? You didn't know? How could I? I left the camp as soon as I heard the kids were missing! How do we know you're telling the truth? I know who took the kits. I picked up his scent near the nursery. Who was it? Clawface. One of Broken Star's warriors. And I know for a fact that as long as those kits are with Shadow Clan, they're in great danger. But surely even Shadow Clan wouldn't harm kits? Oh, don't be so sure. Broken Star intends to use them as warriors. But they're only three moons old! That hasn't stopped him before! He's been training kids as young as three moons since he became leader! And at five moons, he sends them out to battle! Surely they'd be too small to fight! They should still be in the nursery at that age! I see now. The apprentices at the gathering. They weren't just small, they were kids. Broken Star doesn't care about that! He has plenty of kids to spare! And if Shadow Clan runs out, he can always steal them from other clans. After all, we're talking about a cat who killed kids from his own clan. He killed kids? If he killed Shadow Clan's kids, why wasn't he punished? Because he lied. He accused me of their murder, and Shadow Clan believed him. Is that why you were driven out of Shadow Clan? You have to come back with us and tell all of this to Blue Star. Not before we've rescued Frostfur's kids. They're not safe in Shadow Clan. <laughs> Thunder Clan patrols will be coming this way soon. I can't stay here. I still can't wrap my mind around that. How could a leader kill kids from his own clan? Broken Star insisted on training them too hard and too young. He took two of the kids away for battle practice. They were only four moons old. They were already dead when he brought them back to me. They bore the scratches and bites of a full warrior, not of apprentices. He must have fought them himself. There was nothing I could do. When their mother came to see them, Broken Star was with me. He said that he had seen me standing over their dead bodies. Why didn't you tell her it was Broken Star? I couldn't. Why not? Broken Star is Shadow Clan's leader. Ragged Star was his father. His word is law. We'll rescue the kids together tonight. But we can't stay here. I can smell the Thunder Clan patrol coming. If Tiger Claw's with them, you don't stand a chance, Yellow Fang. He'll kill you before we can explain your innocence. There's some peat moss this way. It'll be wet after the rain. Our sense will be disguised there. Hurry! Under here! <laughs> there are several cats in the patrol, traveling fast. I can't recognize the individual sense of the cats, but it's ThunderClan. Are we really going to try and rescue kits from ShadowClan alone? We're only apprentices! I might be able to find us some help from inside ShadowClan. Not all the cats support Broken Star. What do you mean? When he became leader, Broken Star forced the elders to leave the security of camp. They had to live on the boundary and hunt for themselves. These are cats who have grown up with the warrior code. Some of them might help us. And I might be able to persuade the Thunder Clan Patrol to help us too. If I can speak to them, I might be able to make them believe my story. Graypaw and Firepaw, you wait by the dead ash until I return. But... Can we really trust Yellow Fang to bring back help? We are those kids' only hope. You must trust me. I will return soon. We can trust her. She saved Frostfur's kids when Shadow Clan attacked. If she wanted to hurt them, she would have. So, have we done the right thing? I don't know. If we have, we'll be heroes and the kids will be safe. But if we were wrong in trusting Yellow Fang, then we're as good as dead. I smell White Storm. I think he's coming with a patrol. Is Tiger Claw with them? I don't think so. Firepaw! She told me I might find a friend out here. 
Now I understand what Blue Star meant. We need your help. We have to rescue the kids tonight. Are you with us? Of course, Firepaw. It would mean raiding Shadow Clan's camp. Can you lead us there? No, but Yellowfang can. She asked some old friends of hers to help us now. You two found Yellowfang? I don't understand. The traitor is going to help rescue the kits she stole? Yellowfang didn't take the kits, and she didn't murder Spotted Leaf either. She wants to help us bring the kits home. If you are sure, Firepaw. What's taking her so long? We don't know how far it is to the Shadow Clan Elder's camp. Yellowfang's probably on her way back now. Or she might be happily sharing tongues with Shadow Clan while we sit here like fools waiting to be ambushed. She'll come. I know she will. Well said, young Firepaw. Thanks for having faith in me. Yellowfang, you're back. Don't worry. I brought help. Let me introduce my old friends. This is Ashfur. He is one of the clan elders. And this is Nightpelt. He was a senior warrior before Ragged Star was killed, but was asked to retire due to his cough. And this is one of our elder queens, Dawn Cloud. Two of her kids died driving out Wind Clan. We cannot allow Broken Star to continue training kids. Uh huh. So, this band of elders is supposed to help us get our kids back. We will have strength in numbers. You've come for your kits. We will help you rescue them. What's in it for you? We want your help to get rid of Broken Star. He's broken the warrior code, and Shadow Clan is suffering. So it's that simple, is it? We just drop into your camp, snatch the kits, kill your leader, and go home. <laughs> you would not meet as much resistance as you might think. We do not wish to let the innocent lives of any more kits be lost. Don Cloud's right. Frostfur's kits must be saved. You are clearly skilled warriors, but are there enough of you? We need to know what we'll face when we raid the Shadow Clan camp. The old and sick of Shadow Clan are slowly starving, and the casualties among our kits are more than we can cope with. But if Shadow Clan is such a mess, how come you've shown so much strength lately? And why is Broken Star still your leader? Broken Star is surrounded by a small group of elite warriors. They're the ones to fear, because they would die for him without question. The other warriors obey his orders only because they are frightened. They will fight by his side as long as they think Broken Star is going to win. However, if they thought he would lose... They would fight against him, not for him. What sort of loyalty is that? Our clan was not always like this. When Ragged Star led Shadow Clan, we were feared for our strength. But in those days, our strength came from the warrior code and clan loyalty, not from fear and bloodlust. <sighs> If only Ragged Star had lived longer. How did Ragged Star die? There were so many rumors at the gatherings, but no one seemed to know for sure. He was ambushed by a warrior patrol from Wind Clan. Yes, that is what most cats seem to think. These are bad times indeed. Leaders being picked off in the dark instead of an open and honorable battle. Is there any way of taking back the kits without alerting the whole clan? They'll be very closely guarded. Broken Star will be expecting Thunderclan to try and take them. We won't be able to steal them in secret. An open attack is our only hope. Then we must concentrate our attack on Broken Star and his inner circle. Night Pelt, Ashfur, and Dawncloud will lead me into the Shadow Clan camp. They will say they have captured me. We have to make sure Broken Star and his warriors are out of their dens. News of my capture will bring them into the clearing. Once they're all out in the open, I'll give the signal for you to attack. Very well, Yellowfang. Please lead the way to the Shadow Clan camp. Over there is the camp's entrance. It smells awful. It should. Their fresh kill pile is the carrion place. They eat crow food? Shadow Clan's warriors are used for battle, not hunting, so we eat whatever we can find. All right. Thunder Clan, hide in that clump of bracket over there. It's full of toadstools that will disguise your scent. Wait here and listen for my signal. Move it, kid eater. 
And what do we have here, eh? We found her skulking on the edge of our territory. So you dared to return, Yellow Fang. Your time is up. I warned you before. Now you will feel the wrath of Shadow Clan. <laughs> do you really think you've bested me, you mouse brain? You stole kits from Thunder Clan and killed kits from your own clan. You've broken the warrior code one too many times, Broken Star. I'm done making excuses for you. You will pay for what you have done to this clan. Thunder Clan, you brought them into our camp? You dare ally with this excuse for a clan? At least ThunderClan fights with honor. You spoiled ShadowClan when you became leader. We used to be respected, now the other clans only listen to us out of fear. And to think I trained you. Blackfoot, can't you see? Broken Star is corrupt, the clan is starving, and we can't continue following him. He'll only lead us further into the dark. You are my enemy now. I won't hold back, Dawn Cloud. Thunder Clan! Attack! Get off me, you flea bag. <clears throat> ah, I got you now, apprentice. <clears throat> Return ThunderClan's kits. Ha! Huh. Why should I? You're just a useless kitty pet apprentice. What makes you think I'll take orders from you? Ouch! Quit it! <laughs> Let go of me. You must have bees in your brains if you think you can beat me. Fight me, you evil ThunderClan cat! Rawr! What? A kit? This is not your battle. It is so, and I'm no kit. Go and find your mother. This is not your fight to win. You're a kit, you shouldn't be out here. But I'm not scared. I want to fight you. You weak excuse for a cat! You'll pay for the pain and suffering that you helped Broken Star cause the clans! What are you talking about? I haven't done anything! Firepaw, watch out! Clawface is right behind you! Y you You're the one who killed Spotted Leaf! Ha! Huh. And what if I did? That good-for-nothing medicine cat couldn't even defend herself. <laughs> How dare you! She... she was my friend! <laughs> what the... <clears throat> ThunderClan warriors do not kill in battle. Don't let your emotions control you, Firepaw. But... he killed Spotted Leaf! Vengeance is not worth it. An honorable warrior does not need to kill to win their battles. Killing Clawface would make you just as bad as him. I... I suppose you're right. It's working! They're leaving! Look! Our clan mates are here to save us! Yay! I want to go and fight beside them! Not so fast, little missy. Stay in here where it's safe. The fighting will soon be over. Wow! Yellow Fang is fighting Broken Star! You changed Shadow Clan, brainwashing our kids, making them obsessed with battle. Mint Kid and Marigold Kid didn't even want to play games that didn't involve fighting or warriors training. A kid shouldn't have to worry about those kinds of things. You stupid medicine cat. <laughs> I never thought you would be harder to kill than my father. What? You... you 
killed Rocket Star? You killed your own father? You found his body. Didn't you recognize my fur between his claws? No. This... this can't be! He was a soft and foolish leader. You deserve to die. What about Bright Flower's kids? Did they deserve to die too? They were weak. If I hadn't killed them, another warrior would have. I was doing them a favor. They were only kids! I should have killed you too when I had the chance, Yellow Fang. But I'll fix that soon enough. I won't let you hurt her. You'll have to go through me. You dare challenge me? Don't waste your time, Apprentice. I've shared dreams with Star Clan. You'll have to kill me nine times over before I join them. Do you really think you can defeat me? Well, I... I... It looks to me that you're a little outnumbered, Broken Star. You are a disgrace to Starkland! We trusted you! You don't deserve to be our leader. We'll be better off without you. Leave now while you're still alive, Kit Murderer. You are no longer welcome here. You can run me out of Shadow Clan, but I will return stronger than ever. We'll be here waiting with our claws unsheathed. We won't go as easy on you next time. Now leave! This isn't over, kitty pet. Should we go after them? They might come back. What if they go for ThunderClan next? I don't want to be Broken Star. You be Broken Star. No, I'm Blackfoot. You have to be Broken Star. But he's a stinky head. Stop arguing! ThunderClan won and now we're going home now. Aren't we Firepaw? Yep, you'll be back in the nursery soon. What? The nursery? I want an adventure! You'd think after all the excitement you've been through today that you'd be happy to go home, silly kit. Who are you calling silly? He's calling you silly, silly. Rah! <laughs> it's amazing how kits can joke about such serious things. They seem to have even made it into a game. I'm just glad that they're okay and are playing like kits would. It's such a relief. Are the kits okay? Did ShadowClan hurt them? They're fine. Just a few scratches. But Bracken Kid has a pretty nasty cut on his ear. Could you take a look at him, Yellowfang? We need to stop the bleeding. Running nose? Fetch me some cobwebs. Yes, Yellowfang. <laughs> I feel like an apprentice again. You helped ShadowClan rid itself of a brutal and dangerous leader, and for that we are grateful. But... It is time you left our camp and returned to your own. <coughs> I promise, your hunting grounds will be free of Shadow Clan warriors as long as we can find enough food in our own territory. Hunt in peace for one moon, Nightpelt. ThunderClan knows you need time to rebuild your clan. Give Blue Star my thanks, White Storm. And you, Yellowfang, do you wish to return with us or stay here with your old clanmates? I will make the journey back with you. ThunderClan will need a medicine cat, for yourself as well as your kits. Indeed. Thank you. We should be getting back home then. ThunderClan, let's move out. I'm sleepy. I thought you said you wanted to adventure. I'm so sorry that I blamed you. I hope you find happiness, Yellow Fang. I have. ThunderClan is my home now. May Starkland light your path, my daughter. We should be getting back. I patched up Bracken Kid's ear. He'll be alright now, but he's too tired for the journey back to ThunderClan. I can carry him. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I can't believe we did it. We drove out Broken Star and rescued the kids. It would not have been possible if not for you, Firepaw. You did well. My 
kiss. Mommy! Oh, my little darlings, are you all right? It wasn't scary at all. Yeah! Thunderclone was so brave! They fought off Broken Star! Yeah, he ran away because of Firepaw! Bright Kid was the only one who was scared. Was not! Wow, it sounds like you four went through a lot today. Your father would be very proud of how brave you were. You should be very thankful for what the other cats in the clans risked to save you. So the kits are all right? They're fine. Just a little tired. It's been a long day for them. Well done, White Storm. Star Clan honors you. Thank you. But it's thanks to this young apprentice that we even found them in the first place. It was nothing, really. Look, it's Yellow Fang. What is she doing here? Why did you bring back the traitor? She's no traitor. She killed Spotted Leaf! Oh yeah? Look between Spotted Leaf's claws. You'll find the brown fur of Clawface, not Yellow Fang's gray fur. Mouse fur, go and check the body. Graypaw is right. Spotted Leaf wasn't attacked by Yellow Fang. It was Clawface! <gasps> she didn't kill her? We were wrong? She's innocent? What? So she didn't kill Spotted Leaf. That doesn't mean she didn't help Shadow Clan steal Lionheart and Frostfur's kits. Without Yellow Fang, we would have never recovered the kits. She knew that a Shadow Clan warrior had taken them. She was searching for them when I found her. She risked her life returning to her old territory. It was Yellow Fang who thought up the battle plan that got us into the Shadow Clan camp and gave us a chance to defeat Broken Star. I can't believe that you'd blame her. Remember the battle in Thunder Clan? She protected the kits then. And now she saved them once again. Firepaw is right. Yellow Fang is an ally to this clan. She fought alongside us like a true Thunder Clan cat. I'm glad to hear that. Is Broken Star dead? No, he escaped. But he won't ever lead Shadow Clan again. I promised Shadow Clan that we'll leave them in peace until the next full moon. Broken Star's leadership left their clan in chaos. That was a wise and generous offer, White Storm. Yellow Fang. I wish for you to take Spotted Leaf's place as Medicine Cat to ThunderClan. I'm sure you'll find all her supplies as she left them. Thank you, Blue Star. Shadow Clan is not the clan I once knew. ThunderClan is where my loyalty lies now. Yellowfang is our new Medicine Cat. Isn't that great, Graypaw? Where's Ravenpool? Yeah, where is my apprentice? Strange that he disappeared with Broken Star. Firepaw, do you know? Are you saying the young apprentice betrayed his clan to be with Broken Star? That's outrageous. If you think he was helping Broken Star, then you're wrong. Ravenpaw is... he's... Ravenpaw's... He's what? Spit it out already! Ravenpaw's... dead. He died honorably fighting a Shadow Clan patrol. He was so brave. Firepaw, what's going on? I'll tell you everything later. I never said that Ravenpaw was a traitor! Ravenpaw might have made a fine warrior. His death has come too soon, and his loss will be felt by many of us for a long time. Liar. The clan will miss Ravenpaw. We shall mourn him tomorrow. First, however, there is another ritual that must be performed, one I know Ravenpaw would have taken pleasure in. Firepaw, Greypaw, you have shown great courage tonight. Did they fight well, White Storm? Like warriors, Blue Star. I can't believe this is happening. We're going to be warriors. Wow. Warriors, Graypaw. Warriors. I, Blue Star, leader of ThunderClan, call upon my warrior ancestors to look down on these two apprentices. They have trained hard to understand the ways of your noble code. And I commend them to you as warriors in their turn. Firepaw, Graypaw, do you promise to uphold the warrior code and to protect and defend this clan even at the cost of your lives? I do. As do I. Then, by the powers of Star Clan, I give you your warrior names. Graypaw, from this moment on, you will be known as Graystripe. Star Clan honors your bravery and your strength and we welcome you as a full warrior of ThunderClan. Grey Stripe! Grey Stripe! Grey Stripe! Firepaw, from this moment on, you will be known as Fireheart. 
Star Clan honors your bravery and your strength, and we welcome you as a full warrior of Thunder Clan. Fireheart, I am proud to have you as my warrior. Serve your clan well, young one. Thank you. I will. Fireheart! 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 Hooray! Good job, Fireheart! Wow! You're a warrior, Greystripe! You kids aren't supposed to be out here. Aw, no fair. Come on, I'll take you back to your mom. It is almost moon high. In the tradition of our ancestors, Fireheart and Greystripe must sit in silent vigil until dawn and guard the camp alone while we sleep. Meeting dismissed. Don't think you can outwit me, kitty pet. Watch her back. Blue Star, I must speak with you before I begin my vigil. It's about... No, Fireheart. But... This is an important ritual, Fireheart. You can speak to me in the morning. Now is not the time. I suppose Blue Star is right. Tiger Claw isn't a problem that can be solved overnight. <sighs> I hope Ravenpaw is doing okay. He would have made a fine warrior, but he'll be safer with Barley. I'll prove to the other clans that I'm not just some kitty pet. I'm a warrior now. I will fight for my clan, no matter the cost. Broken Star will pay for everything he's done. My sweet Spotted Leaf, I'll continue on living every day for you. I'll live a life that would make you proud. And one day, I will join you again in Star Clan. But for now, may Star Clan light your path. I'll walk with you in your dreams. But remember, Brave Fireheart, fire alone will save our clan. Pass me their marshmallow. Here, be careful not to burn yourself. I won't, Mummy. This way. Follow me. But Tallstar, what if the Tulex see us? They won't. Their night vision is too weak. Tallstar, why have we come here? We've been driven from every place we've tried to settle. Perhaps we can find some peace here. Peace? Here? With fire and monsters? My son won't be safe. No one's kids will. But we weren't safe at home. We couldn't protect ourselves from Shadow Clan. Not even in our own camp. Broken Star and his warriors may still be hunting us. Shh. Keep quiet. Huh? Is everything all right, darling? I thought I heard something. Little stupid cats. Pesky animals. Ah! Get out of here. Are you all right, Ashfoot? I... I'm fine. But Tallstar, I fear for our safety here. What will we do? I can't smell any prey. We need food. I know you're hungry. But we're safer here than back in our old territory. Or in the Tulek fields or woods. Look around. Even Shadow Clan couldn't follow us here. There's no scent of dogs. And these Tulegs can hardly stand. Deadfoot, take one whisker and see if you can find the clan anything to eat. If there are two legs, there must be rats feasting on the scraps. Yes, sir. One whisker? Let's go. Oh, rats? Oh, disgusting. That's no better than eating crow food. Eating rat meat is better than starving to death, isn't it? I suppose so. We must find a new place to settle, Ashfoot. I'm set to pop any day now, and you don't see me complaining. Tallstar, you were right. There are rat scents everywhere. And I think we found somewhere where we can shelter for now. Show us. Here, the water is fresh. We'll be able to drink it. Oh, stay in there. We'll have wet paws day and night. I have already been inside. There's some space away from the stream. At least we'll be safe from two legs and monsters. Wind Clan has traveled for long enough. It's been nearly a moon since Shadow Clan drove us from our own territory. The weather is getting colder, and Leaf Bear will be here soon. We have no choice except to stay. It's still hard to believe that Greystripe and I are warriors at last. So much has happened since yesterday. 
Broken Star being driven from Shadow Clan's territory. You can run me out of Shadow Clan, but I will return stronger than ever. We'll be here waiting with our claws unsheathed. We won't go as easy on you next time. Now leave! This isn't over, kitty pet. Spotted Leaf's death. She's dead? No! No! Why Spotted Leaf? Of all cats, why her? What happened? Who... Who would do such a thing? She wasn't even a warrior. She couldn't defend herself. She was killed by a warrior's blow. Spotted Leaf. Greystripe and I taking Ravenpaw to live with the barn cat Barley to escape his mentor. Because he knew that Tigerclaw had murdered Redtail in hopes that he would succeed him as ThunderClan's deputy. We can't take you any farther, Ravenpaw. We have to get back and find Yellowfang before the storm passes. Will you be able to find Barley alone? Yes, I remember the way. Watch out for the dogs. How can you be sure Barley will welcome me? Just tell him you caught an adder once. Now go, and don't worry. I'll make sure everyone knows you didn't betray ThunderClan. What if Tigerclaw comes looking for me? He won't. I shall tell him you're dead. No cat could ask for better friends than you two. Thank you. I'm sure our paths will cross again in the future. I'll see you guys. Good luck with finding Yellowfang. Good morning, Tiger Claw. I must warn Blue Star about Tiger Claw. She trusts him way too much. She needs to know the truth about her deputy. First chance I get, I'll tell her. Glad to see Dawn, you two? It's all right. You may speak now. Your vigil is over. Thank you, Whitestorm. Purr, I thought the sun would never come up. Oh my, the great warrior speaks. I'm surprised such heroes even feel the cold. Don't listen to them. Go and find something to eat, then rest. Come on, you two. It's time for your training. I hope he is them chasing blue squirrels all day. But there aren't any blue squirrels. <laughs> Precisely. <sighs> you can't blame them for being bitter. They did begin their training before us. If they had fought in the battle yesterday, they'd probably have been made warriors too. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey look, one mouse each and a finch to share. I suppose we'll take it to eat on the warrior side of camp now. I guess so. Uh, good morning, you two. Hey, Running Wind, where are you off to? Hunting. Someone's gotta restock the fresh kill pile. <laughs> Sorry, I was hungry. <laughs> it's fine, you and Fireheart did well in the battle yesterday. Thanks, you and Mousefur fought well too. She's still in the warrior's den sleeping it off. I'd better catch something before she wakes. Well, I guess I'll see you guys around more, now that you're warriors. Yeah, see you, Running Wind. Mmm, that hit the spot. <sighs> now what? I don't know about you, but I think I could sleep for half a moon. <sighs> me too. Good night, Fireheart. Graystripe, should I tell Blue Star about... He's already asleep. Ugh, I'll tell Blue Star later. <laughs> What's that scent? It's like the Thunderpath, but sharper. <laughs> Fire! Huh? Why aren't they running away? Fire will save the clan. Wake up, Fireheart! You were mewing in your sleep. Uh, yes? Uh, sorry, Tigerclaw. You and Graystripe will join the evening patrol. Hurry up! Tigerclaw certainly has kept us busy these last few days. 
I've only had a moment to myself since we became warriors. Uh-huh. What are you looking for? Uh, Blue Star. Why? You've had one eye on her ever since our vigil. What are you planning to do? I have to tell her where Ravenpaw is and warn her about Tigerclaw. You promised Ravenpaw you'd tell the clan he was dead! I only promised to tell Tigerclaw he was dead. Blue Star should know the whole story. She needs to know what her deputy is capable of. But we only have Ravenpaw's word that Tigerclaw killed Redtail. Don't you believe him? Look, if Tigerclaw lied about killing Oakheart in revenge for Redtail's death, that means Redtail must have killed Oakheart himself. And I can't believe that Redtail would have deliberately killed another clan deputy in battle. It goes against the warrior code. We fight to prove our strength and defend our territory, not to kill each other. But I'm not trying to make accusations against Redtail. It's Tigerclaw who is the problem. What you were saying has implications for Redtail's honor. And none of the other cats have a problem with Tigerclaw. It was only Ravenpaw who was scared of him. So you think Ravenpaw made the story up because he didn't get along with his mentor? No. I just think we should be more careful. If you don't want to get involved, that's fine. But I have to do this. Blue Star has to know what happened. All cats old enough to catch their own prey gather here beneath the High Rock for a clan meeting. Ugh, will I ever get a chance to speak with Blue Star alone? A naming ceremony? It must be Longtail getting his first apprentice. He's been dropping hints for days. Swift Kid is too young and timid. Longtail won't be impressed. He's going to resent him, just like he hated me when I joined the clan. From this day forward, until he has earned his warrior name, this apprentice will be called Swiftpaw. Longtail, you were Darkstripe's apprentice. He taught you well and you have become a fierce and loyal warrior. I hope you will pass some of these qualities on to young Swiftpaw. Swiftpaw! 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 Uh, uh, I guess I'm your apprentice? I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm excited to train you. It's okay, I know you'll do fine. Oh sure, he shows kindness now. Just because Swiftpaw's clan-born. Longtail sure didn't welcome me like that. What's up with you, Fireheart? You know, that'll be us one day getting apprentices. I suppose so. We're almost there. Come on, the other clans will be waiting. Now's my chance. Blue Star, may I talk to you? Sure. Take the lead, Tiger Claw. What is it, Fireheart? Uh, well, I'm not quite sure how to say this. Speak. Ravenpaw's not dead. Graystripe and I took him to WindClan's hunting ground. I... I think he may have joined Barley. I am glad to hear that Ravenpaw is still alive. I hope he is happier living with Barley than he was in the forest. But... but he was born into ThunderClan. That doesn't necessarily mean he was suited to clan life. After all, you aren't clan-born, and yet you've become a fine warrior. Ravenpaw may find his true path elsewhere. But he didn't leave ThunderClan because he wanted to. It was impossible for him to stay. Impossible? What do you mean? <sighs> well? Ravenpaw knew a secret about Tigerclaw. I... I think Tigerclaw was planning to kill him, or else turn the clan against him. Why would you think that? What was this secret that Ravenpaw knew? That Tigerclaw killed Redtail in the battle with RiverClan. A warrior would never kill another of his clan. Even you should know that. You've lived with us long enough. Tigerclaw reported that it was RiverClan's deputy Oakheart who killed Redtail. Ravenpaw must be mistaken. Did he actually see Tigerclaw kill Redtail? He said he did. You know that by saying this, you are questioning Redtail's honor. This would mean he was the cat responsible for Oakheart's death. One deputy would never kill another in battle, not if it could possibly be avoided. And Redtail is the most honorable warrior I have ever known. I cannot account for Redtail's actions. I only know that Ravenpaw truly believes Tigerclaw was responsible for Redtail's death. We all know that Ravenpaw had a vivid imagination. He was badly injured in the battle and he left before the fighting was over. 
Can you be sure he didn't fill in the parts he'd missed? We're waiting for you at the border. Tell them I'll be there in a moment. Very well, Blue Star. Should we bring Ravenpaw back to the clan? He is probably happier where he is now. For now, we will let the clan carry on believing he is dead. Tigerclaw is a great warrior, but he is very proud. It'll be easier for him to accept that his apprentice died in battle rather than that he ran away. And it would be better for Ravenpaw too. Because Tigerclaw might go looking for him? No. Tigerclaw might be ambitious, but he is not a murderer. Ravenpaw will be better remembered as a dead hero than a live coward. Hey look, the Shadow Clan cats are looking stronger than I thought they would. After all, Broken Star left them half starved. You're right. Mind you, we did most of their fighting for them. The Shadow Clan cats fought as hard as we did to chase out Broken Star. We should honor their determination to recover. Pay attention now. The leaders are about to speak. Is Nightpelt leader of Shadow Clan now? Thunder Clan brings to this gathering our new medicine cat, Yellowfang. We also bring two newly named warriors, Fireheart and Greystripe. I, Nightpelt, have taken over the leadership of Shadow Clan. Our former leader, Broken Star, broke the warrior code and we were forced to chase him out. <laughs> The spirits of our ancestors have spoken to Running Nose and chosen me as leader. I have not yet traveled the Mother Mouth to receive Star Clan's gift of nine lives, but I will make this journey tomorrow night while the moon is still full. After my vigil at the Moonstone, I shall be known as Night Star. Where is Broken Star now? Yeah, where exactly is he? I think we can assume that he has left the forest, with the other banished warriors. He knows it would be dangerous for him to try to return. Let's hope Broken Star has had the sense to leave the forest for good. His greed for territory threatened us all. While Broken Star was Shadow Clan's leader, I allowed him to hunt in our river. But now Shadow Clan has a new leader, and this agreement can no longer stand. The prey in our river belongs to River Clan alone. Shadow Clan has the same needs as it did under Broken Star. We have many mouths to feed, Crooked Star. You made an agreement with the whole of Shadow Clan. Shadow Clan has suffered many losses recently. With fewer mouths to feed, Night Pelt, do you really need River Clan's fish? You have just driven out your leader and several of your strongest warriors. Broken Star went against the Warrior Code when he forced River Clan to share the river. You have not yet received your nine lives from Star Clan, Night Pelt. Are you so sure you can make these demands? I. Uh... We all know Shadow Clan has suffered much these past few moons. Thunder Clan has agreed to leave you in peace until you have had time to recover. I'm sure that Crooked Star will agree to show you the same respect. But only as long as Shadow Clan is not putting their scent in our territory. You won't scent us, Crooked Star. Blue Star was right. We don't need your fish. After all, we have the uplands to hunt in now that Wind Clan has left their territory. That's true. This will mean extra prey for all of us. No. Wind Clan must return. Why? <laughs> if we share Wind Clan's hunting grounds, it will mean more food for all of our kits. The forest needs four clans. Just as we have four trees and four seasons, Star Clan has given us four clans. We must find Wind Clan as soon as possible and bring them home. <laughs> Your argument is weak, Blue Star. Do we really need four seasons? Wouldn't you rather go without Leaf Bear? And the cold and hunger it brings? Star Clan gave us Leaf Bear to let the Earth recover and prepare for New Leaf. This forest and the uplands have supported four clans for generations. It is not up to us to challenge Star Clan. Why should we go hungry for the sake of a clan that cannot even defend its territory? Hold your tongue, Leopard Fur. Blue Star is right. Wind Clan must return. Crooked Star, River Clan's hunting grounds are known for their richness. You have the river and all the fish it contains. Why do you need extra prey? And Night Pelt? It was Broken Star who drove Wind Clan from their home. That is why Thunder Clan helped you chase him out, so they could come home. Very well, Blue Star. We will allow Wind Clan to return. So it is agreed. Wind Clan will be found and brought home. Until then, no clan should hunt on their territory. Meeting dismissed. Come on, ThunderClan. It's time we returned to camp.
until Wind Clan is back, there's no reason we should let all the prey go to waste. I'm with you there. I'm willing to split the territory 50 50 with you. If Thunder Clan's too proud, it's their loss. Are Shadow Clan and River Clan allying? How can they side with River Clan after all we did to drive out Broken Star? What's the news? Were Shadow Clan there? Yes, they were. There was much tension between the clans tonight, and possibly a new allegiance between Crooked Star and Night Pelt. What are they talking about? I thought Night Pelt agreed with Blue Star. Night Pelt? He has been named Shadow Clan's new leader. But his name? Hasn't he been accepted by Star Clan yet? He plans to travel to the Moonstone tomorrow night. No leader can speak for their clan at a gathering without foreseeing Star Clan's approval first. He has the support of Shadow Clan, One Eye. We cannot ignore what he said tonight. At the gathering, I suggested we find Wind Clan and bring them home. But Crooked Star and Night Pelt don't want them to return. They're hardly likely to join forces, though. They almost had it out tonight over hunting rights in the river. Didn't you see the looks they were swapping by the end of the meeting? They're both desperate to get their paws on Wind Clan's territory. But why? I suspect Shadow Clan is not as weak as we thought they would be. And Night Pelt seems to have more ambition than any cat expected. But why does River Clan want to hunt in Wind Clan's grounds? They have always grown fat on the fish from their precious river. The uplands are a long way to go for a few windblown rabbits. At the gathering, some of the River Clan elders spoke of Two Legs taking over part of the river. That's right. They say Two Legs have been living in shelters beside the river, disturbing the fish. The River Clan cats have had to hide in the bushes and watch them with empty stomachs. For now, we must be careful to do nothing that may bring Shadow Clan and River Clan closer together. Go and rest now. Running wind and dust poor. You will take the Dawn Patrol. Yes, Blue Star. Fireheart, wake up! Uh, why? We're not on patrol. Blue Star wants to see us in her den, now. You two! Took you long enough! Blue Star's waiting inside. Sorry, Tiger Claw. Fireheart, Greystripe, I have an important mission for you. A mission? I want you to find Wind Clan and bring them back to their territory. Before you get too excited, bear in mind this could be very dangerous. We don't know where Wind Clan has gone, so you'll have to follow what is left of their scent, probably into hostile territory. But you've been through Wind Clan territory when you traveled with me to the Moonstone. Their scent will be familiar to you, as will the Two Leg territory beyond the uplands. Will it just be us? Our other warriors are needed here. Leaf Bear is coming, and we need to gather as much fresh kill as possible. Many pretty scarce moons lie ahead. Tiger Claw will help you prepare for the journey. You must leave as soon as possible. Good luck. We'll find them. We won't let you down, Blue Star. Do you remember how to get to Wind Clan territory? Oh, yes, Tiger Claw. We were just there. <clears throat> uh, a few moons ago. And you recall Wind Clan's scent? Uh huh. We're good to go. You will need herbs for strength and to keep your hunger away. Fetch them from Yellowfang before you leave. And don't forget that Night Pelt is planning to travel to the Moonstone tonight. Keep well out of his way. Yes, Tiger Claw. He'll never know we're out there. As I would expect. Now go. You could have wished us good luck. He probably thinks we don't need it. Tiger Claw seems to be treating us with as much respect as he would any warrior. Is it possible that he isn't the traitor Ravenpaw thought? Yellowfang, we've come for traveling herbs. Where are you going? We've got to find Wind Clan and bring them home. Your first warrior mission. Congratulations. I will fetch the herbs you will need. Ha! Enjoy! Ugh! Just as bad as last time. Um. Uh huh. Come on, let's get going, Fireheart. Bye, Yellowfang. Wait for me. Goodbye, and good luck, youngsters. Oh, sorry. Uh. I hear you two are going on a mission. Yep. Then may you have Star Clan's protection. <laughs> what for?
four. Are you off to catch bulls? They're going on a special mission to save Wind Clan. What? No fair! Is it always this windy up here? Well, these are Wind Clan's hunting grounds. What would Wind Clan be without wind? Plus, it doesn't look like there are any trees to block it. <laughs> Do you smell that? <gasps> River Clan! Gotcha! Huh? Oof! <laughs> wow! <laughs> nice one, Black Claw! Stupid <laughs> rabbit! Shun it! I'd like to see you do better, Loud Belly. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find any prey further down the moor. <laughs> They're horrible hunters. True. Maybe River Clan should stick to catching fish. Come on, Fireheart. As funny as the River Clan cats are, we'd better keep moving or their patrol will scent us. We should look for the Wind Clan camp. It'll be the best place to pick up their scent. Good idea. There's a hollow over that way. I can see a gap in the brush. Okay, let's check it out. It could be the camp. That's what I thought. It's probably the only place up here that's sheltered from the wind. This must be their camp. I can't believe Broken Star managed to drive Wind Clan out of such a well-protected area. It looks like they put up a good fight. I'm surprised there were no casualties. They must have fled in time. But let's find the scent trail out of here. <laughs> Look! They must have escaped through this gap in the bush. Many of them were badly injured. They must have barely escaped with their lives. I'm certain this is the right way. Come on! Well, it doesn't look as if the Wind Clan cats were heading for high stones. I wonder if Night Pelt is there yet. We'll have a hard enough time dodging two legs, rats, and dogs without meeting the new Shadow Clan leader as well. <laughs> look, Wind Clan must have stayed here. But where are they now? I wonder what made them leave. Their scent is quite stale. I don't know. It's all so odd. But let's keep moving. We must be nearing Barley's territory. Oh no. Remember what Barley said? The two legs let the dogs loose at night. Maybe the dogs were the ones who chased Wind Clan out of these parts. It's almost sunset. We should get moving. Do you think Ravenpaw ever found Barley? Sure he did. Why wouldn't he? We were able to make it this far, so don't underestimate him. Don't you remember the time Tiger Claw sent him to Snake Rocks? He came back with an adder! Don't worry about Ravenpaw. <laughs> You're right. Ravenpaw is a resourceful cat. <sighs> it's getting late. Should we keep going? What if their trail takes us to the High Stones after all? Nightpell will definitely be there by now. Hmm. <laughs> their scent is still pretty fresh, so we'd better continue on. There will be time for rest later. Their trail is masked by the scent of the Thunderpath, but it seems to lead under these bushes. Windclan must have either doubled back or crossed the Thunderpath. You look around here and I'll check out the other side. Wind Clan definitely was here. Come on, Graystripe. Whoa, would you look at that, Fireheart? I've never seen a Thunderpath like that before. Do you smell that? <laughs> it's a fresh Wind Clan marker. They must have settled somewhere near here. But why would Wind Clan come to a place like this? There's so many monsters. I guess it was so that not even Broken Star would want to follow them here. Huh. What's that dark shadow up ahead? I don't know. 
A burrow? It's too big for a rabbit, and surely there can't be a badger set there. The wall is made of stone. Let's take a look. We do need to find a way across the Thunderpath. I can feel air flowing through it. It must come up somewhere on the other side. Is it empty? It smells like it. Come on then! Do you think that's WinClan? You smelled their marker. Who else could it be? Wow, we really found them! Now we just have to find a way to convince them that it's safe to return home. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Hang on! We don't want to startle them. <gasps> what the? Why are there so many cats around us? Ugh! Stupid cats! Get out of here! We have to catch up to them. Don't let WinClan out of your sight! <laughs> W watch out! The most bit of a station! Ah! Graystripe, we need to get out of here! Keep running, we can't lose Wind Clan! Scrap flea bag! Look, there they are! What? Where'd they go? I don't know. Another tunnel? Come on, let's go find out. <laughs> she cats first. Ugh, really? Whoa, this place is creepy. Shush, we don't want them to hear us. Hold on, I hear something. That's them! It's WindClan! Wow, they're so thin. What Broken Star did to these cats was awful. They must be starving. Ah! The Wind Clan cats didn't even seem to notice the shaking. They're just sitting there. I guess they've gotten used to the monsters passing. <gasps> Tall Star! Intruders! Behind us! Identify yourselves. Did Broken Star send you after us? You must be Tall Star, Wind Clan's leader. Thunder Clan warriors. I was expecting Shadow Clan. Why have you come here? We came to find you, Tullstar. Blue Star and the other clan leaders want you to return to your territory. That land is not safe for my clan anymore. Shadow Clan has driven out Broken Star. He's no longer a threat to you. Could it be true? You must return as soon as possible. Shadow Clan and River Clan are starting to hunt in the uplands. We saw a River Clan hunting patrol on our way here. Those snake hearts. They're terrible rabbit hunters, though. They went home with empty bellies. Sounds like River Clan. May we travel back with you to your territory? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I see your meaning. It would be much appreciated. Who do I have to thank? Uh, I'm Fireheart, and this is Graystripe. Fireheart. You remind me of somebody that I used to know. That name suits you. Thanks. We shall depart at once with these Thunder Clan warriors. It's time for us to return home. Is every cat able to travel? All except Morning Flowers, Kit. He's too young. Then we must all take turns carrying him. Lead the way, Deadfoot. We'll take you back the way we came. It might be a shortcut. Is it safe? We meant no trouble coming here. Very well. Come with me, Graystripe, and lead the way. Fireheart, travel beside the clan. Tell my deputy if you see any trouble. Which one is he? That's him over there. His name's Deadfoot. Alright, I'll do that. Well, you all heard him. Let's move.
Are you sure this path leads to daylight? It leads right under the Thunder Path. Have you never used this tunnel? When our warriors cross the Thunder Path, they prefer to see where they're going. You go first. Tallstar, the client's tiring. We need to travel more slowly. <sighs> Let me carry him, just until you've caught your breath. Thank you so much. His name is Gorskit. Hi, Gorskit. Thanks, by heart. We'll have to stop and cross the Thunder Path here. Oh man, Fireheart. You've got to meet One Whisker. He's great. <laughs> nice to meet you, One Whisker. I'm Fireheart. Thanks for everything you've done for Wing Clan, Fireheart. I don't know what I would have done without you. One more day in that tunnel and uh, I would have lost it. Uh -huh, don't mention it. I'm happy to help. Just as before. We should try to get the clan over the Thunder Path in smaller groups. Graystripe and Fireheart will stay behind with any cat that needs extra help. Yes, Tallstar. The strongest of us should go first. Wimusker, Mudclaw, Barkface. We'll all leave at the first opening. What about Tallstar? I will cross only when the rest of the clan is safe. Deadfoot, it's clear. Go, now! That leaves Webpaw, Ashfoot, Morningflower, and her kit. I hate crossing the Thunderpath, and this will be Gorse Kit's first time. I'll ensure you two get safely across. Tell us when, Graystripe. Now! <sighs> Something's coming! Go ahead, Morningflower. I'll help Webpaw. Firehawk! Webpaw! Look out! Are you two alright? Thanks, Star Clan, we all made it. That was close. <laughs> you would have died for us? Wing Clan will never forget that. One Whisker is right. We shall honor you both in our stories. We must keep going. We have a long journey ahead of us. Is Gorse Kid alright? Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Do you want me to carry him again? That'd be lovely. You're so kind, Fireheart. We're getting close to Barley's barn. Tallstar, perhaps we should stop soon and take shelter for the night. I agree. My clan is growing tired from the travel, and the weather is getting worse. Ravenpaw! Thanks, Star Clan, you're safe. Firepaw! I thought I heard your voice! It's actually Fireheart. We're warriors now. I'm Graystripe. Do you know this cat, Fireheart? Is he a loner? Uh. Not exactly, but he can help us find food. Yeah, I know all the best places to hunt around here. Why would a loner help us? Loners have helped the clans before. Another loner named Barley saved us from the rats near here last Greenleaf. I'd be happy to help you. I owe my life to Fireheart and Graystripe. And if they're traveling with you, then you must be friends. I'll go and find Barley. He'll help too. Can we trust him? Completely. He's an old friend of mine. It's good to see you again, Barley. You too now. We need to find you some proper shelter. Follow me. Come on, we have to trust them.
Ugh, you won't get me in there. Just look at it. It reeks of two legs. It's empty, don't worry. Two legs. Haven't used it in ages. Plus, it'll give us some shelter from the rain. I'm not surprised Fireheart wants to hide in a two-leg nest. Once a kitty pet, always a kitty pet. Mudclaw, show some respect to Fireheart. You've spent two moons living in a two-leg tunnel. Does that make you a rat? Come on, we're just getting wetter the longer we stand out here. Fighting won't solve the problem. We've faced worse than a two-leg shelter in these past moons. One night here will do us no harm. Thank you again, Barley. This is the second time you've helped us. Thanks for sending Raven Paul to me. He's turned into a fine rabbit. And it's good to share a meal with a fellow cat from time to time who doesn't cough up fur balls. So what happened after we left you at the border? I headed straight across the Wind Clan territory, like you suggested. What about the two legs of dogs? Were they loose? Yes, but it was easy to avoid them. Easy? I could smell them from a long way off. I just waited until dawn. Once the dogs were tied up again, I tracked down Barley. He's been great. I think he likes having me around. Definitely more than Tiger Claw ever did. By the way, what did you tell him? We said you'd been killed by a Shadow Clan patrol. Ah, yes. We loners eat clan apprentices whenever we can catch one. You don't scare me. Really? Well, I guess your meat would be tough and stringy anyways. How come you're such good friends with a loner, Fireheart? A wise warrior makes friends whenever he can, Webpaw. If it wasn't for this loner, we'd still be cold and hungry rather than dry and well-fed. Ah, I guess you're right. So, ThunderClan thinks I'm dead. Well... It's probably for the best. I'm glad to see you two again. But you look tired. You should probably get some sleep. I'll keep watch tonight. <laughs> I can rest tomorrow. Thank you, Ravenpaw. I can't believe we found WindClan, and that we're back here with Ravenpaw. I know, and it's nice to see he turned out okay. You never know what can happen to cats out here. <laughs> right. <sighs> well, it's been a long day. Are you tired? Uh. Let's hit the hay then. <laughs> literally. We did well today. Wind Clan is finally coming home, and it's such a relief to see how happy Ravenpaw is here with Barley. All I hope is that tomorrow can go as well. Right, Graystripe? Graystripe? <laughs> Oh wow, he really was exhausted. I guess I should get some shut-eye too then. Every cat has his own destiny. Even though he's not in ThunderClan anymore, Ravenpaw's happy. And that's all that matters. Thank you for your hospitality last night. But we really should be getting on our way. I wish you safe travels. Bye Ravenpaw. Graystripe and I will have to visit again soon. I'd like that. And keep an eye on Target Claw for me? Of course, Ravenpaw. This is certainly odd weather. Look at the sky. What do you make of it, Barkface? Oh no. This is bad. What is it, Barkface? Has Starkwin spoken to you? What did you see? <laughs> the, the clouds. They're stained with blood. The ancestors that are trying to warn us. It's a sign. This day, this day shall bring unnecessary death. But any of the clans could see those clouds. We can't be sure that the message is for us. Maybe it's directed to Shadow Clan. Yeah, a glimpse of their future if they continue to push Wing Clan around. Whatever Star Clan has planned for us, today we must return to our home. <laughs> I can smell more rain in the air. We must not let this slow us down. Should Fireheart and I scout ahead? Yes. Let me know if you see any dogs, two legs, or rats. My clan is stronger this morning, but we had trouble with dogs on the way out. We must stay alert.
I can see it. Our camp! Wait! Enter with caution. There may be hunting parties from the other clans here. I'll go and make sure the way is clear. It's safe. Nothing's here. Hmm. It seems we'll have to work hard to restore the camp. But there will be time for that later. My clan is grateful for your help. You have both proven yourselves to be warriors worthy of Star Clan. Wind Clan has come home, and now it is time for you to return to yours. It's been an honor traveling with Wind Clan. If you need help with anything else while you're settling back into your territory, let us know. Thank you for the offer, but Wind Clan will manage on its own. Keep an eye out on your way back to Thunder Clan. There may be hostile hunting parties lurking about. I'll have one whisker and dead foot escort you to four trees to ensure your safety out of our land. Thank you, Tallstar. We better get going. Your clan will be missing their two Candace warriors. Aw, oh, you're all too much. Tell Blue Star that Wind Clan will not forget that it was Thunder Clan who brought them home. Anyone hungry? I can't believe you caught that. It was moving so fast. A bit chewy for my liking. More of a squirrel man myself. Uh, no thank you. Squirrels have too much fluff for my taste. For me, nothing beats a windswept hair. You know, it'd be quicker if we followed the river home. But that would mean crossing River Clan territory. We could follow the gorge. River Clan never hunts there because it's too steep for them to get down to the fish. <sighs> Even my claws ache. I wouldn't mind taking a shorter route. But Tallstar ordered us to take you to Four Trees. If you don't want to come with us, we understand. We'll only be in River Clan territory for a blink. I can't see us meeting any trouble. We couldn't let you go into River Clan territory alone. You're far too exhausted from the journey. If you did meet trouble, you're in no state to deal with it. We won't meet anyone. You know. If we did go that way, RiverClan would know that WindClan has returned. And once they've smelled fresh WindClan scent, they might not be so keen to come rabbit hunting in your territory again. And it'll mean we'll be home before moonrise! <laughs> you just want to make sure you get a good nest in the warrior's den. I have always wanted a nest in the center. Then we're going through RiverClan territory? Yes, we are. Now we better get moving. It's getting late. It's a long drop down. I'm glad Wing Clan doesn't have any territory like this. It's fine with hills and grass. I am glad we're taking a shortcut. My pads are wearing thin from all this travel. I'll need to sleep for a moon to recover. See what I tell you. Not a single River Clan warrior in sight. This was a great idea. Uh oh. Fireheart, I think you spoke too soon. Hey, look! Is that Wind Clan? I didn't know they were back. I thought I smelled intruders. Oh no. River Clan Patrol! Attack! Wait, we can explain. Your presence here is explanation enough. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on you. Run! I can't breathe. <laughs> Take that, kitty pet. I'm not a kitty pet anymore. <laughs> You mule-like one. <laughs> we were just passing through here. We meant no harm. Well, this will be the last time you set paw in River Clan territory. <laughs> you need to lay off the fish. Take this, you fox heart. <laughs> ah. Ah. Should have gone the four trees way. Leopard fur! What's the meaning of this? Thunder Clan, attack! <laughs> Tiger Claw's here with backup. It's an ambush! Thunder Clan patrol! <laughs> <laughs> ah, fish eater! 
Bell us for hunting in our territory while we were away. And this is for attacking us! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I almost feel sorry for you, Deadfoot. And I thought wing clan cats were supposed to be fast. You can hardly keep up. How dare you! They were just returning home, Leopard Fur. Back off! Oh! You paid for that one! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> oh no, Sandpaw. You're getting too close to the edge. You're going to fall. Ow! Sandpaw! Hey! Let me go, you stupid furball! I can win my own battles without your help! I was just trying to help. You looked like you were in danger. I almost had her! Ah! Oh no! White Claw! Help me! Quick! Grab onto my paw! No, no! Hold on, please! <laughs> no! <gasps> oh no! No! This must be what Barkface saw in the clouds. White Claw was the unnecessary death. White Claw! No! What have you done? I, I... I tried to grab him. He just lost his footing. I didn't mean to. This is your fault! <sighs> he must have pushed him! It was just a border fight. This wasn't supposed to happen. Graystrip should be punished for this. Killing cats in battle is against the warrior code. It was only an accident. No harm was meant. My son would never intentionally hurt another cat. You can't blame him for defending himself. This would have never happened if you hadn't trespassed on our territory. The border by the gorge is hardly your territory. You never hunt here. River Clan settled down. There's no use for another attack. We have suffered enough loss for one day. This has gone far beyond a border fight. We shall return to our clan and hold a vigil for White Claw. This has become a matter to settle at another time and in a different way. Let's go. Very well, Leopard Fur. White Claw died with honor. May Star Clan watch over him. Leopard Fur sounded upset. This might have started a war. Yes, it shouldn't have happened. One whisker and I should return home. You two warriors have served us well. And my clan thanks you. Thanks for fighting beside us. Don't mention it. Let's not linger here. We should report this to Blue Star. The sooner Graystripe gets back to camp, the better. It wasn't his fault. This could have happened to any cat. I know, but what's done is done. And River Clan won't rest until they get vengeance. I can't believe I let him fall. He was right there. I had him. You can't blame yourself, Graystripe. He was attacking and you were defending yourself. Just be glad it wasn't you that went over the gorge. I guess you're right, Fireheart. But the look in his eyes before he fell. I can never unsee that. Look what the cat dragged in. So, you two made it back from your special mission. Guess I lost that bet. Everyone looks pretty roughed up. Did something bad happen, Tiger Claw? I'll tell you later. These two need to speak to Blue Star. Fireheart, Greystripe, welcome back. Did you find Wind Clan? Were you able to bring them back? Yes, Blue Star. They are safe in their camp. Tallstar told me to thank you. That's good to hear. You're wounded. What happened? Fireheart decided to return home through River Clan territory. It wasn't just Fireheart who decided. We all agreed to go that way. They were found by a River Clan patrol, and if my patrol hadn't heard their yowls in time, they wouldn't have made it home at all. So you rescued them. Thank you, Tiger Claw. I wish it was only that simple. These mouse brains were fighting alongside the gorge, and Graystripe pushed White Claw, one of River Clan's warriors, over the edge. What? That's horrible! It was an accident! He didn't push White Claw, he fell. Graystripe would never kill a cat in a border fight. Mm. 
Yes, but I doubt Leopard Fur will see it that way. He was her apprentice. I don't know what you two are thinking. Traveling through River Clan territory and with Wind Clan cats? You've sent the message that we're their allies, which will only drive River Clan and Shadow Clan closer together. Wind Clan was with you in River Clan territory? So just two warriors, dead foot and one whisker. Tallstar gave us an escort home. We were tired. You shouldn't have been in River Clan territory at all, especially with Wind Clan cats. It wasn't an alliance. They were just escorting us back home. Did River Clan know that? River Clan knew we were going to find Wind Clan and bring them back. They agreed to it at the gathering. They shouldn't have attacked us. It was a special mission, like a journey to the High Stones. They didn't agree to let you travel through their territory, now did they? You still don't understand clan ways, do you? Kitty pet. I agree. You should not have entered River Clan's hunting grounds. It was a dangerous thing to do. I'm sorry. At the same time, you did well finding Wind Clan and bringing them back. But we will need to prepare ourselves for an attack from River Clan. We need to start training more warriors. Fireheart and Greystripe. Frostfur tells me two of her kits are almost ready to begin their training. I want each of you to take a kit as your apprentice. It would be an honor. But none of Frostfur's kits are six moons old yet. It won't be long before they are. The divisions at the last gathering troubled me, and today's skirmish only confirms my fears. Wouldn't it be better to ask more experienced warriors like Longtail or Darkstripe to take on another apprentice? These two are hardly more than apprentices themselves! I did consider that, but Longtail will be busy enough with Swiftpaw, and Darkstripe is getting Dustpaw ready to become a full warrior. What about Running Wind? He seems like a good choice. Running Wind is a fine hunter and a loyal warrior. But I don't think he has the patience for mentoring. ThunderClan has better uses for his skills. And you think these two have got what it takes to train ThunderClan warriors? We shall find out. Don't forget, they brought WingClan home. And of course, Tigerclaw, I am relying on you to oversee the training. <sighs> yes, Blue Star. Get something to eat and then rest. We'll have the naming ceremony for the kits at Moonheim. I'm starving. Do you want me to grab you something to eat from the fresh kill pile? No, I just want to go to sleep. Try to forget about this day. Oh, alright. I'll wake you up at Moon High. Good night, Graystripe. Oh, hey, Sandpaw. Hey, uh, thanks for saving me today, Fireheart. I should have been more grateful for complaining after seeing what happened to White Claw. I'm glad you warned me when you did. Uh, you're welcome. I heard you're getting an apprentice tonight. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I didn't expect for it to happen so soon. You're going to be a great mentor, Fireheart. Wake up, you two. It's time for the apprentice ceremony. Thanks, Willow Pelt. Graystripe, come on, we're going to be mentors. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. We're getting apprentices. Windclan's home now? Ah, well done, you two. Thank you, Halftail. You must come and share the story with the others one of these nights. We will. Mama! We don't need to be groomed, we're going to be apprentices! That's even more a reason for why you two should look presentable. The whole clan will be watching the ceremony. Aren't you excited, Graystripe? You've talked about this day since we were apprentices ourselves. I killed a cat today. I'm not sure I deserve an apprentice. Graystripe, White Claw's death wasn't your fault. It was the bad place for an attack, and the River Clan cats should have known that. Sandpaw nearly fell over the edge, too. I feel sorry for the kid that will be Fireheart's apprentice. Imagine a clan cat being trained by a kitty pet, right, Sandpaw? I don't know, Despot. I think he'll do alright. Listen to me, Greystripe. Blue Star doesn't blame you. She knows you're a good warrior, and that's why she's giving you your own kit to train. No! Blue Star's just doing it because ThunderClan needs more apprentices, and why do we need them? 
Because I've given River Clan a reason to hate us! This moon high, we gather together to name two new apprentices. Please step forward, Syndicate and Bracken Kit. Hey! I'm so excited! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I wonder who will train which kit. From this day forward, until she has earned her warrior name, this apprentice will be called Cinderpaw. My own apprentice name? Cinderpaw! It has a nice ring to it! Fireheart, you are ready for your first apprentice. You will begin Cinderpaw's training. You are fortunate, Fireheart, to have had more than one mentor. I expect you to pass on everything I taught you to this young apprentice, and share with her the skills you learned from Tiger Claw and Lionheart. <laughs> Cinderpaw! 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 And this new apprentice will be called Brackenpaw. Greystripe, you will train Brackenpaw. Our honored friend Lionheart was your mentor, and I hope that his skill and wisdom will pass through you to your new apprentice. Brackenpaw! 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 Thank you, Blue Star. Hi, Fireheart! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> You're fine. I'm going to be the best apprentice ever! <laughs> I'm sure you will. So, when will we start training? As soon as possible. I promise. Congratulations, Fireheart. You're going to be a great mentor, darling. Just a fair warning, Fireheart. Cinderpaw can be a bit of a pawful. If she starts talking your ear off, just send her to the elders. She needs to get rid of her extra energy. <laughs> Thanks, Frostfur. I'll keep that in mind. Mom! Don't embarrass me in front of my new mentor! <sighs> Kitty Pet and his oafish friend, training clan-born kids. It's disgraceful. I want to be a good mentor, but Tiger Claw just seems to be waiting for me to fail. It's cold out this morning. Yeah, it is. <coughs> eh. Huh, I'm pretty sure my voice sounds different today. Maybe I'm coming down with white cough or something. I don't know, I'll talk to Yellowfang later. Anyway, so, uh, what are you planning to do with Brackenpaw today? Uh, I don't know. Probably show him the forest? Maybe I could bring Cinderpaw and we could show them the territory together. Like how it was when we were apprentices. That could be fun. Uh, I'd rather not. It might be better if we travel alone today. Oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. Maybe we can catch up later around the fresh kill pile and brag about our apprentices. Sure. I'll see you later then. <sighs> it would have been a lot more fun to take our apprentices out together. But maybe Graystripe is still beating himself up about what happened to White Claw yesterday. Guess I can't blame him for wanting some time alone. What are we doing today? I thought I'd take you on a tour of ThunderClan's territory. Oh, will we see the Thunderpath? Uh, um, yes, I suppose we will. Are you hungry? Nope. Let's go. Oh, okay. We'll eat later then. Follow me, Cinderpaw. Yes, Fireheart. I thought I said follow me. But I want to see the view from the top. <laughs> Very well. It is quite a sight. Whoa! Look at the trees! They look like they're made from moonstone. You're right. They're breathtaking. But you should try and save your energy, Cinderpaw. We have a long way to go today. <sighs> okay... Which way now, Fireheart? Just follow me. And this time, I do mean follow. This is where most of our training sessions will be held. A river ran here many moons ago. Actually, a stream still flows beyond that rise over there. 
cut us dry most of the summer. That's where I caught my first piece of prey. What did you catch? Will the stream be frozen? Ooh, let's look and see if there's ice. Another time, Cinderpaw. <sighs> it's almost frozen. You wouldn't catch much there now, except fish, maybe. If I were you, I'd leave fishing to River Clan. If they like getting their fur wet, then let them. I prefer dry paws. <laughs> Where to now? The owl tree. I'll race you there. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna beat you! <laughs> All right, Cinderpa. I know you've been looking forward to this one. Let's have a look at the Thunderpath. Oh, the Thunderpath? Yep. It's just beyond those bushes. Yuck! The smell burns my nose! What's on the other side? Stand back, Cinderpa. There's a monster coming! Ah! That's a monster? Uh-huh. Be sure to stay clear of this place. Can you smell anything apart from the Thunderpath stench? Oh, I remember that smell. It's Shadow Clan. Is that their territory? Beyond the Thunderpath? Yeah. You and your siblings must have bad memories of that place. We were lucky to get you back. Now let's return to camp. It's getting late. No, not yet. Please show me more. <sighs> All right. I'll take you home the long way, past the Two Lake Place, and I'll show you the Tall Pines. There's so many different smells here. Stay by me, Cinderpaw. Sometimes two legs walk their dogs here. Why don't those branches have leaves? What, the fences? Two legs use those to mark the boundaries of their territory. Look, Fireheart! Huh? A kitty pet! She's in our territory! Let's chase her! Wait, no, Cinderpaw! Huh? Rusty! Huh? Why, uh. princess? Rusty? Where are you going? Uh, wild cats! Uh. Rats! I wanted to chase her! I bet Brack and Paul will have chased tons of things today! Yeah, maybe. I... I, I don't know, Cinderpaw. But we should probably get back to camp. That... that must have been Princess. My sister. Hey, Cinderpaw, come here and tell me about your day. Okay, Brackenpaw. See ya, Fireheart. I'm going to go share prey with my brother. Over here, Fireheart. I've got you some fresh kill. Did you have a good day? It was better than yesterday. I enjoyed mentoring, actually. And Brackenpaw is keen to learn, that's for sure. So is Cinderpaw. Mind you, I kept forgetting I was the mentor and not the apprentice. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Couldn't stop thinking about my sister all night. I wonder... What's her life been like? Everyone in the clan has their kin. I guess I didn't realize how much I missed not having that. Until now. Hey, could you take Cinderpaw for the day? Huh? Oh, sure. Why? Oh, ah, uh, nothing important. I, I just saw something interesting in the woods yesterday and wanted to check it out. Oh, and uh, watch out for Cinderpaw. She doesn't listen to warriors very well. Or... at all. Something interesting, hmm? Well, she sounds like a pawful, but I'll do it. Might be good for Brackenpaw. He's so serious sometimes, he needs to lighten up. Thanks, Graystripe. <sighs> I don't see her. Maybe her two legs are keeping her inside. 
That wouldn't surprise me. She looked like her kits would be coming soon. This is silly. Am I breaking the warrior code by doing this? What if she doesn't even remember me? Uh. Uh. I don't want to frighten her. After all, I am a scary looking forest cat. She might think I'm here to attack her. Huh? Who's there? Ah, it's me, Rusty. Princess, it's me, your brother. Don't you remember me? Rusty? You don't smell like Rusty. That's because I don't live with two legs anymore. I've been living in the forest with ThunderClan. I carry their scent now. It's been so long. But I remember you, brother. Why are you here? I saw you yesterday in the woods. I had to come back to speak with you. You're awfully thin. Thinner than a kitty pet, maybe, but not thin for a clan, uh, a forest cat. Your scent was in my dreams last night. I dreamed of you, and our lettermates, and mother. H how is she? Good. She still lives with her housefolk. And what about... Our brothers and sisters? Most of them live near here. I see them in their gardens from time to time. Do you remember the soft bedding of our mother's basket? <laughs> oh yes, I wish I could have it for my own kidding. Will this litter be your first? Uh-huh, but I have help. The kid's father, Oliver, has been checking in on me. He's so sweet. You look as if your two legs treat you well. I'm sure your kids are going to be healthy and safe. You'll be a great mother. Thank you. What do you know of the clans? Um, not much. You mentioned a Thunder Clan? Yes, there's Thunder Clan, but there are four clans altogether. In the clan, we take care of one another. Younger cats hunt for the elders, and warriors protect the hunting grounds from other clans. I trained all Greenleaf to become a warrior, but now I have an apprentice of my own. It sounds as if you enjoy your life. Princess, it's meal time. Oh, I, I should go. My housework will be worried if I don't come in soon. I should return to my clan anyways. But I'll come back and visit you soon, Princess. Yes, I'd like that. Goodbye, Rusty. See you soon. I noticed that Cinderpaw spent the whole day with Graystripe. Where were you? Uh, it, it seemed like a good day for hunting. Uh, too good to waste. The clan needs all the fresh kill it can get at the moment, and Graystripe didn't mind. Yes, but we also need warriors. Cinderpaw's training is your responsibility. I understand, Tigerclaw. I'll take her out tomorrow. Huh, good. Stupid kid, but fire. Find what you were looking for? Yeah. Thanks for watching, Cinderpaw. Um, Graystripe, are you still thinking about White Claw? I, I try not to. It's just when I'm alone, I can't help remembering Barkface's prophecy of the unnecessary death and trouble ahead. It's been haunting me, too. That was so funny today when we convinced Graystripe that Shadow Clan had taught us a secret hunting technique. He almost fell for two. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face was priceless. Can we make the best team? That's it right there. It's the bond that a brother and a sister share that I've missed. And I'm afraid, are the memories that I share with Princess stronger than my loyalty to ThunderClan? Another day of sunshine. Yeah, it's great weather for training. Let's hope it stays this clear for the rest of Leaf Bear. I'm gonna bury you in the snow, Cinderpaw. You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> ah! <sighs> that was cold. <laughs> Looks like our apprentices are already warmed up. Good morning, Graystripe. What is today's assignment? A hunting mission. Oh, where? What are we going to catch? We're going to Sunning Rocks, and we'll catch whatever we can. I'd like to catch a vole. I've never tasted vole. I'm afraid everything we catch today goes straight back to the elders, but I'm sure if you asked one of them nicely, they'd be happy to share. Alright then, I'll catch a vole for one eye and small ear! Which way is Sunning Rocks? 
This way. <laughs> um, um, never miss a chance to practice your hunting skills, Brackenpaw. Okay, Grace Drape. <laughs> this is Sunning Rocks. Come on. Mmm, the rocks here feel so nice and warm. You're right. Make most of the sun while it's here. There are many cold and damp days ahead of us. Is this where Redtail died? And where Tigerclaw avenged his death by killing Oakheart? I wasn't there. But yeah, this is where the battle took place. Wow! Shh! Can you hear that sound? I think I can hear something scratching! It might be a vole. Can you tell where it's coming from? Over there! I think it hurt you, Cinderpaw. Aww, I'm sorry, Fireheart. Don't worry about it. There will be other prey. At least now you know it's better to creep up slowly, especially with voles. They're quick. Next time we hear something, first work out where it is, and then move towards the prey slowly. Here, I'll show you. Wow! That was amazing! I want to do that! Don't worry, you have plenty of chances. For now, we should get back to the forest. Aren't we going to catch anything else here? Did you hear that vole squeal? Yeah? Well, so did every other creature in this area. The prey here will be hiding for a while. I should have caught it and killed it before it could make a sound. Shouldn't the river have covered the squeal? Usually, but the river's really quiet today. It must be frozen! I want to go check! Cinderpaw! No! That's River Clan's territory! Ah, oh, she never listens. Oh no! What happened? Where's Graystripe? The river wasn't totally frozen! He fell through the ice! Huh? Uh, help! Swim to the side. It's easier than fighting the current. I'll try and help pull you out. Gray Stripe! <coughs> I'm okay. Thanks. You idiot. What are you doing in River Clan territory? Uh, drowning? Can't you drown yourself in your own territory? Yeah, but who would rescue me there? <laughs> Where's Brackenpaw? He's coming. Grey Stripe, we better get out of here. I know. Thanks again, miss. Hurry, go now. If my father knew that I'd rescued a Thunderclan intruder, he'd shred me for kit bedding. <laughs> Why did you save me then? Instinct. I couldn't watch a cat drown. Well, thanks. I would have missed this furball if he had drowned. Never got your name. Mine's Graystripe. Silverstream. Come on, Graystripe. Let's get back to camp. You're freezing. Okay, I'm coming. Goodbye, Silverstream. What a pretty river clan cat she was. Aren't I lucky she was nearby? This is bad. We're coming back with a soaked gray stripe and no fresh kill for the elders. How are we going to explain this to the clan? The stream near the training hollow is still running with water. The clan will probably assume that gray stripe fell in there. We could say he was showing us how to catch fish. I'm not sure any cat will believe gray stripe would want to get his paws wet on purpose in this weather. Well, I don't want the clan to know I had to be rescued by a river clan cat, and that we were caught in river clan territory again. That's for sure. Come on, let's run back the rest of the way. It'll help you warm up, Grey Stripe. No fresh kill? I thought you were meant to be teaching these two how to hunt today. You look half drowned, Grey Stripe. You must have fallen into a river to get that wet. Don't tell me you've been into River Clan territory again. 
It's my fault, Tiger Claw. We were hunting on the frozen stream by the training hollow, on the bend by the deep pool. Even that bit was frozen. I slipped, and Graystripe came to help me. But the ice wasn't thick enough for him. It cracked and he fell into the water. Fireheart had to pull him out. I see. Well, you'd better get yourself to Yellowfang before you freeze to death. You lied pretty well. I didn't mean to. I just thought the truth wouldn't be very helpful here. Quick thinking, but let's not make this a pattern. Go and get warm, Cinderpaw. Yes, Fireheart. <laughs> what did Yellowfang say? She said that I'll have to stay in camp, and that I've got to chill. I'm not surprised. What did she dose you with? Fever few and lavender. I saved you some prey. No thanks, I'm not very hungry. You sure? There's plenty here. Yeah, I'm good. I just feel like resting. You must have a fever. I've never seen you turn down prey. Good morning, Fireheart. Tiger Claw wants to see you. Okay, thanks, Mousefur. Uh, what was that about? I guess Tiger Claw wants to see me. You should be sleeping. Did you rest up yesterday? As much as I could between coughing and sneezing. Then why weren't you in your nest when I got back from training? I can't get peace and quiet in here with warriors trooping in and out all day. I found somewhere that was quieter, that's all. Uh, I wonder what Tiger Claw wants. Ugh, I better go and find out. It's time Cinderpaw and Brackenpaw were assessed. Already? Blue Star wants to see how their training is progressing, especially with Graystripe being too ill to train Brackenpaw. If Brackenpaw is falling behind, she needs to know so she can appoint another mentor for him. I've been taking Brackenpaw out with me and Cinderpaw every day. Yes, but this is your first time as a mentor. It's a lot for you to take on, and ThunderClan needs well-trained warriors. Send Brackenpaw and Cinderpaw on a hunting mission through Tall Pines, as far as the two-legged place. Keep an eye on them, watch them hunt, and report back to me. I'll be interested to see how much fresh kill they add to the pile. If Cinderpaw's skills match her enthusiasm, there should be plenty to eat tonight. I hear she is a keen apprentice, and as Lionheart's daughter, I'd expect no less. Yes, she's great. But wouldn't the Sunning Rocks be an equally good place to test their skills? The sun there might have burned away some of this mist, too. No. The Dawn Patrol reported scenting River Clan at Sunning Rocks. They may have started hunting there again. They'll need to be warned off before we do any more training there. For now, Tall Pines will be much safer for the assessment. As for the fog, hunting in difficult conditions will make the test more interesting. Yes, Tiger Claw. I'll go tell them and get started with the assessment right away. An assessment? Do you think we're ready? Of course. You've been working hard and learning quickly. But won't the fog make hunting difficult? There are advantages to the stillness of the air. I get it! The fog will make it hard for us to scent prey, but that will make it harder for the prey to smell us! Exactly. Are we starting now? We can start as soon as you like, but take your time hunting. It's not a race. <laughs> I'm going to catch twice as much prey as Brackenpaw! <laughs> You've got until sunset! They're both doing really well. <sighs> Wait until Tiger Claw hears about this. Hi, Fireheart! How are we doing? Cinderpaw! You can't sneak up on me like that! I'm assessing you, remember? Oh, sorry. I was just curious. Were you really born over there? In Two Lake Place? Why do you ask? Tiger Claw just mentioned it. That's all. Is that why you didn't want to chase that other kitty pet? I was born a house cat, but I'm a warrior now. My life is with the clan. My life wasn't bad before, but it's over now. Enough questions, Cinderpaw. You should return to your task. Oh, okay. Watch out, birds! Here I come! <laughs> that was odd. I wonder what else Tiger Claw's been telling my apprentice.
They caught all this themselves? Oh yes, every piece. Good. Now come join me and Blue Star and bring some fresh kill for yourself. We're already eating. Blue Star wants to share prey with us? How exciting! By the way, Fireheart, have you seen Graystripe? He's supposed to stay in the camp while he has this cold, but I haven't seen him since Sun High. No, um, maybe he's with Yellowfang? Hmm, perhaps. Tiger Claw tells me your apprentices caught plenty of prey. They've never hunted in fog before, but it didn't seem to put either of them off. I watched Brackenpaw catch a wood mouse. His stalking was excellent. And what about Cinderpool? Her hunting skills are developing well. She has lots of enthusiasm, that's for sure. And she doesn't seem to be scared of anything. Aren't you worried that might make her reckless? She's quick and inquisitive, which makes her a good learner. I think that'll make up for her, uh, eagerness. She was always going to be a challenge. But she is clearly turning into a fine hunter. You've done good work with her, Fireheart. With both of them, in fact. I noticed that you took over Brackenpaw's training without being asked. I want you to carry on mentoring both of them for the time being. Yes, Blue Star. I see your missing friend has returned. He was probably just getting some peace and quiet. He's still feverish. It can't be easy for him to be stuck in camp all day. Easy or not, he should be concentrating on getting better. Leaf Bear is no time for sickness in the camp. Mousefur was coughing on patrol this morning. I just hope Star Clan protects us from green cough this season. We lost five kits to it last year. Let's pray this Leaf Bear isn't as long or as hard. It is never an easy time for the clans. Why don't you take that sparrow and share it with Greystripe? He'll want to know how his apprentice did in the assessment. Hey. Is your cold any better? Nope. I guess we'll have to stay in camp a while longer. Brackenpaw did really well in his assessment today. Really? That's good. Yeah, he's a great hunter. Graystripe, have you been out of the camp in the past few days? Why, why do you ask? Well, you weren't here when I got in from last night's patrol. And Tigerclaw said he hadn't seen you since Sun High today. Tigerclaw? I told him that you were probably out looking for peace and quiet, or that you might be with Yellowfang. Were you? Well, thanks for covering me. It's been a long day, I better go lie down. Okay. I think I'll stay out here for a bit longer. Graystripe is definitely hiding something. But why not tell me about it? If I'm forced to cover for him, shouldn't I know what for? But... I suppose I haven't told him about my visits to see Princess. What's this? Catkin? But willow trees don't grow in ThunderClan's woods. In fact, the only willows I've ever seen are in RiverClan's territory. Did this come from Graystripe's coat? Is Graystripe really foolish enough to return to RiverClan territory? Doesn't he know Leopard Fur has a score to settle with him over White Claw's death? I need to find out exactly where he's been going, and why. <laughs> Graystripe has definitely been sneaking out of camp this way, and often by the smell of it. You okay there, Fireheart? You haven't caught your friend's cold, have you? Mouse first steaming with it this morning. And Longtail said Swiftpaw sneezed all throughout his training yesterday. Just tired after yesterday's assessment. Ah, Blue Star thought you might be. That's why she asked me to help you with Cinderpaw and Brackenpaw's training today. Oh, really? <sighs> you know, I do have a bit of a bellyache. That'd be great if you could take over their training for today. I'm going to go see if Yellowfang can give me anything for it. I thought you seemed a little distracted. You stay here in camp. I'll take them out hunting. Thanks, Running Wind. What would he be doing at Sunning Rocks? Oh, Graystripe, it's so good to see you again. How could Graystripe be so stupid? 
He's breaking every part of the warrior code by meeting this cat. Graystripe! You followed me. What are you doing? Don't you know how dangerous this is? It's okay. There won't be a patrol here till after sunset. You can't know that for sure. Actually, I do. My father is Crooked Star, the leader of River Clan. Seriously? What are you two playing at? Could you have chosen worse? Uh, I'd better go. Ah, uh, so soon? I love you, Graystripe. When will I see you again? I promise. I'll slip away again as soon as I can. I promise I'll slip away again as soon as I can? What is wrong with you? You have to stop seeing her. I can't. I don't understand. River Clan is completely hostile with Thunder Clan at the moment. You heard Leopard Fur after White Claw died. How do you know you can even trust this River Clan cat? You don't know Silverstream, and there's no need to remind me about White Claw. Do you think it's easy knowing I'm responsible for the death of one of Silverstream's clanmates? She understands it was an accident. The gorge was no place for a battle. Any cat could have fallen there. It doesn't matter what Silverstream thinks. What about your loyalty to ThunderClan? You're breaking the warrior code by seeing her. You think I don't know that? Do you doubt my loyalty to ThunderClan? What else can I think? You can't see her without lying to the clan. And what if we have a battle with RiverClan? Have you thought about that? You worry too much. It won't come to that. Now that Broken Star is gone and WingClan is back, the clans will be at peace. RiverClan doesn't seem to be acting very peacefully. You know they've been hunting on Sunny Rocks, in our territory. They've been hunting on Sunny Rocks since before I was kidded. Okay, but what if a River Clan patrol catches the two of you? Silverstream won't let that happen. For Star Clan's sake, aren't you even a bit worried? You don't get it, do you? Star Clan must have planned this. Look, Silverstream wants to see me, even after what happened to White Claw. We share the same thoughts. It's as if we were born into the same clan. Ugh. <sighs> You're not listening. Come on. We better get back before you're missed again. Graystripe, you should be resting, not hanging around here. That cough of yours has already begun to spread. We don't want it getting into the nursery. And you, Fireheart, shouldn't you be training your apprentices? I, uh, I came back to get something from Yellowfang for a bellyache. Well, go and get it then. And once you have, you can make yourself useful and find some fresh kill. It's Leaf Bear. We can't have our warriors hanging around the camp doing nothing. Yes, White Storm. My supplies are running low. I might need help to restock. It looks like there's White Cough in the camp. Two cases of it this morning. Who? Is it Swiftpaw? Swiftpaw has just got a cold. It's Speckletail's daughter, Mistlekit. And Patchpelt. They're not serious at the moment, but we need to concentrate on getting the clan stronger. Leaf Bear always brings the threat of Green Cough. That's the real killer. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just bellyache, but it doesn't matter if you're busy. Is it bad? N no. Then come back when it is. Make sure Graystripe stays in his den, will you? He's a strong young warrior, but if he were really resting, his cough would have been better by now. Fireheart, I know you're there. It's okay. Stonefur and Shadepar have gone. I wouldn't let anything happen to Graystripe's closest friend. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Is Graystripe okay? Has his cough gotten worse? He's fine, but he won't be if he carries on meeting you. I won't let anything bad happen to Graystripe. Oh, really? And what could you do to protect him? I am the clan leader's daughter. Does that give you the power to control your father's warriors? You're hardly more than an apprentice. Just like you! Yes, that's true. And that's why I'm not sure I could protect Graystripe from the anger of his own clan. Or yours, if they find out you've been seeing each other. I can't stop seeing him. I love him! But the tension between our clans is bad enough already. And we know River Clan is hunting on our territory. If ThunderClan understood why, they wouldn't care what we catch there. Why are they hunting there? My clan is hungry. Our kids cry because their mothers have no milk. The elders are dying for lack of decent prey. But you've got the river. It's not enough. Two legs have taken over our territory downstream. They built camp there, all Greenleaf, and stayed as long as the fish were plentiful. That's why you didn't want Wing Clan to come home. 
Rabbits run on the moorlands all year round. They were our only hope of making it through Leaf Bear without losing kits. Does Greystripe know all this? Yes. Whatever problems your clan has, you still have to stop seeing Greystripe. No! How can our love do any harm? I see Greystripe isn't the only one who's dividing his loyalty. I better go. Yellow Fang hasn't eaten any fresh kill yet. She's been too busy. I think she would appreciate that mouse you're carrying. Yes, White Storm. Is that for me? Thanks. Hey, now that you're here, why don't you see if you can persuade Missile Kit to take her medicine? Hey, Missile Kit, if you want to be a warrior, you'll have to get used to swallowing these horrible things. When you make your trip to the Moonstone, you'll have to eat herbs far worse than this. But I don't like it. It tastes nasty. Think of it as practice. Practice for when you become a warrior. Really? A warrior? Okay. I'll eat it. Well done, Fireheart. You're good with kits. Blue Star has White Cough. White Cough? But that isn't as serious, right? It came on very quickly and getting worse. I warned her to stay away from the other sick cats, but she wanted to see them. She's sleeping in her den at the moment. Frostfur is with her. If Blue Star loses this life to sickness, she'll only have one remaining. Will we be going out today? It might be better to stay in camp. Nobody should be out in this weather. Alright. I know I'm letting Cinderpod down, but I really need to stay in camp to keep an eye on Blue Star. At least with Tiger Claw on the Dawn Patrol, he isn't here to complain about it. Yellow Fang? Yellow Fang, come quickly! Out of my way! What's wrong? She has green cough. Stand watch and make sure no one else comes inside. And I mean no one. We don't want any cat else catching green cough. I've just come from Tiger Claw. I have a message for Blue Star. She's sick. You can't go in. Tiger Claw needs to see her at the Thunder Path. It's very urgent. What's wrong? You can tell me. Tiger Claw asked for Blue Star. Not some kitty pet pretending to be a warrior. Blue Star can't leave the camp. Fireheart is right. The Tiger Claw has found evidence of Shadow Clan warriors in our territory. They've invaded our hunting grounds. Fireheart, tell me, do you know whether there is any catnip in the Two Lake place? Catnip? I need it for Blue Star. It's a herb I haven't used for moons, but I think it will help her. It has soft leaves and an irresistible scent. Yes, I know where to find some. Good. I need as much as you can carry, and fast. What about Tiger Claw? Tiger Claw will have to deal with it on his own for the moment. Deal with what himself? Shadow Clan could be in our territory by now. Shadow Clan? Hmm. Where's White Storm? Patrolling Sunning Rocks with Mouse Fur and Sand Pool. With Blue Star sick and Fireheart fetching catnip, we can't risk sending any more warriors out of the camp. If Shadow Clan is in our territory, they might attack here. They've done it before. If I'm quick getting the catnip, I could meet Tiger Claw afterward and bring back his message for Blue Star. He wants Blue Star to see the evidence for herself. Shadow Clan's left remains a fresh kill on our side of the Thunderpath. Blue Star doesn't need to see the evidence. The word of her deputy ought to be enough. Tiger Claw just needs to be told that Blue Star can't come. I'll take the message to him after I fetch the catnip. Where is he? I'll go. Do you think you're a better messenger than me? Because you're a warrior, and I'm just an apprentice. The clan will need protecting while Fireheart is gone. Isn't that duty important enough for you, Dustpaw? Now, where is Tiger Claw? Besides the burnt ash tree that overhangs the Thunderpath. <sighs> right. Go now, Fireheart. Quickly! Wait! 
Go back to your den, Cinderpaw. But I could go and give Tiger Claw the message while you get the catnip. Cinderpaw, there might be Shadow Clan warriors around. You need to stay in camp. But... Go back to your den. But this will save time! Catnip, catnip. Ugh, where is it? Aha! There! Now back to Yellowfang. <sighs> Here! Thank you, Fireheart. Rackenpaw, where's Cinderpaw? Did she leave the camp? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Uh, where is she? I don't have time for this. Wait. Graystripe. He can look for her. He's gone. As if I couldn't guess. Uh. Cinderpaw will have to fend for herself then. Cinderpaw came this way? Of course. She must have gone to meet Tiger Claw herself. Cinderpaw! <laughs> no. No, no. Cinderpaw, you gotta get up. Come on. Cinderpaw? She's still alive, but barely. We need to move her. Come on, hurry! <laughs> what is Cinderpaw doing here anyway? She came to find you. You mean you sent her here? This is your fault. I told her to stay in camp. She came by herself. She didn't listen to me. We need to get her back to camp immediately. We won't know how bad her condition is until she's been seen by Yellowfang. No, I'll carry her. Just be sure not to drop her, kitty pet. I've checked Snake Rocks again, Tiger Claw. There's no sign of any Shadow Cla- What the- What's happened to her? Tiger Claw, what? Shut your muzzle, Darkstripe. I'll explain later. Fireheart? Oh good, you're back. I, I didn't know what to do. Cinderpaw was hit by a monster on the Thunderpath. Yes, Tiger Claw told me. Let me take a look. She's hurt very badly. I think I might be able to save her, but I can't promise anything. Thank you, Yellowfang. I was just with Blue Star. She's gotten worse. How much worse? There's not much more that I can do for her since it was too late for the Catman to work properly. Yellowfang, how much worse has she gotten? Star Clan must decide her fate now. Go and sit with her, Fireheart. She was asking for you earlier. I'll take care of Cinderpaw. Uh. All right. Golden Flower, how is Blue Star? Yellowfang has given her catmint and fever few. We can only wait for her to heal now. Will you be okay to sit with her for a bit? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yellowfang already asked me to. Good. Thanks, Fireheart. I'm gonna go get a bite to eat. Fireheart, is that you? Yes, Blue Star. I'm here. I have lost yet another life, young one. When I lose this life, I will not return from Star Clan. How are you feeling? Should I get Yellowfang? No. The fever has passed. All I'm in need of now is rest. Cinderpaw was injured on the Thunderpath. Yellowfang's tending to her now. 
You must be tired. Sounds like it's been a hard day. It has been. Go to your nest and get some sleep. Is there anything else you need, Blue Star? No, just tell Yellowfang what's happened. Thank you for sitting with me. I want a hole to be scraped out where we can store prey. Use snow to line it and cover it with more snow once it's been filled. We might as well make use of the snow while it's here. Good idea, Tiger Claw. Now, long tail and mouse fur. Organize a hunting party. We need as much fresh kill as we can get before the prey takes to their burrows for good. Fireheart, wait. Oh, right. I suppose you'll have to rest. I can't imagine you'll be of any use on a hunting party this morning. The kitty pet needs to take another cat nap. I'm going to see Cinderpaw first. How's Blue Star? I'm no medicine cat, I can tell you. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, you two, over there, get to work! Yellow Fang? Hush. Cinderpaw has only finally fallen asleep. She's had a hard night. I couldn't give her poppy seeds to ease the pain until she'd recover from the shock. But she's going to live, right? I can't be sure right now. She's severely hurt. The bone in her hind leg has been shattered. But it'll mend, right? She'll be training again? By New Leaf? By your heart. Whatever happens, Cinderpaw will never be a warrior now. No. How can you say that? She'll heal! I'm sorry, but she won't. The damage to the bone is irreparable. Does Frostfur know? Yes. She was here until dawn. She's back in the nursery now. There are other kids to tend to. I'll ask one of the elders to save a sinner, Paul, in the meantime. She needs to be kept warm. I can stay by her. No. You need to sleep. Leave Cinder Paul to me. Blue Star lost another life. You already know, don't you? What? That Blue Star is on her final life? Of course. A medicine cat notices these things with these. Will the rest of the clan be able to tell? No. She will be no weaker in this life than she was in any of her others. I'll get you some poppy seeds to help you sleep. Thank you, but no. I need to stay alert in case Shadow Clan attacks. Hmm? You're back then. I know you tried to warn Silverstream away. Stay out of it, will you? I'm going to keep on seeing her, whatever you do or say. <sighs> I don't care anymore. <sighs> Anyways, have you heard about Blue Star? Everyone's saying she lost a life to Green Cough last night. I already know, Mouse Brain, I was with her. Why didn't you tell me? Well, if you weren't always sneaking off breaking the warrior code, you might know what was going on in your own clan. I heard about Cinderpaw. I'm sorry she got injured. Yeah, not as if you were there to help stop it. Well, maybe she wouldn't have run off if you had taught her to listen to her orders. I don't want to talk to you right now. Of course. Grey Stripe's gone again. Is Tiger Claw in there? Uh, no. I think he's on patrol. There's Green Cough in the nursery. Two of Brittleface's kids are infected. What? They're going to be okay, though, right? Leaf Bear always brings Green Cough, and Green Cough almost always kills. Surely there's something we can do! Yellow Fang will do all she can, but in the end, it'll be up to Star Clan. Ah, that's not good enough! I have to find more Capmint. Maybe I'll have time to visit Princess, too. See how she's doing. Huh? Fireheart? What a nice surprise! You've kidded! Uh-huh. Did it go okay? Are the kids alright? Oh, it went fine. I now have five perfectly healthy kids. I didn't expect to see you out in this weather. I came to find more Catmint. There's Green Cough in the camp. Oh no. Are a lot of the clan cats ill? Only three... so far. Our leader lost another life last night. 
Another life? What do you mean? I thought it was only an old she-cat's tell the cats have nine lives. Blue Star was granted nine lives by Star Clan. Because she's leader of our clan. Wow, then it is true. Only for clan leaders. The rest of us only have one life. Like you, me, and Cinderpaw. Cinderpaw? Cinderpaw is my apprentice. She was hit on the Thunderpath last night. And she was badly injured. She still might not make it. And even if she survives, she'll never become a warrior now. Aw, you spoke so fondly of her last time you were here. She sounded so fun and full of energy. She was. That accident shouldn't have happened. I was supposed to meet Tiger Claw. He'd asked for Blue Star, but Blue Star was ill, so I offered to go instead. I had to get herbs first, so Cinderpaw went in my place. I told her not to, but... Maybe if I'd been a better mentor, she'd have listened to me. Oh, Fireheart, don't say that. I'm sure you were a great mentor. I, I don't know why Tigerclaw wanted Blue Star to meet him in such a dangerous place. He said there was evidence that Shadow Clan had invaded our territory, but when I arrived, there was no scent of them at all. Maybe it was a trap. Why would Tigerclaw want to hurt Cinderpaw? But remember, it was Blue Star that he'd asked for. Perhaps the trap was meant for her. I don't know. Uh, everything's so confusing right now. Even Graystripe hardly speaks to me anymore. Oh, that's awful. Why is he being like that? It's too complicated to explain. I just feel like such an outsider right now. It's not easy being so different from the rest. Different? How so? Being born a kitty pet. When all the other cats are clan born. You seem like a clan-born cat to me. But if you're not happy in your clan, you can always come home with me. I'm sure my housefolk would look after you. Thank you, princess, but I could never be happy in a two-leg nest. I would miss the sense of the forest and sleeping beneath silver pelt, hunting my own food and sharing it with my clan. <sighs> <sighs> it sounds like a good life. Sometimes, even I stare into the forest and wonder what it would be like to live out there. Then, you understand? Hmm, I'm starting to. Are you going back now, Fireheart? Yes. I have to take this cap into Yellowfang while it's still fresh. Perhaps my kits will be strong enough to meet you next time you come. I hope so. Take good care of yourself now, Fireheart. I don't want to lose you again. You won't. Good thinking, Fireheart. More cat mint? I wondered where you'd gone. Brackenpaw, come and take this cat mint to Yellowfang. Yes, Tigerclaw. I wanted to go visit Cinderpaw. Later. I want to know where Graystripe has been sneaking off to. I don't know. I haven't asked. Well, when you see him, you can tell him he's confined to the Fallen Oak. Yellowfang's old den? Cats with white cough are confined there until they're well again. But Graystripe only has a cold. We can't be sure. Until he's fully recovered, he'll stay at the Fallen Oak. Cats with green cough are to nest with Yellowfang. We must stop the sickness from spreading. It's for the good of the clan. Yes, Tigerclaw. I'll tell Graystripe. And keep away from Blue Star. But she's not even ill anymore. I'm aware of that, but her den still reeks of the sickness. I can't afford to have any of my warriors falling ill. Your warriors? <sighs> White Storm tells me that River Clan warriors have been scented even closer to the camp. He also told me he had to train Brackenpaw today. I expect you to take charge of Brackenpaw's training tomorrow. Fine. May I go and see Cinderpaw now? I doubt Yellowfang has put her anywhere near the cats with green cough. I won't get infected. Very well. Yellowfang was very grateful for the catman. Good. Hey, Brackenpaw. I'm teaching you how to catch birds tomorrow. I hope you're ready for a bit of tree climbing. Definitely. I'll meet you at the training hollow. Hey, uh, how's Cinderpaw? She was awake earlier, but not for long. She has an infection in her leg now. Star Clan knows what will happen. I've tried everything, but she must fight this battle by herself. 
So many cats are sick now. Do you think if Spotted Leaf was still here, she'd be able to save them? I don't think Spotted Leaf would have treated them any differently. You're doing your best, Yellow Fang. That's all you can do. My nose itches. I don't like the smell in here. Oh, Elder Kit. What am I going to do with you? You have to stay in here until you get better. Alright. How is Cinderpaw? Oh, hello, Fireheart. Frostfur, I, I'm sorry. What for? I should have been able to stop Cinderpaw from going to the Thunderpath. She was my responsibility. I don't blame you for what happened, Fireheart. Cinderpaw's a free spirit. I doubt anyone could have stopped her. You shouldn't blame yourself. Star Clan, please. She has to survive. Please. I'll never forgive myself if she doesn't. Tiger Claw told me you've got to move to the Fallen Oak and stay with the other cats who have white cough. Ugh, that won't be necessary. I'm better now. Yellow Fang gave me the all clear this morning. Tiger Claw has noticed your constant disappearances. You should be more careful. Why can't you stay away from Silverstream, at least for now? Why can't you mind your own business? I thought you didn't care anymore. You know what? I really don't. Ugh. I want you to take Sandpaw out on Dawn Patrol. Shadow Clan has been scented as close as the Owl Tree. Uh, I, I can't. I was planning to take Brackenpaw out again tomorrow. Isn't Graystripe better now? He can take out his apprentice. So, uh, just me and Sandpaw? Sandpaw's almost a warrior, and I know you can take care of yourself. Does Sandpaw know about this? You can tell her. She's outside the apprentice's den. <sighs> Wish me luck. Uh... Hey, Sandpaw. Uh, Whitestorm wants you to patrol with me at dawn tomorrow. Okay. It's a date, then. Uh, huh? Uh, meet you at a sunrise, then. Sunrise. Got it. See you then, Fireheart. What? Sandpaw? You just gonna let that kitty pet tell you to go on patrol with him? I couldn't think of a reason to say no. Weird. I thought Sampa still hated me. I wonder what Graystripe would have to say about this. He's bound to have cooled off by now. Hello, Fireheart. Hey, Running Wind. Graystripe? Hmm. <sighs> Whatever. I don't care what he thinks. At least I'll be able to get out of camp tomorrow. Hi, Fireheart. Uh, hi, Sandpa. Uh, let's wait for the night patrol to get back before we head out. Oh, Star Clan, what's taking them so long? Is this silence too awkward? Should I be talking to Sandpa? I don't know what to say. So, uh, the weather, am I right? Huh? Oh, thanks, Star Clan. So, uh, did you three see anything strange on patrol? We definitely picked up some of Shadow Clan's scent on our territory. It's so strange, because it's always the same group of scents. Shadow Clan must be sending the same warriors each time. You two had better check out the River Clan border. We didn't get a chance to patrol there. Be careful, and remember, we don't want to start a fight with them. You're just looking for signs to see if they've been hunting on our land again. You got it! Yes, White Storm. So, uh, I think we should start at Four Trees and work our way along the border to Tall Pines. Sounds good. I've never seen Four Trees in the snow before.
so, uh, which way do we go now? I know I'm still an apprentice, but do you think I don't remember the way to four trees? I'm not a mouse brain. <laughs> Sorry. Wanna race me there? Oh, you're on! <laughs> <sighs> wow, she's fast. <sighs> Where'd she go? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've been caught in a snowstorm. So do you. <laughs> uh, come on, we better get moving. I had no idea snow would make everything look so different. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, wait for me! I'm starving! How about a little fresh kill? Alright, that sounds pretty good about now. A rabbit! Look over there! Ha! Ha! Great catch, Sampa! Wanna share? Yeah, thanks. That's one of the best things about patrols. What? You can eat what you catch instead of having to take it back to the clan. I don't know how many hunting missions I've nearly starved on. <laughs> I can imagine. Look! The river! It, it's frozen! We're not going down there. We can't risk another fight with River Clan. We don't have to! You can see it from here! Whoa! It's frozen solid! Let's get back and tell the clan! Why? A patrol of our warriors could cross the river now! We can invade River Clan's territory and steal back some of the prey they've taken from us! I, uh, I guess we could. Are you coming? Uh, y yeah. Graystripe going to think about this. Silverstream told me River Clan is starving. All cats old enough to catch their own prey gather beneath High Rock. What's this all about? I wonder what Blue Star has to say. Sandpaw and Fireheart have brought good news. The river is frozen over. We will take this opportunity to raid RiverClan's hunting grounds and send a message that they must stop stealing our prey. But RiverClan needs the prey. Without it, they'll starve. Our warriors will track down one of their patrols and give them a warning they'll remember for moons to come. We'll show them. Yeah, RiverClan needs to learn their lesson. Well, then again, I haven't seen ThunderClan this excited in moons. Tigerclaw, our warriors fit enough for a raid on RiverClan? Absolutely, Blue Star. Excellent. Then we shall leave at sunset. Yes, my first fight. I can't wait. We'll teach those pesky fish eaters about stealing our prey. I wonder if Blue Star is going too. She shouldn't risk her last life on a border raid. It feels warmer today. A thaw would make the ice too dangerous to cross. You are not usually reluctant to fight. Yeah, Graystripe, you're not afraid of those River Clan flea bags, are you? No, I just. Looks like he's scared of getting his paws wet. Graystripe's already fallen through the ice once, this leaf bear. I'm sure he's not keen to do it again. <laughs> I'm sure he isn't. Graystripe is right. A thought is on its way. I can feel it in the air. So we must attack at once. Where is he going? Betty's planning on warning Silverstream. We'll leave a patrol of warriors here to guard the camp. We have to remember the possible threat from Shadow Clan. Five warriors will make the raid. I will remain here. Tiger Claw will lead the raiding party. Darkstrike, Willow Pelt, and Longtail will go with him. That leaves one more place. Blue Star, I. Can I go? I know the place the river is frozen. I can show the others. Yes. Thank you, Fireheart. You may join the patrol. There's no time to lose. Tiger Claw will brief you as you travel. Now go. This was the place Sampa and I were earlier. 
Ah, fox dung. It's already melted. We'll have to wait until we find another way. Thanks, Star Clan. Ah, back to camp, everyone. Thunder Clan! I'm disappointed to inform you that we were too late. The river had already thawed. There's no way for us to cross now. Ah, that's too bad. I hope it freezes again soon. Aw, I wanted to fight. Fireheart! What are you doing? You didn't trust me. You thought I would betray ThunderClan. That's why you offered to go. So I couldn't. Gah! Ah! Ah! I saved you from having to make the choice. Since I don't know who you're loyal to, I don't know what kind of choices you'd make. I will make my own choices. I was just trying to protect you. I don't need protecting. I need you to get your tail out of my business. You're so selfish! You're just jealous! Why would I be jealous of a traitor? Don't call me a traitor, you fox heart! Great stripe! Fireheart, stop this at once! Fireheart, I want to see you in my den now. And Greystripe, go to your nest and stay there. What was that all about? I realize tensions are running high in the camp right now. I never expected to see you and Greystripe fighting. Are you hurt? No. Are you going to tell me what that was about? Blue Star, I really can't explain. I'm sorry. Very well. You two can sort it out on your own. The clan is facing a difficult time and I will not tolerate this sort of fighting. Understood? Yes, Blue Star. I'm sorry I let you down. You can go now. Huh. I can't believe Greystripe and I fought like that. Will our friendship ever recover from this? Huh. I wonder how Cinderpaw's doing this morning. I'd better go in and check on her. She seems better than the last time I visited. That's good. <sighs> Fireheart. I was just sitting with Cinderpaw. She looks better. Her body is beginning to heal. I think she'll pull through. I hope so. Thank you, Yellowfang. Nice of you to show up, Fireheart. Greystripe's just joined us, too. He's been having a word with Blue Star. She had a few things to say to him after your little display yesterday. Hey, Fireheart. During this thaw, the woods will be alive with prey. They'll be hungry after sheltering in their burrows. This will be a good chance to catch as much fresh kill as we can. But there's still fresh kill in the snow stool. It'll be crow food soon. We need to take every opportunity to hunt. As Leaf Bear goes on, the prey will start to disappear, and what stays around will be too thin. That makes sense. Longtail, I want you to organize the hunting parties. Yes, Tiger Claw. Fireheart, you and Sandpaw can join Mousefur. Gray Stripe can hunt with White Storm and Brackenpaw. It's probably best if I don't put you two in the same group. Good fight last night. It almost made up for missing out on the battle. Nice moves, Fireheart, for a kissy pet. Mousefur and I can go ahead without you if you want some time alone. You'd probably like a bit of quiet to clear your head with all this drama going on. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks, Sandpa. Meet us back at the camp at Sun High.
Why couldn't Greystrike just understand I was trying to protect him? We've never fought like that before. Two leg place? Maybe I'll visit Princess. Princess, are you there? Well, hi there. What's your name? Cloud? Mommy! <sighs> Fireheart! Oh, it's so good to see you! I've been waiting for you to come and visit. It's great to see you, too. Is that one of your kids? Uh-huh. His name is Cloud. <laughs> He's adorable. And strong. <sighs> I know. That's why I have brought him for you. I want you to take him back with you to your clan, so he can be your new apprentice. I... I never expected... Princess, are you sure you know what that'll mean for him? I know I won't see him, but my housefolk will choose where the rest will live. This is my firstborn, and I want to decide his future. Princess, I... Make him a hero, please, like you. That's... a nice thought, but... I... I know how upset you were about your apprentice, Cinderpaw. I, I thought that if you had a new one, one who's your own kin, you wouldn't feel so lonely. I know I don't understand all of your clan ways, but seeing you and hearing you talk about your life, I know that I would be honored if my son was brought up as a clan cat. I I'll take him. This is a great gift you've given to ThunderClan. And I'll train Cloud Kit to be the finest warrior the clans have ever seen. Oh, thank you, brother. And who knows, maybe someday he'll even become leader and be given nine lives. <laughs> Imagine that, he could be Cloud Star. Uh, yeah. Who knows, maybe you will. All right now, Cloud. It it's time for you to go. Where am I going? You'll be starting a new adventure. Your Uncle Fireheart is going to take care of you now. You listen to him, all right? Okay, are you coming too, Mommy? No, but I'll be here. And your Uncle Fireheart can bring you to visit me when you're older. I'll miss you. Oh, I'll miss you too. But you're going to make your mama very proud by becoming a big, strong warrior. Can you promise me that, Cloud? I promise. Mwah! I love you. Goodbye, princess. I'll take good care of him. Goodbye, Fireheart! Goodbye, Cloud! How am I going to explain this kit to ThunderClan? I'm going to have to admit to visiting Princess. But it's too late to turn back now. Mwah! I'm cold! Come on, Cloud Kit. We're almost there. Oh my! What is this? It's my sister's firstborn. Your sister? You have a sister? Where? The same place as Fireheart was born, of course. Two leg place. Is this true? Yes. My sister gave him to me to be raised in the clan. And why would she do that? I, I, I told her about clan life. And how great it was. How long have you been visiting Tulek Place? Not long. Just since Leaf Bear began. But only to see my sister. My loyalty still lies with ThunderClan. Loyalty? And yet you bring a kitty pet here! Ugh, isn't having one kitty pet in the clan enough? Trust a kitty pet to find another kitty pet? Why have you brought it here? We need warriors. Not kitty pet warriors. The clan has enough to worry about already without this. That kit will be nothing but a burden. It'll be at least five moons before it's ready to begin training. You shouldn't have brought this kitty pet here, Fireheart. It'll be too soft for clan life. I was born a kitty pet. Am I soft? If the kit carries Fireheart's blood, it'll make a good clan cat. What a change to see you speak up for your friend now, Graystripe, since last night you wanted to shred him. 
Yeah, Greystripe. How do you know Fireheart has blood worthy of ThunderClan? Did you taste it last night when you tried to take a chunk out of his leg? Enough, you two. Fireheart. I believe that you meant no disloyalty to the clan by visiting your sister. But why did you agree to bring her kit here? It is not your place to make decisions like this. What you have done affects the whole clan. Tiger Claw, what do you think? What do I think? I think you should get rid of it at once. Goldenflower, the kit certainly looks too small to survive until New Leaf. It'll have green cough by sunrise. Or it'll eat our fresh kill until next snowfall and then die of cold. All right, that's enough. I must have time alone to think about this. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me. Yeah, well, no one else was going to do it. Can't you shut that thing up? He'd be better off in the nursery. Brindleface has milk to spare. I could ask her to feed it. I owe you a favor for saving my kids from Shadow Clan. Thank you, Frostfur. <laughs> oh, one of Brindleface's kids died last night. <laughs> Brindleface? I can only guess at how much pain you feel, but this kid is starving and you have milk. Will you feed him? <laughs> oh, I know he won't replace your son, but he needs your warmth and care. I'm hungry. Oh, come here, little one. Can I tell Blue Star that you'll care for this kid? Yes. I'll go and tell Blue Star. Thank you. No kid deserves to starve. Planborn or not? You can go now. Your kit will be safe with me. I, I promise I'll bring you extra fresh kill every day. Let all cats old enough to catch their own prey gather below the high rock. Oh no. They're gonna maybe take the kit back. What if Blue Star or his Tiger Claw to leave him in the forest? I'll never survive. Cats of ThunderClan. No cat can deny that we need warriors. We have lost one kit to Greencough already, and there are many moons until New Leaf. Cinderpore has been gravely injured, and she will never be a warrior now. As Greystripe rightly pointed out, Greystripe's turning into a keeper himself these days. Quiet, Dustpaw. As Greystripe pointed out, this kitty pet carries Fireheart's blood. There is every chance the kit will make a fine warrior. I have decided that we will take this kit into our clan. Brindleface has offered to nurse it, so Fireheart will take on the duty of providing for her. That is all. Will there be a naming ceremony? No. Well, what's the white fluffball's name anyways? It's, uh, Cloud Kit. His name is Cloud Kit, everybody. I could barely send you through these disgusting things. Those disgusting things helped cure your leg. Well, you could have used more. I can hardly reach my paws to wash them. Perhaps I should give you a few more exercises to help loosen it up. No thanks. Those exercises hurt. They're meant to hurt. It shows they're working. Perhaps you'll have more luck persuading her to do them, Fireheart. I'm going into the forest to dig up some comfrey roots. I'll try. You'll know if she's doing them right, because she'll complain. Thanks for coming in to see me. I like coming to see you. I miss our training sessions. Me too. When do you think I'll be able to start again? Maybe if we try some of your exercises, it'll help. Okay, but just a few. <clears throat> never going to be a warrior, am I? No. I'm so sorry. I knew it, really. It's just that sometimes I dream about being in the forest, hunting with Brackenpaw, and then I wake up, and the pain in my leg reminds me I'll never hunt again. It feels too much to bear. I have to pretend that maybe one day 
I'll be able to hunt. Hey, I'll take you out in the forest again. We'll find the oldest, slowest mouse in the woods. It won't stand a chance against you. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that old mouse. Cinderpaw, can you remember what happened when the monster hit you? Was Tiger Claw there? I don't know. I just went straight into the burnt ash where Dustpaw said Tiger Claw would be. And then there was the monster, and I don't really remember. You wouldn't have realized how thin the edge was there. You must have run straight onto the Thunderpath. How's Cloud Kit? <laughs> He's getting bigger every day. I'm dying to meet him. When are you going to bring him to visit me? As soon as Brindleface lets me. She won't let him out of her sight at the moment. She likes him then? She treats him just like her other kits. Thanks, Star Clan. To be honest, I wasn't sure she'd take to him. He looks so different from her other kits. <sighs> at least he gets along with all of his nursery mates. What's the matter? I'm just sick of the way some of the other cats look at him. Like he's stupid or worthless. Does Cloud Kit notice these looks? No, I don't think so. Well, don't worry then. But Cloud Kit doesn't even remember he was born a kitty pet. I think he just assumes he's from a different clan. But if they keep giving him these dirty looks, he's gonna realize there's something wrong with him. Something wrong with him? You were born a kitty pet, and there's nothing wrong with you. Look, by the time Cloud Kit works out where he comes from, he'll be able to start proving that a kitty pet can be just as good as any clan-born warrior, just like you've done. What if someone tells him before he's ready? If he's anything like you, he was born ready. When did you get so smart? Suffering can do that to a cat. <laughs> no, really. Look who I've been hanging around with lately. Who, Yellowfang? She's one sharp old cat. I'm learning a lot. I bet you are. She said there's a gathering tonight. Are you going? <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna ask Blue Star if I can later. I'm not exactly popular with the clan at the moment. Oh, they'll get over it. Shouldn't you go and find out if you're going then? They'll be leaving soon. You're right. Will you be okay until Yellowfang gets back? Do you want me to fetch you some fresh kill? I'll be fine. And Yellow Fang will bring me something. She always does. I'm going to be the fattest cat in the clan by the time she's finished with me. I'll see you tomorrow then. There should be plenty of news from the gathering. Yeah, and I want to hear it all. Make sure Blue Star lets you go. All right. See you later, Cinderpaw. I know you want to go to the gathering, Fireheart. All the warriors want to go tonight, but I can't take every cat. I wanted to see Wind Clan again, to find out how they've been getting on since Greystripe and I brought them back to their territory. I don't need reminding of what you did for Wind Clan, but you're right to be concerned. You and Greystripe may come to the gathering tonight. Thank you, Blue Star. It will be an interesting gathering. River Clan and Shadow Clan have much to explain. Hey, I brought you a couple of voles, Brindleface. Thanks. I've just sent for Yellowfang. Is there something wrong with Cloud Kit? He's been a bit feverish today. Oh no, not White Cough. It's probably nothing, but I thought I'd see what Yellowfang thought. I... I don't want to take any chances. I'll come and see you after the gathering. And don't worry, if there's anything really wrong with Cloud Kit, I'll do everything I can to help. <sighs> if only I still had any appetite after news like that. But I should probably eat something. Haven't seen the cloud chick today. He's probably realized how silly he looks and decided to hide in the nursery. I'd like to be there when he tries hunting for the first time. The prey will spot him coming a tree's length away with all that white fluff. Unless they mistake him for a puffball mushroom. Ha! Would you look at that? The kitty pets caught a chill. What a surprise. Golden Flower was right. He won't last through Leaf Bear. I thought you might like some company. Are you going to the gathering? Yep. You? Yeah. I think Blue Star's going to challenge Crooked Star and Night Star about them hunting on our territory. 
I wish I was going to the gathering as a warrior. It can't be long now till Blue Star gives you your warrior name. Why do you think it's taking so long? I don't know. Blue Star's been ill, and there's River Clan and Shadow Clan causing trouble. I guess she's got other things on her mind. You'd think she need warriors more than ever! I guess she's just waiting for the right time. <sighs> Maybe by New Leaf. When do you think you'll get a new apprentice? <sighs> Blue Star hasn't said anything yet. Maybe she'll give you Cloud Kit when he's old enough. I hope so. If he makes it that far. Of course he'll make it! But he has a fever. All kids get fevers. And with his thick fur, he'll recover in no time. That coat's going to be great in Leaf Bear. It's perfect for hunting in the snow. The prey will never see him coming. And he'll be able to sail twice as long as thin pelts like Longtail. <laughs> yeah, you're right. ThunderClan, it's time to leave. Blue Star is calling the cats for the gathering. Let's go! Blue Star, there you are! Characteristically late. Thunderclan is always on time, just not needlessly early, like your clan. Well, it's been long enough that I certainly didn't want to miss another gathering. Perhaps that's why Wind Clan were the first in the hollow tonight. How have you been settling back in then? Well enough. I'll tell you more on the Great Rock. Blue Star, thank you. For everything. Well, we couldn't have more trees than clans, could we? Is that really how you convince the others? Sadly, yes. Hi, One Whisker. Hey, Fireheart. Where's Greystrike? Is he okay? I mean, uh, after what happened. He's fine. He's over there with the others. How's Morningflower? Happy to be home. Her kid's grown real quickly now. I'd say Gorse kid's almost as big as an apprentice. And Tall Stars promised him to me once he's old enough. You'll be a great mentor. The whole clan's been well since we saw you last. I'm glad to hear it. It's great to eat rabbit again. I hope I never have to taste another rat as long as I live. Silverstream, it's so good to see you. River Clan and Shadow Clan just arrived. Finally, it's too cold to be hanging around long tonight. Yeah, yeah. The gathering will begin now. Warriors don't usually call the meeting this soon. River Clan has been hunting at Sunning Rocks. Our patrols have scented your warriors many times, Crooked Star. Sunning Rocks belongs to Thunder Clan. Have you already forgotten, Blue Star, how recently one of our warriors was killed defending our territory from Thunder Clan? You had no need to defend your territory. My warriors were not hunting there. They were returning home after finding Wind Clan. It was a mission we all agreed on. According to the Warrior Code, they should not have been attacked. You speak of the Warrior Code? What about the Thunder Clan warrior who's been spying on our territory since then? What warrior? Have you seen him? Not yet. We find his scent so often, it won't be long before we do. They'll find you, Greystripe. You have to stop seeing her. I'll know your scent soon enough. I'll be careful. We have scented Shadow Clan in our territory as well as River Clan this past moon. And it's not just one warrior, but a whole patrol. Always the same cats. Shadow Clan has not been in your territory. Clearly, your warriors can't tell any difference in the scent of cats outside their own clan. You have been smelling the scent of rogue cats. They've been stealing prey from our territory as well. Ha! <laughs> Likely story. Do you doubt the word of Shadow Clan, Tiger Claw? Only time will tell, Nightstar. My warriors have also found strange scents in Wind Clan territory. They seem to be Shadow Clan. I knew it! River Clan and Shadow Clan have united against us! Us? What do you mean by us? I think it's you and Wind Clan that have formed the Alliance. Is that why you are so keen to bring them back? So you can use them to invade the rest of the forest? That's not why we returned, and you know it. We have kept to our own hunting grounds these past moons. Then why have we found strange warriors since in our territory? They don't belong to Wind Clan. They must be rogue cats, as Nightstar says. But rogue cats would be a convenient excuse for invading our territories, would it not? 
Here's one fight in a gathering. What they? Starkland has sent the darkness. Starkland is angry. These meetings are meant to be held in peace. We shouldn't be fighting among ourselves, especially during Leaf Bear. We should be worrying about keeping our clan safe. We must listen to Star Clan. Then, by the will of Star Clan, this gathering is over. Come, Thunder Clan. I know what you're going to say, and I won't stop seeing her. Then you're a mouse brain fool. They're going to figure out it's you. Blue Star will guess, or some cat from River Clan will recognize your scent. Tiger Claw's probably guessed already. Do you really think so? I don't know, but he's not dumb. Once he starts thinking about it. Okay, okay. What if I promise we'll only meet at Four Trees? That way our scent will be hard to detect, and I won't have to go into River Clan territory. Will you leave me alone then? Uh, Satisfied. Yeah. Hello, Fireheart. How is he? Cloud Kit's much better. Yellowfin gave him feverfew. It was just a chill. What happened at the gathering? You're back sooner than I expected. Star Clan sent clouds to cover the moon. Blue Stars called a meeting. Can you come? Yes, I think I can. The kids will be asleep for a while. The greatest threat seems to come from River Clan and Shadow Clan. We must be prepared for the possibility that these two clans have united against us. Do you really think they've joined together? River Clan has the best sources of prey, but I can't imagine they'd want to share a Shadow Clan. They didn't deny it. Whatever the truth, we must be on full alert. From tonight on, each patrol will have four cats, at least three of them warriors. The patrols will be more frequent, two at night and one during the day, as well as the dawn and dusk patrols. We must put a stop to River Clans and Shadow Clans raids on our territory, and since they have chosen to ignore our words, we must be prepared to fight. Yeah! The first patrol will leave before dawn. I understand why River Clan thinks they need to steal prey with the Two Lake invasion. What about Shadow Clan? It's been so much smaller since we drove out Broken Star and his followers. Why would they need to raid anyone's hunting grounds? Fireheart, you're to join me with Sandpaw and Mousefur on patrol at Sun High. Yes, White Storm. Now get some sleep. We need all our warriors fit and ready to fight. He's right. We do. I wonder. How much longer tensions will grow before the battle arrives? Nugget! What are you doing out here, Cloud Kit? Hiding from Ash Kit and Form Kit don't never find me here. So I take it you're feeling better. Uh huh, but that big grumpy cat made me eat something nasty. Uh huh? Oh. Yellow Fang, yeah, she does that. Looks like you brought a bit of bedding out with you. Ah, I got it! Nice catch. Here. Ah! Be careful. You wouldn't want anything to happen to such a precious plaything. Something that could be so easily crushed. Aw, <laughs> uh, that was mean. Cinderball! Kitty pets. <laughs> Cloud Kit, you won! 
Fern Kit and Ash Kit gave up looking for you and went to sleep. It's time for your nap now. Alright, bye, Uncle. Sandpa! It's nearly sun high! Let's go see if the others are ready to leave a patrol yet. We just patrolled the entire River Clan border. No sign of any hunting parties so far. Blue Star's patrol will check the area again this afternoon. Good. We'll take a look at the Shadow Clan border then. Hopefully, they'll have the same good sense as River Clan and stay away. They must know we'll be looking out for them. I hope so. Let's head out. We're coming up on snake rocks. Stay alert. <gasps> I sent Shadow Clan. I can't believe they've come back already! The scent is fresh! I was optimistic that Nightstar might bring some honor back to his clan, but I suppose that was too much to expect from a Shadow Clan cat. The scent is so familiar. I'm sure I know it, but I can't quite place it. What's this? <laughs> Rabbit bones? Hey guys, come and look at these! They didn't even try to disguise their presence here. Blue Star must know about this immediately. Will she send a raiding party against Shadow Clan? I'm sure. And I'll lead it myself if I can. Nightstar has betrayed our trust, and Star Clan knows he must be punished. Blue Star? Blue Star has already left on patrol. What's going on here? Did you find something on patrol? Look at these bones. We found them near Snake Rocks. Uh, I see. Dark Stripe, Running Wind, get over here. Willow Pelt and Mousefur will join us too. We'll find a Shadow Clan patrol and make sure their medicine cat stays busy for the next moon. We'll show them exactly what happens when they hunt on our territory. Can I come? Not this time. But what about Fireheart? He found the bones. Fireheart can stay here and tell Blue Star when she arrives. You're going to leave before she gets back? Uh, of course! This needs to be settled now! Come on, let's move out! We'll show them what happens when they hunt on our territory. Which cats went with Blue Star? Graystripe, Longtail, and Swiftpaw. So, everyone's pretty much gone. I'm the only warrior in camp. Will you check the apprentice's den to see if Dustpaw's there? I already did. He's sleeping next to Brackenpaw. Ugh, what are these bones doing scattered here? Doesn't any cat know how to clean up after themselves anymore? We found them on patrol near our border with Shadow Clan. We think they were hunting on our territory. Tiger Claw's already gone with most of the warriors to confront them. Shadow Clan isn't to blame for this. These bones carry the scent of Broken Star. What? Broken Star? But he was exiled moons ago. Are you sure? I was Shadow Clan's medicine cat. I was there at his kitting. I know his scent as well as I know my own. This is terrible. What should I do? I'm the only warrior left in camp. You must tell Tiger Claw the truth before he turns Shadow Clan against us. But what if Broken Star attacks the camp while I'm gone? He's done it before. He must have left the bones as a trap so that our camp was left unguarded. I can't leave you alone to face him. Then I'll go. No, I can go. I need both of you to stay here. Ah. Brackenpaw! What is it? I have a mission for you, and it's urgent. Yes, Fireheart? You must find Tigerclaw. He's taken a raiding party to attack a Shadow Clan patrol. Stop him and tell him that it was Broken Star who's been invading our territory. Broken Star is back in the forest? That can't be good. You might have to cross the Thunder Path to get to Tigerclaw. I know you haven't been trained to do that. Just look both ways and use your best judgment. But that's where Cinderpaw got hit. You have to find Tigerclaw or there'll be a war between the clans for no reason. I'll find it. May Star Clan go with you.
What's going on? What's going on? What do you think you're doing up there? Well, all cats old enough to... Ugh, it's too long. The camp is in danger. Come here now. Look at fire part up there. Broken Star is back, and he might be in ThunderClan territory right now. All our other warriors are out of the camp. If Broken Star attacks, we must be ready. Kits and elders need to stay in the nursery. The rest of you must be ready to fight. Broken Star. So they've left a kitty pet to defend their cat. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Brindo Face, Cloudkit and the elders need to get to safety. Come on, I'll help you cover the nursery with thorns. I'll keep you safe, Cloudkit. Follow us to the nursery. Who's that cat? He's scary. Oh, no one you need to worry about. You can protect the Ashkin Fern Kit. Okay, but what about you? I must fight beside my clanmates. I can help! No, Cinderpaw! You'll hide in the nursery! You'll get killed out here! But I. Come now, Cinderpaw! It's not safe for you! Oh, never mind. I just get in the way. Brindleface and I will guard this entrance. No harm will come to you, I promise. Broken Star. You lost the last time we fought and you'll lose again this time. Never. You might have taken my clan away from me, but you can't kill me. I have more lives than you. One ThunderClan life is worth ten of yours. ThunderClan, attack! <sighs> Clawface, you, you killed Spotted Leaf. That worthless medicine cat was in my way. She didn't deserve to die. But you do. <laughs> You're the stupid kid who drove out Broken Star. Well, I won't let you win again. He's too strong. It is not your time to join me, Fireheart. Keep fighting. Get off of my friend! Gray Stripe, is he... is he dead? I... I didn't mean to! I... I thought he was going to kill you! I just... Clawface killed Spotted Leaf. You've avenged her. He's the second cat I've killed. We can't worry about that now. There are other cats to fight. You were on a patrol with Blue Star. Where is she now? On her way. She sent me back to camp to fetch Tiger Claw. We found bones. Blue Star recognized Broken Star's stench on them and guessed he must be leading the rogue cats that have been stealing our prey. That's for stealing my kits and killing Rosetail! <laughs> not so fast, Blackfoot. I'm not finished with you yet. Frostfur, let him go. You've given him enough wounds to remember you by. I suppose you're right. Enough blood has been spilt this day. <sighs> there goes another one. Now there's just Broken Star and one warrior left. Sample's handling him now. What are you doing following Broken Star? Shadow Clan needs strong warriors like you! You should go back to them! Your clan needs you! You. you know nothing of Shadow Clan's struggles. Broken Star was a great leader, and Shadow Clan betrayed him. Broken Star was my mentor, and I will stand by him until the end. But even I can see when a battle is lost. I'm out of here! 
coward. Looks like Broken Star's crew couldn't hold their own against one warrior, a powerful of apprentices, and some seriously ticked off queens. Speaking of Broken Star, where'd he go off to? <sighs> that came from the medicine cat's den. Where's Cinderpaw? No, 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 I should have. <laughs> Yellow Fang? Did, did you just kill him? What? No. He's not on his last life. <laughs> Star Clan didn't heal his injuries. Why don't you finish him off? Broken Star murdered his father, banished you from your clan. He tried to kill you. I know. He, he's done so many terrible things, but I couldn't. Why not? Star Clan would honor you for it. Fireheart, he's my son. But medicine cats are forbidden from having kits. I know. I never intended to have kits. But then I fell in love with Ragged Star. There were three kits in my litter, but only Broken Star survived. I gave him to a Shadow Clan queen to bring up as her own. I thought that losing two of my kids was punishment from Star Clan for breaking the warrior code. But I was wrong. My punishment wasn't that two of my kids died, it was that this one survived. And now I cannot kill him. I must accept my fate as Star Clan wishes it. Does he know you're his mother? No. I can't see. Everything is black. Why can't I see? His eyes. He's blind. Don't kill me, please! I'm not ready to die! I will care for him, Fireheart. Find Cinderpot for me, would you? Have the rogue cats gone? I'll accept Broken Star. He's badly injured, though. Yellowfang is seeing to him now. Mm. Are you okay? I should have fought alongside you! You would have been killed! That's what Dustpaw said. He told me to go and hide with the kits. But I wouldn't have minded being killed. But get am I like this? I'm just a burden on the clan. Cinderpaw, that's not true. Cinderpaw, I need your help. Fetch me some cobwebs. I've gotta go. I need you to stand by this den and guard it. Yellowfang is tending to Broken Star's wounds. His wounds? You saved my life, Graystripe. Thank you. You're my friend. And I would give my life for you. Oh, Blue Star, you're back. Oh my. Broken Star attacked? He did. Is he dead? He's with Yellowfang. He's been wounded, though. His eyes. What? Blue Star, he's blind. I see. And the other rogues? We chase them off. And our clan? Is anyone badly hurt? Just a few scratches, but nothing too bad. Thunder Clan was spared. Sandpaw, Swiftpaw, take this body out of the camp and bury it. No elders need to be present. Beth Cat does not deserve to be buried with the honor of Star Clan Ritual. Isn't he the cat who killed Spotted Leaf? <sighs> uh huh. And he attempted to do the same to Fireheart. Let's get him out of here. <sighs> The rogues have gone. It's safe to come out. It's Blue Star! She's back! Everything's going to be all right! Whoa! Who's that cat? Is he dead? Can I see? No. Hush, dear. You've had enough excitement for one day. Where's Tiger Claw? He's taken a group to attack a Shadow Clan patrol. We found rabbit bones on our territory, and they smelled of Shadow Clan. So Tiger Claw decided to start something. I sent Brackenpaw to stop him when Yellowfang realized it was Broken Star sent on them. Brackenpaw? Even though he might have to cross the Thunderpath? I was the only warrior left in camp. There was no one else I could send. You didn't want to leave the camp unguarded. I see. You did well, Fireheart. I think Broken Star had hoped to lure all our warriors out of the camp. We found bones as well. Greystripe told me. Did Brackenpool reach you before you found a patrol? We hadn't even entered their territory. We were just about to cross the Thunder Path. Oh, 
Thanks, Star Clan. Was that Clawface they were burying? Yeah. Then Brackenpaw was right. Broken Star was planning to attack the camp. Is he dead too? No. Yellowfang is tending to his wounds. Surely not. Tending to his wounds? We should kill him, not waste time making him better. We'll discuss that once I've spoken to Yellowfang. You can discuss it with me now, Blue Star. Have you left Broken Star alone? Dustpaw is guarding him. And I've given him poppy seeds, so he'll sleep for a while. Broken Star is blind now, Tiger Claw. There's no way he'll try to escape. He'd die of hunger in a week if a fox or a gang of crows didn't kill him first. Well, that makes it easier. We won't have to kill him ourselves. We can let the forest deal with him. We can't let him die. Why not? If we did, we would be no better than he is. That doesn't- What do you think, Whitestorm? It will be a burden on our clan to look after him. But Yellowfang is right. If we send him out into the forest, or kill him in cold blood, Star Clan will know we have stooped as low as him. Blue Star, in the past, we have sometimes kept prisoners for many moons. We could do it again. So you would really consider keeping this rogue inside our camp? Is he really blind? As a bat. Has he other wounds? Yes, and they are deep. How long until they heal? Uh, about a moon. Then you may nurse him till then. After that, we will discuss his future again. And from now on, he will be known as Broken Tail, not Broken Star. We cannot take away the lives that Star Clan gave him, but this cat is no longer a clan leader. Tiger Claw? It's not like anyone listens to me anyway. Then it is decided. Broken Tail stays. Blue Star, I thought you should know. Sampa and Dustpaw fought like warriors when Broken Tail attacked. I don't know what ThunderClan would have done without their strength and courage. It's not like you to be shy, Sandpa. But Fireheart's the one who saved the clan. He was the one who alerted the camp so that we were ready for Broken Tail's attack. It makes me proud to know that ThunderClan has such fine cats. It's time you both took your warrior names. We shall have the naming ceremony now, while the sun is setting, and then we can eat. I, Blue Star, leader of ThunderClan, call upon my warrior ancestors to look down on these two apprentices. They have trained hard to understand the ways of your code, and I commend them to you as warriors in their turn. Sandpaw, Dustpaw, do you promise to uphold the warrior code and protect and defend this clan, even at the cost of your life? I, I do. do. Then by the power of Star Clan, I give you your warrior names. Sandpaw, from this moment you will be known as Sandstorm. Star Clan honors your courage and your spirit, and we welcome you as a full warrior of ThunderClan, Dustpaw. From this moment, you will be known as Dustpelt. Star Clan honors your bravery and your honesty, and we welcome you as a full warrior of ThunderClan. Sandstorm! Sandstorm! Dustpelt! Sandstorm! Dustpelt! In the tradition of our ancestors, Sandstorm and Dustpelt must sit in silent vigil until dawn and guard the camp alone while we sleep. But. Before they begin their vigil, the clan will share a meal. It has been a long day, and we have reason to be proud of these cats who defended our camp against the rogues. Fireheart, Star Clan thanks you for your courage. You are a great warrior, and I'm proud to count you as a member of my clan. Fireheart! 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 Hey, Mom! I heard you chased off Blackfoot and gave him some scratches to remember you by. Nobody touches my kits and gets away with it. Hey, Sandstorm. We can eat together as warriors tonight. Finally! Choose some prey for me, Fireheart. I'm starving. I will miss training you, Sandpaw. I'll never stop learning from you. You've made me into the warrior I am today, Whitestorm. Yep. I should have known there'd be too much excitement in the camp for Sandstorm and I to get any time alone together. Huh. Where's Cinderpaw? Guess she must still be in Yellowfang's den. Here you go. I'll be back in five rabbit hops. I want to take some prey to Cinderpaw. Oh, yeah, sure. I hope that's not for me. I've already had my share. I brought it for Cinderpaw. I thought she might want something. She wasn't at the naming ceremony. I've given her some mouse meat, but you're welcome to give her that as well. Broken Tail's still asleep. Hey, Cinderpaw? Fireheart. 
here. Yellow Fang's not the only one trying to fatten you up. Uh, thanks? Are you still thinking about the battle? I am just a burden, aren't I? Who's a burden? Are you upsetting my helper? I don't know how I would have coped today if it hadn't been for this one. I even had her mixing herbs this evening. I think I might keep her with me a while longer. She's becoming more useful every day. Besides, I'm getting used to her company. Only because you're deaf enough to put up with my chattering. <laughs> well, that's what she keeps telling me anyway. <laughs> Not so much of a burden then, huh? Will you be okay here with Broken Tail? I think we can manage, don't you, Cinderpaw? He wouldn't dare cause trouble. And Longtail's here to help. I'll see you later, Cinderpaw. Bye! And thanks for the food! No problem. Hey, have you got anything for this bite on my neck? Looks like a nasty one. Wait here. Can you manage them yourself? Just chew them up and rub the juice into the wounds. It'll sting, but nothing a brave warrior like you can't handle. Thanks, Yellow Fang. I appreciate you coming by. Cinderpaw was feeling pretty low, I think. She felt bad after the battle and then the naming ceremony. Of course. You sure you'll be safe with Broken Tail? He's blind. And I'm not that old. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh. all cats old enough to catch their own prey, join me beneath High Rock for a clan meeting. <clears throat> That's too early for a clan meeting. The weather is just dreadful. I thought New Leaf was on its way, but now we get more snow. I like the snow. It makes me feel super sneaky. Why is that, Cloud Kid? Because you blend in with your white pelt? That's the only perk of Leaf Bear. White pelts like Cloud Kids and mine make for ultra stealthy hunting. I remember before I had kids, I was able to catch so much prey. I want to go hunting. I bet I will be good at it. I know you will be, but not until you're older. I'm older. Moon's older, not seconds, Cloud Kid. Hey, Graystripe, you can come sit by me. I'm fine where I'm at. After the events of yesterday, I wanted to make sure you all know that Broken Tail is indeed in the camp. He is blind and harmless. I can't believe we're allowing that cat in our camp after all he's done. Even if he is blind, he can't be trusted. I am as concerned as you all are for the safety of our clan. But Star Clan knows we cannot turn him out to die in the forest. We would only stoop to his level of cruelty if we did so. Yellow Fang will nurse him until his wounds heal. Once they have, we'll discuss this again. Since the excitement of yesterday, many tasks went overlooked. There is no fresh kill for the queens, and the elders need their bedding changed. Since Sandstorm and Dustpelt are no longer apprentices, Swiftpaw and Brackenpaw will need to be more diligent in their duties. I want to help. I can hunt. He's just a kitty pet kid. He doesn't know how to hunt. The instinct for hunting isn't in his blood. Come on, Cloud Kit. You can play make believe with Fern Kit and Ash Kit. And um, can we practice hunting? Hmm. As long as you stay by the nursery. Yay! Hey, Blue Star. You still haven't settled things with Graystripe, have you? I told you before, there's no room for fighting in Thunderclan. I want the two of you to hunt together today and work things out. Okay. I'll talk to him. Hey, Graystripe, do you want to go hunting? You don't have to check up on me, Fireheart. I'm doing fine. I just thought after yesterday with Clawface, you'd like some cat to talk to. But I understand if there's someone else you'd rather speak with. And what if there is? Why are you always trying to interfere in my life? It's really none of your business who I choose to spend my time with. Whatever, I give up. You know, it was Blue Star who told me to go hunting with you this morning, actually. So you can explain to her why you're not coming. Oh, I see. You were just trying to please Blue Star, as usual. You don't even care that I saved your life yesterday. I said thank you. It was a close call. 
When I saw you laying there, I, I thought it was too late. I was so scared. And I lost control on Clawface. He had it coming. That snake heart. All that made me realize that I can't bear to imagine a world without you, Fireheart. Annoying, nagging, and all. Hey, I only nag because I care. Can we be friends again? I guess. I can't stay mad at you forever. But I really do need to check in with Silverstream and warn her about the rogues. Mind if I pass on hunting this one time? Yeah, that's fine. Just be careful on your way to meet her. I will be. Maybe you could ask Sandstorm to hunt with you. You think I should? I mean... Sure, why not? You're both warriors now. Hey, here she comes now. See you later, Fireheart. Hey, Sandstorm, you wanna go? Fireheart, have you seen Cloud Kit? No, is he missing? Yes, and so are my other kits. I only closed my eyes for a moment after the meeting. I just woke up and I can't find them anywhere. It's too cold for them to be out and about. They'll freeze to death. Fireheart and I will help you find them. Don't worry, Brindleface. Frostfur already helped me look around the camp, and there was no sign of them. She's telling Blue Star now. I think she'll send out a patrol. We'll start searching the forest. You stay here in case they come back. Okay. Please, find my babies. They couldn't have gone far. Come on, let's try the training hall. Cockett's always going on about wanting to start his apprentice training. Ugh, snow is getting deep. I can hardly get through it. I don't know how the kids could have made it this far. Any sign of them? No, but the blizzard might be covering their tracks. Do you think Blue Star realizes how bad the weather is out here? I'm sure she does by now. We should go back and help. Maybe join up with another search party. <sighs> You're right. We can't do this by ourselves. Did you hear that? <gasps> the kids! The muse came from that way! Kits! Hush, kids! Where's Cloud Kit? He's hunting. Hunting? Oh, Cloud Kit! Fireheart, look! There he is! Cloud Kit, you had us worried sick. Look what I got! Well, that's a nice catch. Come on. Let me go! We're getting you three back to your mom. My kids! Mama! What did you think you were doing out there? You know it's against the warrior code for kids to hunt. <laughs> the clown needed fresh kill, so we decided to catch them. And whose idea was that? Mine! You could have frozen to death out there. We did it for the clown. Your intention was good, but it was a foolish thing to do. I caught something, though. I can see that. I shall leave it to your mother to decide what to do with you. But I don't want to find you doing anything like this again. Do you understand? Yes, Blue Star. Cloud Kit, you may add your catch to the fresh kill pile. Then all three of you go straight to the nursery and get yourselves dry and warm. Looks like the little kitty pet did catch something. He probably caught Green Cough for himself and Brindleface's kits out in that storm. Well done, you two. I'll send Longtail out to retrieve the other search party. You should go to your den and try to warm up as well. Yes, Blue Star. But before you go, Fireheart, I want to talk to you. Okay. Cloud Kit showed some fine hunting skills today, but all the skill in the world is worthless if he can't learn to obey the warrior code. It may be for his own sake now, but in the future the safety of the whole clan will depend on it. Yes, Blue Star. I'll make sure he learns. Good. <sighs> Cloud is going to be quite a pawful as he gets older. Huh. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find him. I was so worried. Leaf? Fireheart, I have a warning for you from Star Clan. A battle's coming. A battle? 
When? Beware of a warrior you cannot trust. Who can't I trust? Spotted Leaf, is it Grey Stripe? You have to tell me. When the time comes, you'll know. Stop snowing. Shadow Clan and River Clan, they're attacking our camp. We're outnumbered and fighting for our lives. Tolstar refuses to be driven out this time. You must help or my clan will be wiped out. Please, Blue Star. It's as I feared. Shadow Clan and River Clan have joined forces. We must help them. There is no time to waste. I thought after the rogue cats had been discovered, Nightstar could be trusted. Now it seems he has broken the warrior code after all by uniting with River Clan to drive Wind Clan from their home yet again. We've taken the risk for the Wind Clan once already. Let them take care of themselves this time. You're right to be cautious, Heftel. However, if Shadow Clan and River Clan have united, it's only a matter of time before they turn on us. It'll be better if we fight now beside Wind Clan than later alone. You should remain in camp, Blue Star. The fever from the Green Cough may have gone, but you're still weak. Understood, Tiger Claw. I need you to organize two parties one to attack and one to back it up. We want to end the fight as soon as possible. Yes, Blue Star. White Storm, you'll guide the second party. I'll lead the first. I'm taking Dark Stripe, Mouse Fur, Longtail, Dust Pelt, and Fireheart. You, from Wind Clan, what's your name? He's One Whisker. One Whisker, you'll be in my party. The rest of the Thunder Clan warriors will join White Storm in his party. You too, Brackenpaw. Are we all ready? Yes, Tiger Claw. I'm ready. Let's go and get them. We'll teach those fox hearts. Tiger Claw, we're being followed. Followed? Have we run into a trap? Wait, listen to that. Ugh. It's just Brindleface's pesky kits. What are they doing here? We wanted to join the battle. Oh, great Star Clan. Fireheart, you brought that kit into this clan. You deal with it. Brackenpaw, please take the kits home. Oh, really? I wanted to fight. There's going to be plenty of battles, and you'll fight in a lot of them. But right now, the kits need to be taken back to camp. But Uncle, you said that one day I'll fight by your side. <laughs> Is he serious? <laughs> Stupid kitty pet. One day we will, Cloud Kit, but not today. Come on, kids. Follow me. I'll show you something cooler than a battle. Okay. Fireheart, you know the way to win Clan's camp. Lead us there. Follow me, everyone. White Storm, you and your patrol wait until you hear my battle cry. One Whisker, you lead us through the camp entrance. We'll take care of the rest. Morning Flower. Thank you. Thank you, Fireheart. Fireheart? Am I glad to see you again? Though I wish it was under better circumstances. Thunderclad attack! Don't worry. We'll protect you. Huh? What the? Thunderclan? What are they doing here? We're outnumbered. There's no way we can win against these odds. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, one whisker! Uh, Graystripe can't bring himself to hurt Silverstream's clanmates. Just because I'm down by one paw doesn't mean that I can't fight my own battles. Fireheart! Fighting is thick up there. I have to help. I remember you. Leopard fur? I'll make you pay for what you and your friend did at the gorge. Tiger Claw, help me. 
won't let you. How? You just stood there. I could have been killed. <laughs> what a shame. Silverstream! No! Graystripe? Fireheart? What are you doing here? Oh. Keeping you and Shadow Clan from driving out Wind Clan. Fireheart, please! Don't hurt her! Just go. Get out of here. <laughs> Aha! Help! Someone! Ah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> you can't win, Nightstar. <sighs> this battle's lost. Shadow Clan, retreat! Wind Clan, we got Shadow Clan on the run now. Now let's teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Mudclaw, one whisker, with me! <laughs> That's right, now don't come back. Shadow Clan is gone. And most of River Clan has retreated. Where's Crooked Star? Ah! 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 River Clan retreat. Thank you, Tiger Claw. I don't know what Wind Clan would have done without your help. We owe you one. Or two. Don't forget it was Thunder Clan who brought you back to the forest. Beware of a warrior you cannot trust. Of course. Spotted Leaf was warning me about Tiger Claw. He left me to fend for myself in battle. He would have watched me be murdered. Ravenpaw was telling the truth. No matter what Blue Star says, after everything today, it's not hard to imagine Tiger Claw killing Redtail and walking away without remorse. You fought well, Fireheart. Thanks for lending me a pawn the fight. I'll make sure Blue Star hears about it. Yes, you're a fine warrior. Star Clan will honor you for helping us. Anytime. Really? Why would he do that? Do you think he knows her? Great. Darkstripe saw me release Silverstream. Now he's spreading the news to Tiger Claw. Darkstripe says you let a River Clan she can't escape. Yeah. She escaped. Just like Crooked Star slipped away from you. Why? Did you want me to kill her? It didn't look like you even scratched her. You know, Darkstripe, if you're that concerned, you should chase after the she-cat and ask her. Ah, uh, he doesn't need to. Darkstripe tells me your young gray friend followed after her. Look who's back, Tigerclaw. Do you want to ask him how the she-cat is? I can guess his answer. He'll just tell us he didn't manage to catch up with her. I've got my eye on you, too. Hey, is Silverstream okay? Yeah, and thanks for letting her go. I'm glad she wasn't hurt. Me too. Fireheart, you were right. The battle wasn't easy for me. It felt like I was fighting Silverstream's clanmates, not enemy warriors, but I still can't walk away from her. It's not my place to judge you. This is something you'll just have to work out by yourself. The Graystripe, whatever you decide to do, just remember, I'll always be your friend. Thanks, Fireheart. <laughs>